This is Black Ops 3 Zombies, but every single round, something changes. We've done this mod on literally every single map on Black Ops 3, and today I'm compiling all of those videos into one giant, like, movie, I guess. If you're unfamiliar with the mod, essentially every single round, a random effect is going to occur. So as you can see on the top left, when a player gets a headshot, give a random gobblegum. So if I headshot a zombie, boom, I got coagulant. There are over 500 possible combinations. I just want to say a quick thank you for all the support, all the new subscribers and viewers that have joined the channel ever since I started doing cause and effect back in May. It's one of the main reasons for the growth of the channel, and I could not have done it without you guys, so thank you all very much. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy. This video is probably going to be a long one, but yeah, let's get right into it. So we're playing Shadows of Evil, but every single round something is going to change. And now this time we're trying it with effects stacking on, which is probably going to break our game eventually, but... When a player swaps weapons, lose 10% of your total points. Okay, good thing I only have one gun then, isn't it, huh? But yeah, every round we're going to get an additional thing on top of what we already have. So, oh, no matter what then, whenever we swap weapons, it's going to fucking destroy us. When a zombie spawns, held gun becomes papped. Oh, okay. Hey, there we go, the meat wagon. Can't necessarily complain then, huh? You, I'm just going to make sure I don't blow myself up, of course. I absolutely love shadows, so it's nice to be on. Um, well, if we want a pack a punch to gun, I mean, we need to ideally open a door then, don't we? Uh, we need to do this thing, hold the grenade for four seconds, throw, I almost killed myself, but I got the 500 points. Oh, <laughs> that was close. Nice little easy way to get points. Uh, we'll get the KRM, I suppose, boom. Hey, there we go, the Dagon's Glare. And yeah, oh yeah, every time we swap weapons, we lose points. 52. And then a 47. Oh boy. Yeah, so that is actually still on. The effects are stacking. Uh, let's go ahead and go into beast mode. We can do this. Uh, melee. We want to zap this. Uh, we want to melee this. Oh, I need to quickly fucking zap this. Uh, uh, there we go. A little bit scuffed, but it's fine. We're doing it. Now, if I can get on top of here, I think I should be able to go over here. Yes, there we go. I still remember the strats. Boom, easy peasy. Got everything unlocked. Oh my god. Skills, bro. Oh, it counted as me swapping weapons when I went out of the uh, beast mode. Pick up the fumigator. We've got the summoning key now. Kill these zombies. Why not? When a perk is purchased, held gun becomes unpapped. Are you serious? So when I pick up a perk, I'm just going to lose whatever pack of punch I have on my weapon. Okay, well, fair enough. So what you're saying is I probably shouldn't purchase perks yet until I am pretty much mostly set up, which is annoying because I don't have quick revive yet. Well, I mean, I can't really complain. We have pack of punched guns on round two round three now, so it's definitely not the worst, but hey, I'm glad they don't stack up on screen. That's what I was worried about because it would obviously fucking clog up everything. Oh, we have a double points. Okay. Well, I mean, we kind of need it. So every time we swap weapons, we lose points. So where are you? The last one. Okay, there we go. Come on, there's gotta be one more zombie. Ah, oh, my double points is running out. Fuck, dude. I don't, oh, there he is. Look, always one somewhere. When a zombie dies to a grenade, player's gun gets a random AAT. Okay. So we can get an AAT on both our guns, which if you don't know what that means, basically alternate ammo type. So like dead wire, thunder wall turned, etc. Right, we've got a zombie over here. Let's charge up a grenade. Three, four, kaboom. Didn't even kill him. Wow, that's just amazing. Okay, kaboom. Hey, there we go. Dead wire. No way. Oh, I had to swap weapons and I fucking lost points. Three. Four, okay, another grenade. Didn't kill them again. Oh, I'm red screen, Jesus. Okay, let's be a little bit careful here. Oh, and well, I didn't even kill them, bro. It wasn't even worth it. Fuck. At least we got a max ammo. That's nice. I'm gonna have to swap my weapon, which is just tragic because we lose points, but whatever. Well, let's head towards, I suppose we'll go towards Jug, you know. When a zombie spawns, held gun becomes papped. Oh, we got that one again. Wait, no, it's slightly different, isn't it? I don't know, because I turned off repeat combos, so it shouldn't be giving me the exact same ones twice, but oh well, not necessarily complaining. Um. Go ahead, we're going to melee that, even though we're not going to go for the sword. Turn on Jug, go over here, jump, melee, turn this on. Now, can I get all the way over there is the question. Uh, well, I can go this way, it's fine. Zap this. All right, sweet, we got the part. Now, if we can get enough points this round, I mean, can we get it on parasites? Maybe. At least, wait, yeah, they don't count because they're not zombies spawning in. That's actually huge. Although it doesn't like say toggling between taps, so I think we're fine anyway. I was just worried we'd lose our uh, our packet punch. Oh yeah, we can lie down by jug. Hey, we got jug. Okay, we're fine. But we're gonna lose the packet punch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, why? When a power up spawns, players take one damage. That's okay. Oh, oh my god, my packet punch back. Okay. Oh, when a when a zombie spawns, so no matter what, I'm always going to get my packet punch back. 
So even if I lose it because I purchase a perk, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Because, yeah, as long as they spawn, they get, I get a pecker punch. So, okay, no worries then. Oh, yeah, and the grenade thing lasts forever, of course. Oh, my God, this is chaotic. Oh, this is going to be interesting then, isn't it, huh? All right, let's open this door. We can actually afford it. Let's go and do the old ritual in the... What's this place called? The burlesque, I guess. All right, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, it'd be nice if PhD was on this map, but sadly it isn't. So we're going to have to make do with having a uh, bloodhound pecker punched. What's it called? Bloodhound? That is the name of the pistol, right? All right, here we go. We're going to get a Margwa, but, like... Does it matter? Not really. He's going to get absolutely destroyed by his KRM. Right, here we go. See, already popped one of the heads. Maybe even two. Hey, what's up, bro? Pop another one. And the final one. Open up. There we go. Pop. And a double points. Don't mind if I do, I suppose. So the more points we get, the more we're going to lose when we swap, which is a bit annoying. When a player swaps weapons, wall buys are randomized. Oh, so not only am I going to be losing points, but also the wall buys are just going to get completely cucked. Awesome. Great. Who knows how long this will go before it breaks the game, but I wanted to spice things up. You know, Shadows is a fairly big map. I thought it'd be fun. Let's go towards uh, the double tap area, I suppose. Oh, we've got the mystery box here. Open this door. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, we can zap this from here. Let's actually go ahead and melee this. We need to go up here. See, it's nice. I'm remembering all the, uh, the shadow stuff. Hello, let me grapple, bro. There we go. All right, now jump over here. We didn't need to open that door. We could have saved time, but whatever. Can I get all the way to the bottom and melee this, please? Hey, there we go. Efficiency, bro, efficiency. Oh, when it counts as me swapping again when I get out the goddamn tentacle thing and I didn't even turn on double tap. Ah! I wanted to buy it as soon as possible because, you know, can never go wrong with a bit of double tap early on. Very broken, of course. Speed cola would kind of be nice, especially with, uh, with this KRM. We're running a little bit low on ammo, actually. Uh, I'm just going to scan for the shield part. Where's it going to be? Somewhere around here, right? Oh, is this it here? Yep, there we go. Do not mind if I do. Let's go and do the old... Oh, should I just say screw it, bro? And just I'm just going to swap weapons and buy the CUDA. The VMP? Wait, never mind. Huh? I swear that was the CUDA on the wall. No, that's the CUDA. Oh, the wall weapons were randomized. Right. Oh, I just got baited and instantly got packet punch. Okay, cool. I forgot because they spawn in, right? Not complaining. So we can actually hit the box and anything we get, if we want to swap out the KRM, for example, you know, we... We pick it up and the dingo, you know, like, I don't mind if I do. Wait, we can manipulate this. If we go into this pack-a-punch room or like the one before it, it should spawn a couple zombies, right? Or keepers. Do they count as zombies? Is it going to pack a punch? Yes, it works. Let's go. Okay, dude. Okay. And going through portals counts as swapping weapons. Like, look, I just lost another 30. Sick. Great. But it's fine. We can go and do the next ritual. Let's just camp for this one. I don't mind if we end the round. I'll just sit back here, shoot them all. We have a pack of punch dingo, bro. I'm not exactly worried. When a player loses a thousand plus points, five zombies spawn. Okay, so now on top of everything, we're going to be getting another five zombies. Just like every single time that we make any kind of purchase, which is just great. Double points. I mean, we kind of need it right now. At least it's only for like, I assume an individual purchase. So like if we buy the pack of punch for 5k, it's not gonna count as spawning 25 zombies. At least I hope not. But I mean, more zombies means more points, I suppose. Anyway, I was gonna buy a double tap, but oh, do I just, maybe if we have time. All right, open this door. Screw it, we can do, oh, we need to open up the other door. That was close. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Let's go and do this first, if it will let me become the beast. There we go. Grapple up here. Zap this real quick. Can we jump over there? Nope. Damn it. Fine. Go back here. We need to zap this thing. Melee you. Melee you. And we can't do the perk in time. I don't know where the grapple is anyway. Ah, oh, never mind. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Open this portal. Get this part. Hello. If it will let me pick it up. Jesus, Bran. I wonder if it'll upgrade the Apothecan Servant. I assume it won't because it specifically said Pack-a-Punch, but who knows? I mean, the Apothecan Servant, you know how you can't upgrade it on this map. They had it in as like code, but I don't think you can anyway. I think they removed the code to do it. It was just when the map originally like first came out. All right, here we go. Very last one done. We're going to get a marker, of course, but I mean, it's not going to be that difficult to deal with. Boom, give me the gate worm. I only think it's going to be an issue is the zombies spawning, actually. It might get me cucked. Okay, shoot you. Uh, slide. Okay, don't want to get slammed and killed. That would suck. Oh, we're going to max out here. Nice. Okay, cool. Don't mind if I do. Oh, hello. Slamming. Slamming time. I know, I know. You want to be annoying? I get it. 
There we go. Okay, last head. Come on, open up. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, there we go. Done, done, done. I swap weapons. It's fine. I don't think it counted if you do it really quickly. Well, I mean, we have enough to pack a punch, but do we really need to pack a punch? I kind of just want perks at this point. So we'll turn on speed cola. Let's go and quickly turn on double tap all the way over here. And I think we can turn on stamina up two if we have the time. Please. Yep, there we go. Jump. Okay. Yay. There we go. The efficiency, bro. The efficiency. Right, now we're by... Oh, I didn't open the staircase, bro. I knew there was something I was missing. It's fine. We'll just have to go through this way. Speed code is probably more essential if we have a, uh, a dingo anyway. And we've got the very last shield part, which is good. My gun became unpapped. Oh, and it became papped again. Okay, fair enough. I forgot. Yeah, if you buy a perk, it goes. But then it comes back like almost immediately. Oh, yeah. And we spawned a bunch of zombies because um, we made a purchase. Lol. Very funny. Nice one game. Build the shield over here. I might try training here, honestly. Oh, and even building the shield counts as me swapping weapons. You're serious. When a zombie dies, players gun gets a random AAT. Okay, so no matter what, we have guaranteed AATs now, which is nice, you know? Okay, fair enough. Oh, and we got meatball round. Well, that's not exactly useful, but... Oh, yep, there we go. Turned. <laughs> oh, and it's going to stop again. Wait, it's just going to keep digging. No! This is going to last forever. Every single spawn is going to fucking change the... AAT on my gun. This is gonna break. This is gonna break. Oh no, it's when a zombie dies. Oh, it's even worse. Oh my god. These aren't even zombies, dude. These are fucking like random creatures. I need a gun that doesn't have an AAT, like a ray gun. So I don't have to listen to this stupid digging. But well, we have exactly enough. Let's go and buy the old double tap. Let's also harvest this pot because we could get the uh, the part for the apothecary. Nope. We got a thousand points though. Okay. Actually not too bad. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll happily take that. Buy double tap. My gun will unpack and then repack, I think. Oh god, don't get stuck. Yep, there we go. Oh, there's fireworks. Oh, there's turned. <laughs> this is like having unlimited elemental pop, more or less. Ding, ding, ding. Like, <laughs> that's going to get annoying real quick. I mean, it's kind of satisfying, you know, every kill being a ding. Like, ding, yep, you got the kill. It's going to be annoying for trying to keep one zombie if ever we need to, because, you know, swap to turn accidentally, and then it'll run around and kill the last one. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, if you kill too quickly, I don't think it counts, but... Most of them are. It's just great seeing, like, fireworks and blast furnace going off at the exact same time, you know? Oh, that's the round. When a player gets a headshot, give a random papped gun. Okay, so I'm just gonna get random pack a punch guns anyway. <laughs> what is going on, dude? What is going on? So if I get a headshot right now, my gun's just gonna go, right? Okay, here we go. Bye-bye, dingo. Yep, there's the... <laughs> There's the haymaker. All right, I'm going to swap weapons. Let's just get rid of this one. The, st uh, the brecci. Oh, and then there's the uh, Athena spear. So it's actually like a better if you're inaccurate. Got the fucking XM53. Wait, we can't get headshots with this, right? I don't think. No, it doesn't count. So no matter what, we get to keep this, I suppose. Nice. I found a loophole. Okay. So if we get a ray gun, I don't think you can get a headshot with a ray gun, right? The dread armada. It's a nice way to go through all the guns, I suppose, but no scope. Did I hit a headshot? I didn't. There we go. Back on the brecci. The high HVK, okay. The brecci again. Oh, it's just finishing on the brecci. Cool. When a player takes damage, give a random gun. Bro, this is so chaotic. I can't. Oh, no. So I just have to not get hit because apparently it'll fucking swap my gun. Oh, there's... Oh, saying that, bye-bye. Oh, now we're on the uh, the Gorgon. And each time I get a new gun, it counts as me swapping, so I lose points. This is brilliant. This is great. This is amazing. Haymaker. Give me a ray gun, please, I beg. Oh, there's the Gorgon. Oh, Athena Spear. Oh, the, the Stellar Screech, the BRM. The Dingo again. <laughs> this is like the end of that Origins game, bro. Except it's a bit more manageable, at least. Thank God. Why does it keep giving me the Gorgon, bro? I want something different. The Pharaoh, I'm good. The Weevil, nah. The Raygun! Hey, let's go. Okay, so I don't think you can get headshots with this, right? No? Yeah, headshots do not count. Okay, I found a loot pop. What? Never mind, apparently. Oh, I got I got it back. Okay. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> what is going on, dude? Oh, well, I've finished with the Brecci again. Like, this, this mod is hilarious. I just don't understand what's going on at all. It's fine. Maybe we can... Even if I get the Apothecary Servant, it's going to get rid of it for me, isn't it? It's going to completely dick me and just, like, make it disappear. Give me stamina up, dude. I don't even have enough for stamina up. I need the points. Oh, Parasite, come back. Why are you flying away? Yeah, I just have to, like, aim for the chest, I suppose. Oh, I took damage. 
Oh, that's classic. That is. Ray gun. Oh, Packer punched. Okay, can I keep the ray gun now? That would be nice. I mean, I don't think you can get headshots on an insta kill. Never mind. What? Oh, because I took damage, isn't it? That's why. Oh, this is just annoying. The Dracon. Oh, I can't even. Let me buy my perk. Oh, well, I don't even have the points because it keeps swapping. It's. So oh, man. Please, I just need to get points. Just a few, man. Just a few. No headshots. Just aim really badly. I need 2,000. That's all I need, bro. When a player takes damage, the ability to sprint will toggle. Oh, so now not only if I get hit, will I be given a random gun that swaps out my other one, I also lose the ability to sprint for a minute. That's just, that's amazing, that. Oh, we've got a Margaret. Wait, Margaret on a meatball parasite round? Interesting. I didn't even know that was possible. But okay. Uh, the Man of War. I was hoping we'd get something, but oh. Now I got a sniper. Cool, dude. Uh, open your mouth. Pew, pew. Oh, I actually did it. Nice. Weevil time, I guess. Oh, there we go. Mark was dead. Double points. A bootlegger. I mean, don't mind if I do. Adamax ammo. Wait. I got a different ca I got the Garod Crovy camo on Shadows of Evil. What the fuck? Wait, that's kind of sick. All right, we're going to get the part now. Oh, the camo's gone. Okay. When a player gets a headshot, the mystery box moves. Oh, so... Just <laughs> This game is just screwing me right now, bro. I think next time we might just do the regular version, but I wanted to try this at least once just to see what happens. Oh, yeah, I heard the ten Samantha laugh, which means uh, Box is just moving nonstop. I can afford stamina up now, though, bro. I can afford it. Give me... If I can even get past these zombies. Oh, my God, my shield. Pew, 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 pew. The Gorgon. Oh, yay. This is something, huh? Thunderwall. Yeah, I really need a new shield because as soon as my shield runs out, I'm kind of screwed, right? Oh, we got the dingo back. Okay. This is so chaotic. The only time, like, a gun that can't get a headshot is like an XM53. And I suppose the Wonder Wolf maybe as well. But you know, the Wonder Wolf's not on this map, so. Oh, and I took damage. Oh, give me, yeah, the ICR. Brilliant. The Dracon. Oh, I got like a Revelations camo. When a player swaps weapons, activate a random gobble gum effect. So what? Like. <laughs> It's got the black and white gobble gum. What? Let's up again. What's it going to do now? It's it's glitched. I don't know what it did. It deactivated it, I think. Now what? Oh, now I have in plain sight. Oh, no, it's the other one where all the zombies target me. Oh, shit. Oh, now I've got... Wait, what the fuck? Uh, the one where you stare at them and it freezes them. Killing time, I think. Oh, what is happening? I just got teleported. I guess I got anywhere but here. What? <laughs> Bro, nah. Because every time you do something, it counts as you swapping a weapon. So, like, I got a raindrops. I, what is happening? Oh, and I'm going to go down, dude. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down. I'm dead. I'm being revived somehow. I didn't think I had quick revive, but um, what the fuck? Did I have, like, a perk that just randomly just saved me somehow? A nuke? Okay. Another nuke? Oh, what is happening? A death machine? Okay. Finally, something that can't swap out, I suppose. I can't even afford Jug. I can't even afford Jug. If I could get it on this round, that would be like the biggest W. But no, I'm pretty sure the round's about to end, isn't it? Like what? Are you the last one? Yep, that was like the end of the round. The ray gun. Oh, brilliant. Oh, it's just swapping my guns nonstop. Why stop it? No, why are we doing this when a power-up spawns? Player's ability to ADS will toggle. Oh, brilliant. Why? What is happening to my guns? The round ended. I got I got the one that makes the round end. What the fuck? When a player reloads, give a random gun. I, I cannot win, no matter what happens. Like, I'm just screwed no matter what, man. I'm gone. Oh, there goes my gun. Oh, the XM53. Oh, it's gone. Oh, and a nuke. <laughs> it's just endlessly spawning gobble gums. I mean, eventually I'm going to get like a Pergaholic, probably, right? Oh, there's another killing time. Hi, Parasite. Oh, frozen in time, are we? This is hilarious. Oh, some points. Okay, thank you. I mean, it'd be nice to go by Jug now, but I can't sprint. That's just brilliant. I have exactly enough for Jug. I have exactly enough. Please. I am begging you so kindly. Just don't do anything that will completely cuck my points. Let me just walk on over to Jug real quick. Because I can't sprint now for some reason. Please, let me just... Let me buy it. Let me just buy it. That's all I want. I just want to buy Jug. There we go. Oh my god, thank you. That's all I wanted, bro. There, unpack my gun, repack it. I don't care, man. I don't care. I take damage. Yeah, give me a gun. Oh god, I almost did the same thing again. Wait, no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! No! So yeah, this mod is absolute fucking chaos, especially when you put on this mode. 
So we're playing the giant, but every single round, something's going to change. Starting off with when a player gets a headshot, a random zombie triggers an AAT. Okay, so you're telling me if I get a headshot. Oh my god, dude, round one turned. No, but that's actually not good. I want the, the melee points. No, that's the one time where it's actually not good on round one. When a player reloads, a random player drops a grenade. Oh, brilliant. So like, what is the random player ones? Obviously, if you're in solo, it's just going to be on you. Like, oh, there's a grenade. Just gotta fucking avoid that shit. It's moderately terrifying, but it's also, you know, it's fine as long as we don't reload too much. Speaking of which, I've got to reload now. Oh, fuck, don't blow me up. But any of you curious, the camo I'm using for this gun is the Cherry Fizz camo. I also get asked on these cause and effect videos and any that I use the uh, the boy client. Basically, that's how I'm leveling up while playing. I know the boy client got taken down and everything, but it's still technically safe if you still have it and you're just playing on solo, which is why I still use it because just for stability reasons, like it's so much better. The amount of frame drops on standard BO3, it's a, bit, it's a bit ridiculous, you know, considering how good my setup is right now. When a player swaps weapons, give a random gobble gun. Well, I don't have the RK5, so we actually have to buy some something. Oh, we have the box in there. I mean, oh, we literally need 10 points. Are you serious? Come on, dude, rebuild this barrier. I guess I could have laid down by the perk as well. I didn't think about that. What are you going to give me? Wonder Wolf first try? No, the Argus. Okay. But we got Flavor Hexed. Transforms into a random Mega Gobble Gun. Uh, we got Temporal Gift. Okay. Let's see if we can get something a little bit better. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. I got Arsenal Accelerator and I got Disorderly Combat. Don't know about that one. Wait, I can't get rid of it. Oh, <laughs> He's just gonna keep keep on giving me different things. Oh my god. Totally didn't almost go down then. Oh, and there we go. We swapped weapons, so we actually got rid of it. See if we can get a snipe from long range. Let's go. I mean, we could do some more swapping. Who's keeping score? Well, it's actually big. I'll spawn both of them in. Then we'll swap weapon. What are we gonna get? Unquenchable. Um, eh, you know, it'd be better if we get that later. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's kind of hilarious. We have three double points. What the fuck, dude? When a player reloads, orientation slightly changed. Okay, nothing crazy there. This one's going to run out. <laughs> well, this is going to be the world's longest double points in existence. And then we just keep this gobble gum, flavor hexed, which I think... Oh no, it's idolized, not flavor hexed. Isn't that literally just like in plain sight, but it lasts slightly longer, I think? Unless I'm completely crazy. I'll see you in the distance. Slightly out of range. Some zombos. What's this? An insta kill. Don't mind if I do. It's nice doing cause and effect on the giant. Just, you know, it's a very small map. We can really cycle through the uh, the changes very often. This mod is just amazing. Like, seriously, I, I can't thank the uh, the creator enough. Oh, look, a nuffle double points. Just not like we, we already had 50 billion of them. I'll save it for the next round. When a power up spawns, a random zombie triggers an AAT. Okay. AAT basically means like turned blast furnace, you know, double packet punch pretty much. All right, pick this up. I suppose we can go and spin the box one more time, see what we get. We got the BRM. Okay. I mean, not terrible. Has a lot of ammo, of course. Pew, 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 pew. Leveling up the BRM, of course. I guess we're going to work on getting uh, power turned on in a second. What have we got here? Mule kick is in this corner. I kind of like how random the perks are. Just like the fact that every single game you get something completely different. Like, look, quick revives all the way up there. We've got speed cola right here, and then double tap was inside here. So jug is going to be in the death alley. I'm going to do a weird thing. I'm going to actually buy double tap first. Just because, in my opinion, it's the most impactful perk in the game. I mean, obviously, like, taking less hits, in theory, is very, very good, right? But it doesn't increase your actual damage output. Double tap straight up just doubles the amount of bullets you fire and the damage you do. So it, there's nothing better. And the chances of you going down on like round five are very slim anyway. And it's 500 points cheaper than Jug. So I don't know. Personally, I think it's a pretty good strat for early game. But of course, versus zombies, you know, it's very flexible. You can kind of just do whatever you feel like. Where the heck is this last zombie? Is it you? Yep, it is. When a player slides, a random perk is gained. Are you serious? Well, so much for buying the perks then. <laughs> This is so ridiculously broken, dude. What the fuck? Oh, just slide. Just get, Okay, there we go. And that's all of them, I think. Yeah, we can't get more than six perks on the giant. Unless you have, uh, what is it? No, I think even with the random perk thing, you don't even get a stamina up or dead shot, depending which one you get on the map. Which is quite interesting, to be honest. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, we're a little bit set up now. So hopefully we can get some interesting, unique, uh, good god, my aim, cause and effect thingies. I'm going to try and make this as difficult as possible, you know. I'm going to try and 
So obviously this is a very easy challenge, saying that I get a death machine immediately. But I am going to try and not pack a punch for this entire game, just see how we do, you know? So there's not really any point in me turning on the teleporters, but like, I'm going to do it out of habit anyway. Alright, teleporter number one, easy peasy done. Teleporter number two, done. Teleporter number three, and done. Easy. Wait and see what random drop we get. And we got a death machine, of course we did. One zombie left too, bye bye. When a player gets a headshot, five zombies spawn. Ooh, interesting. That's a little bit of a unique one. We can actually get this round going on for a while. Oh, never mind. We're going to get dogs, aren't we? I fucking knew it, dude. <laughs> Just when I wanted to get a really cool one. I mean, we can see because you can get headshots on dogs. Like, that was a headshot. Does that mean it's going to spawn zombies? Or does it not? Let's see, shall we? Does it increase the amount of dogs that spawn, perhaps? Because that could be interesting. Doesn't look like it's so far... Oh, I mean, actually, I think it is working, you know? No, unironically, because the, normally you get six dogs per round on the first dog round, and they are just continuously spawning. So if we just don't get headshots... Oh, God. This is actually going to be difficult, because we have to, like... Oh, see? I just headshot one, and that means five more are going to fucking spawn. And again! Oh, my God. All right, how about, how about now? No? Oh, fuck. I'm actually going to have to use the fucking trap, dude. All right, here we go. See, that's still spawning in. This is insane. Come on, doggos. It's me like stare at you while you're trying to shoot them, so it's really difficult to try and- Oh my god. I'd get the Bowie knife, but I don't exactly have the uh, the points. Can I at least knife them? <laughs> Fucking never-ending dog round. I'm at 145 kills now, bro. And I'm not even getting headshots. I'm getting melees now, so it's no excuse for them to still be spawning. But I guess I just- Did I headshot that many that it's like 500? Oh my god, it finally ended. 160 kill. That was the longest round I've had in, like, ages. That felt like a round fucking 40, dude. When a player loses 300 plus points, give a random gobblegum. Okay, dude. Jesus Christ. I can actually play the game now? Question mark? Well, we have mule kick. I'm gonna go spin the bloody box. And we got respin cycle. Oh, that's actually quite good for what we're doing. Never mind. I don't want to use it. Oh, but this is going to be our mule kick weapon. Ah, whatever. Go for another spin. Oh, raindrops. See, I wonder if this is going to... Well, hello, 48 dredge. I wonder if this is going to give us the good old perk drop. No, see, it doesn't count. Interesting. Still, though, nice that we can spawn this in. Basically, just end the round real quick. Are you the literal last zombie? Did those two nukes leave one? They did. And you give me another one. When a player reloads, take one damage. Okay, no biggie. Jesus, man. Well, we got the waff. <laughs> I forgot how bloody easy this map was. I guess we'll go for another spin. I mean, why not? What, are we going to get a ray gun? <laughs> no, man, like, I swear to Christ that happened in one of my previous videos as well. It's fine, dude. You know, you just say it and it spawns in, I guess. The absolute god tier RNG. Oh, waff time. Zap, 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 zap. Honestly, I think I prefer the Wonder Waff to the Thunder Gun. I know the Thunder Gun is 100% a better Wonder Weapon, but... Aesthetically, I just love the look of the WAF. Just like the design and the sound effects are pretty cool. The animations of, of course, the zombies. And then you have the fucking ray gun, which, you know, it's a cool gun and all, but it's just like nothing. Dude, I feel so broken. Like, some of these videos, we just end up getting all the perks and everything before round like 10. <laughs> and then we're just set up for life. Like, I worry that it's going to make the videos boring, but at the same time, like, you guys love cause and effect, and I absolutely love making them. So, when a player loses a thousand plus points, a wall bar are randomized. Well, if we teleport but don't actually teleport, that means in theory this should no longer be the KN44. This is going to be the KN44. Okay, scratch that real quick. Well, this is the KRM. What did this become? The HVK? Okay, no, it did work. And the VMP over here turned into the M8 A7. Okay, just to prove it as well, I'll go ahead and buy it. Boom, look, M8 A7 on the wall. Good God, that reloads fast with fast mags and speed cola. Holy shit. Almost instantaneous. Oh my God. What is with this orange? Jesus, that's blinding. Yeah, I'm curious, what do you guys think about the giant? Is it one of your favorite maps of all time? Do you think it's kind of boring and overrated? Seems like people have like a 50-50 split on the giant. I think it's a great map, but you know, compared to everything else on BO3, it does fall behind a bit, but like it served its purpose perfectly, which basically the purpose was to bridge the gap between the old and the new generation of zombies players at the time. Because of course, Black Ops 3 was starting to go like, you know, 
fucking Marg was tentacle shit, multi dimensions and stuff. They needed some way to appeal to both types of players. The Easter egg hunters and just the people who want to load into a map and just kill zombies, you know? And that's the problem, because I feel like the recent Call of Duty games have just been focusing too much on the the bland side of things, which is, you know, to just spawn in and get kills. Which, you know, it's fun for a while, but then you realise that there's just nothing unique about each game. And it gets pretty boring. So, wow, this fucking accuracy is insane right now. Literally zero recoil. But yeah, I'm just hoping... I mean, I know MW3 Zombies isn't going to do it, but maybe it'll have a round-based mode. We'll see. I don't care about the mode. I just care about it being fun and replayable. Because if I don't, I don't want to have a mode where I just want to play it once and then never play it again. That's like the epitome of bad game design, in my opinion. Unless it is like a one-and-done amazing campaign, which it's not. It's meant to be an online experience. When a player takes damage, a random zombie teleports near a player. Well, we've got dogs anyway, so it doesn't look like they're going to be going anywhere near me. Although I am curious, so if I let them slap me... Yeah, they, they both they both hit me. It doesn't look like they seem to teleport at all. Like, if you hit me... No, neither of them moved. <laughs> they may take seven time. Oh, look, see? See how fucking fast that round was compared to whatever the hell round seven was? When a player loses 300 plus points, ability to slide will toggle. Okay. So if I buy this trap, I can still slide. Okay. See, some of them are a bit weird because they don't actually work immediately. Like, I lost over a like 300 points. I lost the fucking 1,000, so very strange indeed. I have a pretty cool video idea that I'm excited to share with you guys. I'll probably be uploading it, mm, we'll see, within the next week maybe. It's going to be another one of those longer videos, but I think considering what everyone likes on this channel and what I'm playing right now is the little hint, I think that everyone's going to enjoy it. Also, the no pack a punch challenge, you know, is great right now until we get to the point where we're going to get like, oh, when you kill one zombie, give a pack a punch gun. I just can't wait for that one, bro. A player swaps weapons at speed. Speed is randomized. Okay. I'm a little bit faster now. Not bad. Let's see if we can get like super duper fast. Oh, yes. Like, look at this shit, dude. Oh my god. It's like we have stamina, but we don't. Oh, Jesus. This one's even faster. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, good luck trying to chase me down, zombies. Yeah, ones like this are just fun. They just change something very basic about the game. I really wish that cause and effect was on other games, like on Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, on Plutonium, for example. It would just be so much fun. Oh god. I'm going so fast that I'm like struggling to keep up with my own train. I can feel fucking nauseous, dude, with how fast I'm going. Jesus Christ. Let's try swapping weapons. Am I going to just turn to a snail? Nope. Still pretty fast. Oh, now I'm a bit slower. Not like it matters. The round's about to end anyway. What's up, Zombo? And goodbye. When a zombie spawns, gain 100 points. Okay, so we're probably just going to get like another... Well, if it's round 15, I want to say there's going to be about 40 zombies... Yeah, just look at the points just slowly going up. I don't think I've done a cause and effect on the giant, have I? Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I actually have. Let's use a little bit of the ray gun. You know, it's not the best gun in the world. Which is crazy to think about, but just on Black Ops 3, like, everything else just seems to be better. Except for maybe the XM53, but even then, I personally really like the XM53. Like, it's a very underrated gun. It one-shots full hordes when packer punched until about round 35-ish when you have double tap, whereas the ray gun, like, sure you can spam it a bit faster, but it stops one-shotting at like round 20, bro, it's quite awful. And the crawlers just make things too annoying. Also, when you pack punch the XM53 as well, you can, uh, what's it called, spam two shots at once, which is nice. Ooh, leveling up, let's go. When a player loses 300 plus points, a random perk is lost. Well, you know, normally I don't do this, but let's actually, like, let's challenge ourselves, dude. We'll buy the trap, which is going to get rid of another perk. There, there goes Jug. We'll buy this teleporter. There goes Double Tap. I just realized we lost Mule Kick. Did we lose? Oh, we lost our Ray Gun. <gasps> we lost the Ray Gun and not the uh, the Wonder Wolf. So it's not too bad then. So now we're down to only three perks. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if we can survive this. Trying to train in the, the spawn. Oh, God. I love when the Wonder Wolf will, like, stun all the zombies around you, but it won't actually kill all of them. Because it only kills a set, like, what is it, 12 zombies? So it can, like, bait you in. Because you see them all stunned, and you're like, oh, yeah, I can run next to it. And then it just starts running at you. Zap them all up. I know training in the spawn is one of the high round strats for this map. Oh, God. That was actually so close. Holy shit. Okay, that's the round. When a power up spawns, ability to slide will toggle. Okay. Make this even more interesting, let's not buy perks until we actually get another cause and effect thing that could possibly give us the perk. Because that would be, you know, unique. And this map's pretty easy without them, so... Saying that, almost coming down, Jesus. But yeah, this map is pretty easy with cause and effect. I mean, it's pretty easy in general. 
But if you get given one that just, oh yeah, you slide, you get all your perks. It's a bit of a, uh, a landslide victory. All right, there we go, max ammo. So we only have our Wonder Wolf and our MAA7 right now. I'll try and use the MAA7 this round so we're not breezing through it with the Wolf. When a player takes damage, orientation slightly changed, not too bad. It basically just means like it will make me look off to the side every time I get hit. It can be a bit annoying when you're trying to train up because of course, if you're training this way and all of a sudden you just turn back into the zombies, it's not really ideal. Also, yeah, lack of a uh, double tap is not great. Oh my god, yeah, our gun is doing like no damage. Oh shit. This is actually quite sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, it's almost like it got difficult now we don't have Jug. Spray into all you. Some kind of a uh, drop a max ammo. Not really what I need, but I suppose it slightly helps, doesn't it? Oh, what we get here? <gasps> a carpenter, bro. I was expecting an insta-kill and be like, oh yes, there we go. Oh fuck. That was close. But no. Oh, okay. There we go. Death machine. That's more like it. I guess we'll save the nuke for a second. Get through as much of the round as possible. And that should probably end it. Yup, there we go. When a zombie dies, a random zombie teleports near a player. Oh my god. Okay, if I don't go down this round, it's going to be a miracle. I'm not going to buy the trap. I want to try and do this like fully by myself kind of thing. Oh, hello, dog. Get you the fuck out so you don't mess up my train. All right, here we go. Zombies running at Mach 5 speed. Oh God, why was my mouse flicking? Okay, so when a zombie dies, they teleport in- Oh, I saw that. He like teleported on top of the fucking- Oh God, they teleport in front of you as well. That's actually not good at all. Oh fuck. That's kind of terrifying because, yep, like that, they could just try to cock block you, bro. So you see these zombies with three eyes. Those are so weird. I only notice it on this map. And I think maybe Derise and Rock, but it's just it's such a strange little feature. Oh god, oh yes, one of them literally spawned in front of me. <laughs> well, I suppose I had that uh, coming for me eventually. We have an insta though, maybe we can get through this round? Oh yeah, here we go with the teleporting bastards. Pew pew pew, oh my god. I don't, I don't even know where they're going. Oh, I'm out of ammo for that. Where is that zombie going? <laughs> did you see the way that one teleported? Oh, there we go, we did it. When a zombie dies to a grenade, active gun loses a bullet. Okay, so just don't use grenades, got it. Well, this might be the round, dude, but we have got the Wonder Waff. Our only glimmer of hope right now is in the Waff. Oh god, and I'm not paying attention when one singular zombie just slaps you twice out of nowhere. Zap you guys. Remember I used to train here for ages when I was trying to level up like guns and shit. Oh, also completely off topic, but I got a five terabyte hard drive, which, oh my god. I was going to get an SSD, but I thought I want more space and I went for like 95 quid or something. 95 pounds, you know, pretty like 110, 115 dollars. They're not bad at all. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> but yeah, I basically just want to make sure I have every single Call of Duty Zombies game installed at one time so I can hop between them nice and easily. And also for uh, video file storage, I just Wow, that was the fastest down I've ever had. But yeah, it's going to be good for like future video ideas. This is Derizendrak in Black Ops 3 Zombies, but every single round, something is going to change. When a power-up spawns, active gun loses a bullet. Okay, so if we got some kind of insta-kill, maybe, our gun will just lose a bullet. Interesting. So if I pull in the tram, wait, tram fuse required? I swear I picked it up. Oh, it's invisible. What was that, dude? So is this power-up going to somehow... Yep, my gun lost a bullet. Interesting. Got a nuke, though. Oh, and another one. <laughs> okay. Just as I was saying about insta-kills, dude. But if you couldn't tell already, we have got random Black Ops 4 perks on, and a bunch of other ones as well. Thought it would make things a bit more spicy. I can't believe we haven't done cause and effect on this map yet. When a gunball is eaten, ability to sprint will toggle. Nothing crazy. Hello, double tap with the Cold War perk machine. Look at that. How are you guys doing today? Let me know down in the comments. Hopefully you're all doing well whenever you're watching this. I don't know why I'm just in a really good mood today. I woke up, I had my coffee, instantly started recording. Just one of those days, you know. Oh, hello. Carpenter causing my whole screen to shake. Very weird. God bless the Reaper collection for letting you have a zombie counter over top, though. When a gumball is eaten, player's ability to sprint will talk. Didn't we have that one last round? Game? Are you breaking on me? Very interesting. Uh, let's go get the shield part. Where is it? Boom. Hello. Oh, hi, zombie. Ooh, totally not almost going down there. Um, I'm gonna go buy this VMP so we have a decent gun. I never give the VMP any love, you know? It's not bad. We've got the Vespa here. The Vespa's also pretty good, but I kind of prefer the VMP just because it doesn't run out of ammo as quickly. Doesn't mean it's necessarily better. Hello, death perception, just in this corner. 
I love how the perks are like randomly placed in the map. It's very cool. It's basically if the perks were actually on the original map, you know, instead of just only in the Wonder Fizz. Got four zombies left. If we kill them slow enough, should be able to feed this dragon. Dragon D's nuts, got him. Oh, the mystery box is here. I mean, I could have totally just spun that then instead of buying the VMP, but whatever. Screw it, we'll do that. Why not? We have this Razor back in here. Oh my god, we got the Razorback. Dude, I was about to be so mad. I was just going to quickly get rid of that pack-a-punched gun we got. I picked up a nuke, but my recording froze. But we got the Razorback. Oh, I'm so happy. You have no idea. I've wanted this gun for so long. And finally, we have it, and I'm not just going to lose it. So yeah, the recording's fixed now. If you earn over 100 plus points, you get a free pack a punch gun. But I wasn't going to keep it because the recording just decided to cut out, which is just, oh, it's just brilliant, really, isn't it? Oh, the BRM. Okay. Okay, I really don't want to get rid of this, uh, the Razorback. Should we just try our luck and, and uh, see if we can get another one? If we get a collat, it seems to give us a bonus gun. There we go. Oh, the SVG, the VMP. Okay, let's go for another collat quickly. There we go. The SVG again. Are you serious? All right. Collat. All right, I'll take an HVK. Not bad, not bad. Oh, we got dogs. Okay. Like, please can recording not freeze again. I don't know why it did that. Very strange. Okay, I just need to not go down on the bloody dog round. Please, can we just survive? All I ask. I'm buying quick revive, dude. I'm buying quick revive. Ooh, that perk icon is nice. Apparently, it's killing floor two based, which is quite cool. Give me that, Max. When a player reloads, active gun loses the bullet. That's fine. We just lose one each time we reload. Not too bad. Well, let's go and uh, start working on the rest of the map, I guess. Ooh, a death machine. Don't mind if I do. Can we not go down? And it also means we don't have to reload, so we're not losing any bullets, which is good. Can we just appreciate the design of Derizon Drak, man? Like, look at this room. This room right here is pretty irrelevant. Nothing really happens in here except for I think there's a cipher somewhere. So, you know, unless you're Mr. Ruffle Waffles, who, by the way, wished me a happy birthday. How surreal is that, dude? <laughs> like, seriously, thank you so much, Milo. I know there's like zero chance he's going to be watching this, but still. The detail in a room that is going to be completely forgotten about. Like, you just run through it, you know? Hello, stamina man up. If it's Cold War stamina, which I think it is, then that's going to be OP. Hello, PhD slider. Just chill in there, casually. Vulture raid in the back, again. Just amazing perk hidden on this map. Max ammo. It reloads our gun as well. We're using the Reaper collection, which it has cause and effect built into it, but it also has ways that you can customize your power-ups and stuff. Two zombies left. I just realized we should have been filling up the bloody oh, dragon. I was too sidetracked, dude. Was that a perk I saw back there? Oh my god, it's Elemental Pop. It just, oh, these machines look so good in Black Ops 3. Just look at how saturated and just beautiful this looks. Holy shit, dude. Hello, shield part randomly over here. The Cold War Speed Cola. We've got 5,000 points. Jesus. Didn't realize we were that rich. Wonder Fizz is up here. I think I activated all the Wonder Fizz machines. There's no perk limit, so we'll just we'll get what we ever get, you know? What is this? Oh, it's Blood Wolf Bite. Don't mind if I do. Probably my favorite Black Ops 4 perk. Like, without a doubt, dude. Black Ops 4 had some very hit or miss perks, but Luna the Werewolf pretty fucking sick. Trouble is, I don't want to activate her yet because we want to like slowly fill this up. Ooh, slide through. That was close. <laughs> oh my god. How did I not go down there? I don't know. Oh, what is this? Oh, a free perk. Don't mind if I do. Electric Cherry. You know, it's not the most amazing perk in the world, but oh god, Luna spawned in. I mean, I love you, Luna, but I was trying to do something, man. It's fine. She's cute. All right, is it finished now? Please do your little breath of fire thing. No. God, she's so big. Look at her. Are you chasing me? There we go. Dragon's done. Oh, hello, Dying Wish. Just casually down here. I think I'm going to go and pick up Juggernog real quick. Ah, Luna disappeared. Tragic. Oh my god, dude. The Cold War perk machines, whether you like Cold War or not, you've got to admit, they look absolutely stunning. All right, here we go. Start filling this up. Bro, trying to turn on these bloody pad things is just insane. Too many zombies, dude. Here we go. Double points. I want to kill the zombies quickly, but I also want to make sure this is filled up, you know? I mean, we could kill a few more, honestly. Got four left. Okay, we've only got two left now, apparently. How did two of them must have died to Electric Cherry? Brilliant. I said this the last time we played Derizon Drock, but I really wish that you could have Panzer spawning in on round eight. 
Like, the Ryzendrak is so much easier. Well, it's not so much easier, but it is easier than Origins. So why does the Panzer not spawn in until later on, you know? Oh, also, when a zombie dies, the mystery box moves. That shit is going to be gone, dude. And we actually need Mule Kick, which is interesting. I never find myself in a dilemma where I need to buy Mule Kick, but we have this awesome Reagan SMG, which, you know, if you don't know what it does, absolutely obliterates the zombies and has a ridiculous amount of recoil, apparently. Has an alternate fire mode, which turns it into a Wonder Waff, which is sick. Oh, hello, box. <laughs> oh, goodbye. But yeah, we need Mule Kick, so I guess we'll go buy it. Because we need to pick up the bow, and I don't really want to get rid of a Pack-a-Punched gun, you know? It costs a lot. Also, this Mule Kick machine looks pretty nice. I guess we'll open up this door. Oh, hey, box. How's it going? <laughs> the perks are a little bit glitchy, like we've got this random white box at the bottom that keeps flashing, but whatever. All right, shield part is up here. Let's quickly grab that. I think in the spirit of Luna, we should probably get the wolf bow. Seems fair, you know? How the hell did you get the wolf bow again? <laughs> I call myself a zombies YouTuber. No, no, I remember now. We've got to, we've got to do these posters. So let's go and see which one's this. This is like the last one. I think maybe it's the, no, that's the second, third. I fucking hell. Brain issue moment. What about this one? This is the first one. Okay. This is the second one. And then this, I believe is the third one. Oh, I don't want to go near the pap machine, but I think it's going to activate, sadly. I like to have it up here the first time, but... Uh, pretty please don't activate don't activate okay we're good and this is the very last one now if we run on over here boom this should pop out the wall and we can start the wolf bow my favorite bow without a shadow of a doubt but sadly we actually need to go to the next round i have zero points oh right yeah the mystery box thing when a zombie dies ability to slide will toggle okay the toggle ones are all right because it basically just means when a zombie spawns in every two zombies you'll be able to sprint but every one it will stop you so it's it's all right because every time a new one spawns in you can obviously keep sliding it's just a little bit weird oh hi luna how's it going funny every time i say luna i always think of hell of a boss don't know if you guys watch that let me know down in the comments if you do but Big fan of that show, by the way. Oh my god, Luna killing zombies gives us points. That 130 as well? Oh, that's beautiful, dude. This perk is amazing. And Mule Kick even shows us which gun is our third gun. That's just... Oh, this game. This mod. Amazing, dude. Amazing. Oh yeah, we can go get started on the bloody wolf bow now. Trouble is, Luna's gonna kill the last one. Luna, stop going on a rampage, dude. Okay, she disappeared. There we go. Didn't necessarily want her to, but... Yeah, we're gonna go and teleport now. Get our hands on the old wolf bow. Oh, I see a perk there. What's that? Enable the landing pad. This is... Vigor Rush. Bullets create small explosions. That's what's in, like, the weapon pack mods. But here, we've got this, like, flag up here we have to shoot, which I missed. Great job, me. There we go. I'm so bad at this, dude. There we go. You have to actually shoot at the top where you wouldn't think it would have a hitbox, but it drops this little skull we have to pick up. Interact with this. I'm not gonna worry too much about the Ragnaroks, you know. I love them, but they're nothing crazy, you know? We have, like, a Wonder Waff Raygun SMG, which I'm probably gonna make a video on itself, like, in the future, but I want cause and effect to be the main focus right now. Also, why am I going this way? If we come over to the Wolfie, here, put the head, the skull on the little body, and we get the little wolf. Oh, it's so cool. It's like another one of Luna. But yeah, now to literally do the wolf bow, you just follow this dog around and you fill up three locations. And after that, you go and like collect the arrow from downstairs in the anti-grav room. And that's it. It's pretty cool. But we do need souls for this. So we're going to have to end the round. I'm not waiting for you to get over here, boy. Oh, we've got a fire sale. When a grenade is thrown, open a random door. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so we'll just throw a few, few grenades. There aren't many doors we haven't opened, so... Nice, dude, nice. I wonder if it counts for, like, the little... The ones you can drop down off. Got a locus. I'm good. We don't really need to hit the box, so, I mean, there's not much point for us to be doing it, but whatever. Get these souls, max ammo. We're getting a panzer next round, which is fine. Let's let's fill it up with the ray gun, dude. That should be enough, I think. Come on, any year now. Come on, little wolfie. There we go. They start whimpering. You have to go over, interact with this, and then she'll go on a walk again. Wait, my shield broke? Oh no, I had armor or something. What was that? Speaking of which, we've not actually built the shield yet, which is uh, goofy. Went to the trouble of getting all the parts, didn't even build it. Brilliant job, me. Come on, doggy. Well, dog, wolf, you know, wolves derive from dogs. Or no, wait, dogs derive from wolves. Oh, brain. Oh, I've got something in my throat. What was that, dude? Insta-kill, don't mind if I do. God, like what? All I've had to drink is coffee, bro. Maybe I swallowed a fly or something? I don't know, dude. Here we go. 
doggy done. Getting a panzer now. When a zombie spawns, players take one damage. Oh god. Well, hopefully that's not going to uh, absolutely demolish me. It's funny, when we had the uh, the Ray 5K or whatever it was called, the Raygun SMG, we were on this map actually. Oh, hi panzer. Get the hell out of here, dude. Oh god, it doesn't actually deal much damage to you. And I can't see what I'm doing when I'm firing. Please just die. Oh, get out. There we go. He's dead. It's making my screen all blurry because of the uh, the players take one damage thing. God damn it. It's fine though. Let's get some more kills. We can use the Wonder Wolf variant, but it just it kills kind of slow. And what? I guess I took quite a lot of damage then, huh? Oh, well, all those souls just counted. That was good. Um, I'm going to grab this death machine then. Oh, she's finished. Nice. And a double points. Don't mind if I do. I don't know how I managed to die there. I know Panzer is usually a bit chaotic, but anyway. Juggernaug, don't mind if I do. Oh, perfect. We've even got anti-gravity right on this moment. So now we literally just... Oh, we have to shoot in there with the bloody bow and I lost it because of mule kick. Well, HVK, you were nice, but I'm just going to get rid of you. Sorry, not sorry. I know when you buy a mule kick, you get the bow back or whatever you had at the time, but I'm too lazy, dude. Come on, we're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to jump up. You have to shoot the symbol. Oh, God. Nah, it's gonna run out. I'm so slow. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Get on here, interact. Oh, just as the anti-grab run out. Give me that arrow. Hello, there we go. Well, at least we're finished with that now, I suppose. Boom. Now we can uh, get the wolf bow. Silver linings, I suppose. Active gun loses a bullet when we earn 100 plus points. That's fine. Dying wish wouldn't be a bad shout, actually. But why am I even coming up to speed cola? Speed cola seems a bit pointless with a bow. I guess we'll just hit the Wonder Fizz. If I could get double tap, that'd be nice. Oh, I got Mule Kick. What's this going to do? Don't you dare break the game. Okay, it didn't. We didn't get our gun back. Phew. I was worried it would bug out, dude. Anyway, let's go and fill up the old wolf bow. Ow, dude. What did the, the zombies slap you so fast? Here we go. We're fine. We're fine, dude. We're fine. Everything is all right. Speed Cola would be nice for this gun, actually. But oh, look at all those souls, dude. Oh, hell yeah, that's instantly done. Easy peasy without the way zombies. Ooh, God. Give me the wolf bow. Nice, dude. Nice. Absolute classic. You know, if you don't know what the wolf bow does, it's basically like the thunder gun. Just knocks all the zombies back. It's very cool. When a player earns 100 plus points, random player drops a grenade. Well, if we could get PhD slider, that would be kind of nice. I'm going to buy speed cola though. I should have just spun the wonder fizz, to be honest, because it would make more sense, right? We're going to get it for 1500. Oh, double tap. Perfect. Let's get one more then. Oh yeah, see this door opened when we had the grenade opens all doors thing. What's this? Is this PhD? Oh no, it's Reese. What is that? I see you, I think. So when we build something, we become immortal. Like, I kind of want to try it here, but at the same time, I don't. Let's go Wonder Wolf mode. Zap. Like, it's all right, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't kill too fast. I suppose it's all right. It doesn't have much of a sound effect, though. I just, I love hybrid guns. Hybrid guns are so cool, especially Wonder Weapons. Oh, just... <laughs> Look at that, dude, with double tap. When a zombie dies to a grenade, open a random door. Dude, didn't we have that one earlier? There's like 600 combos and we've had the same ones a couple times. It's quite funny. I was about to pack a punch, dude. I'm sorry, am I stupid? I've only got like a thousand points. I'm broke, apparently. And for the love of God, can we go and build the shield in a second? I think I'll do it after this round. Oh, God, that was... Oh, hello. What is this increased move speed? Is that because I got low health? I think it was, you know. I think ICU made me like super zoomies. Which is quite cool. I like that. Let's uh, let's use the RZB Sparkler. Or Sparker, even. A zap? How many points is this going to give us? Wait, the kills don't give points on this. Oh, that's kind of tragic. I didn't know there was a downside to that god tier weapon. No wonder I only have like a thousand points then, dude. Well, I guess we'll be wolf bumming it up for a little bit. Oh, hello. Tram fuse. I didn't want to pick it up. It was the end of the round. Oh, whatever. When a player swaps weapons, give a random gobble gum. Oh, barely alive. Zombies killed with headshots create teddy bear explosions. Huh? That's quite cool because we have custom gobble gums on this mod. One of them can just insta kill you, which would not be good. Crawl space. So we could get the void bow. Let's see. Arbitrary armament. Um, war buyers give a random pla What? I don't know. Eye candy. Screw it. We'll activate it. Oh, it's all green, dude. The, the dogs look weird. Activate it again. Self-med. I'll take a self-med, dude. It's basically just like another three quick revives, but it's not the worst. Okay, let's actually go and, oh, give, when a player takes damage, give a random gun. Well, we only have two. 
at least. So, yeah, let's build the shield. How long does this fucking thing- Oh, hello, Haymaker. But yeah, we have Mule Kick, so let's just hold this out. I'm not sure what else we could get. Ow, ow, Dracon. Oh, no, the Locust. Oh, no, nope, never mind. It's the Pharaoh. <laughs> My bad, dude. Oh, and back to the Dracon. It's weird how the zombies are all blue, though. Like, how long is this going to last? Please tell me this isn't going to last the whole game. Oh, we got Dying Wish for free. Nice, not bad. Just casually dropping me free perks. We technically have two Gobblegums at once, so this is interesting. I didn't realize that uh, eye candy counts after you finish. Like, having it in your inventory, which is strange. Also, sorry if I sound slightly bunged up. I do have a bit of a cold right now. Nothing bad, just uh, does sound a little bit flat in my voice sometimes. Here we go. Pack-a-punch the razor back. Oh! Oh, look at this. The red. Then when we change it, it's still red. Okay, fair enough. When a player takes damage, a random perk is lost. Oh, no. And we have a flipping panzer here. Activate you. Okay, we're fine. Get out of here, pansy poo. Okay, kind of demolished him, not gonna lie. But yeah, I would like to keep my perks, if possible. They're all quite useful. We've got Vulture Raid behind us. Oh, a nuke. That's actually pretty good. It's making my game footage look so weird now. God, can this thing stop? Can we put alternate ammo types on this? <gasps> you can? So what? Can I get like turned dead wire blast furnace on a ray gun SMG? Oh my god, it works. Well, <laughs> that's so cool, actually. Oh no! Oh, I lost. Of course I lost Jug as well. Of all the perks I could possibly lose, it was Jug. I mean, we have enough points to get it at least. So it's not the end of the world, but we just go jumping around. I think Derizon Drock, yeah. I mean, I did my ranking every zombies map tier list for Treyarch. And I said that Derizon was still my favorite map, and I think it still is. It could change in the near future, but it just has everything for me. It's just, it's so replayable. Oh, has the eye candy finished? I can't tell. My eyes have sort of adjusted. Nope, it hasn't. It had to, I see the Zombie is blue, definitely hasn't. When a player slides, gain 100 points. See, I like that one because if it was the percentage of the points, then it would be ridiculously OP, you know? Slide, gain points, have like 10 billion. Uh, let's actually go for a Wonder Fizz spin. Who knows what we're gonna get, gimme. It's Deadshot. I mean, actually not bad because if it's the Cold War Deadshot, then it's, uh, it's a pretty good perk. All right, Wolf Bow time. How does this change the color? Just like, just looks more green, I guess. All right, shoot. Phew. I mean, it's only 100 points, so every time we slide, we basically get a zombie kill worth of points, which is nice, don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to sit here for 10 years just continuously sliding. All right, that zombie. What? He just got knocked over. Are you good, bro? When a player loses 1,000 plus points, lose 100 extra. Eh, that's fine. Give me... What is this? Oh, Stone Cold Stronghold. Okay. Not bad, not bad. An electric cherry? Oh, a fire sale. I mean, do we need it? Not really. Why do I have an unpacker punched HVK? Oh, right, yeah, the one that gave us the free gun. I mean, we might as well get rid of this. If we could not go down here. Pew, 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 pew. It really doesn't kill that fast. I was expecting this gun to be a lot stronger for a ray gun SMG. Like, look at this. It's not even fully obliterating the horde of zombies, dude. And there's crawlers. Oh, my God. How about the Wonder Wolf version? Does this at least, like, one-shot them? Because it bloody should. But I don't get any points, so you can't win with this. But it's still cool nonetheless, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, we don't have an explosive weapon, but screw it, we'll buy PhD. I do love PhD, it's a great perk. Also, yeah, I mean, I think these eye candy things last for 10 rounds, but it has been a while. Well, not 10 rounds, maybe 10 minutes. Is this stamina up? Oh, it is. Let's go. Cold War Stam. Jump over the old zombies. Okay, it's not Cold War stamina up, but it's not bad. Let's buy Elemental Pop next, actually. See what it's like. I see you in the back corner. I'm not sure how much it is, but I'm assuming it's going to be like 4,000 points. Kind of being a bit intensive with this ammo right now. Let's see. How much is it? 3,000. That's really cheap, actually, for Elemental Pop. Like, it gives you every single ammo drop. Look, I just put turned with a non-packer-punched gun. And I think the turn gives us points on this mod as well, which is nice. Does it? No? Oh, tragic. That was the one thing I liked about uh, Cold War. Turned would give you points. Even if it was only like 50 points, it was still nice. When a door's purchased, give a random gun. I mean, I don't think we have any more doors to purchase. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, and I got a teddy bear. Are you serious? I literally haven't even spun that box yet. Well, um, let's get rid of the HVK, I guess. What are we going to get? Oh, no, no, no. Thank you, Deadwire. Oh. oh, dying wish. I was like, how am I still alive? Holy shit, that was close. I see you actually saved us there. But yeah, I guess debris don't count. It has to be door doors. 
which is, you know, fair enough. Holy shit, that was close, though. Zap, 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 zap. Oh, we've got a max. Nice. Maybe you just have to aim with this. Maybe that's my issue. But for some reason, look at the recoil, dude. Look at it. <laughs> it goes so high up. A free perk. Death perception. I mean, eh, eh, you know. Not the best perk in existence, especially since we don't have the salvage, so it's not really that good. A fire sale? Okay. There isn't really anything I would consider getting out of the box, but just because why not, I suppose... Oh, monkeys, okay. Actually, not bad then, because that's the one thing that would genuinely be kind of nice right now, even though I totally forget to use them half the time. <laughs> when a gumball is eaten, health gun becomes papped. How many more perks do we need? I swear we have most of them. Uh, Vigor Rush, okay. Let's actually go and do this. So when a gumball is eaten hopefully this will get rid of the stupid thing as well what do we get point drops i think this is only a co-op one. Oh, we did let's go my screen is finally normal holy shit dude about to lose my mind everything looks so like desaturated now even though i know it's obviously not but we have a pack a punched gun now cool you know i was contemplating doing the easter egg but Sometimes you just want to jump into a map and have fun, you know? Not that the Easter eggs aren't fun, but sometimes you don't have to do the main quest of a map to just enjoy what you're doing, yeah? And we did do it last time we played as well, to be fair. So I don't want to do the exact same thing every single time I play a map. You know, I want to kind of do a different challenge every now and then. Ooh, when a player earns 100 plus points, five zombies spawn. Ones like this are cool, because essentially if we get 100 plus points, so if we get a nuke, which is 400 points, it should technically, oh, hello, Stone Cold Stronghold, but it should technically, hello, Panzer, can I finish my sentence, please? It should technically spawn in like 20 zombies. Hello, bloody hell. All right, Panzer, get out of here. We could totally get the Ragnarok as well because we just activated the death ray. Like, look, it's up there. We could very easily do this. Ah, uh, my inner completionist is just telling me, you've got to do it, you've got to do it. Also, we have PhD slider. Why is it not exploded yet? Or is this like a, a normal one where it doesn't just create a nuke every time you slide? Also, am I stupid? I'm going the wrong way, dude. Yeah, I'm meant to go in, in here. All right, there we go. Oh, we don't even have the last part anyway. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot the rocket test one. That one just, it takes a little bit of time, you know? Waiting around for the bloody thing. Vulture raid, don't mind if I do. Might break the game, who knows? Hello, nuke. Oh, I could do the thing I was saying. So look, we got a nuke, 400. As long as it doesn't kill every single zombie on the map, it should spawn 20. So if we look at the zombie counter, right now we've got five. Yep, there's 10. Oh no, it's only one increment. So we only spawned in five, but still, that's quite cool. Bro, Vulture Raid makes the zombie eyes look so cool. Like, they're just so much more glowy, you know? When a power-up spawns, Gun gets a random AAT. So we might get, like, a, a turned or something. Oh, here we go. PhD Slider. That was sick. Oh, my shield broke. PhD Slide. Hey, it actually does work. That's cool. Oh, yeah, you, Vulture Raid. You can see all the perks on the map. But it doesn't look too, like, out of the uh, words. It doesn't look too obtuse, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, hi, Luna. How are you doing? Been a while since you came. Actually running a bit low on ammo. I know we get the old ammo drops here, which is nice, but... Use the wolf bow a bit. Using a wolf bow with Luna, the wolf. Very cool. Oh, come on. My game black screened. This is Zetsubo no Shima, but every single round, something is going to change. This is actually the very last cause and effect video that we're going to do. Not including one, like, special video. But in terms of, like, all the BO3 maps, including Chronicles, this is the very last one. Which is kind of crazy to think about, because, you know, we started this series all the way back in May. Been a solid six months. When a zombie dies to a grenade, gun gets a random camo. Okay, <laughs> this... After all these months of playing, I know for a fact this one can crash your game. So, we're going to avoid this a bit. We're not using Reaper's Collection this time just because I thought, well, we'll go back to the original, you know, throw down this grenade on the gobblegum machine. Nice little strat you can do. Uh, hello. <laughs> that took ages. I forgot to plant the seed, damn it. But it's cool we're playing Zetsubo as well because some recent news for COD 2024 Zombies is apparently, well, one, it's round-based, and two, the second map, because there are going to be two maps on launch, according to the leak, is going to be some form of, like, very similar map to Zetsubo no Shima. Could even be a Zetsubo remake, which would be kind of awesome when a player earns 100 plus points. Okay, Zombies gain health, not too bad. It took me a long time to actually realize that the perk doesn't drop here until 
until like you see it in the sky. I think you have to wait for the plane to come over for the first time, which is interesting. Uh, let's open this door. We can go for a spin of the box immediately. Come on, give me like the marshals or the XM53. I mean, if we had Reaper's collection and PhD, it'd be all right, but you. Oh, hello, Max Ammo. Ah, oh, that was almost a quick death. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're fine. Pew. Okay. I do I do actually really like the XM53. It's just the fact that since there is no PhD in Black Ops 3, it's a bit rough. And I just totally missed that shot, by the way. What are we getting? Come on. A haymaker. There we go. Much better. When a player swaps weapons, a random player drops a grenade. Oh, God. This one. Oh, oh no. I'm just spawning grenades permanently. That's actually uh, a bit terrifying. Oh, hello. What are we getting here? A Shiva? I'm good. I'm good, bro. Apparently, round base is also going to be coming to Modern Warfare Zombies, which is interesting because I was going to make a second channel, right? So I could play Modern Warfare Zombies over there because it doesn't make much sense to play it here since it's just so different. It's more appealing to like people who watch Warzone, right? So I was going to have a second channel where not just Modern Warfare, but I was going to play like FNAF games, scary games. I don't know. Just a bunch of random stuff, really. Anything I wanted. But if round base is coming, then, I mean, I'll probably do those videos on the main channel. But it doesn't... Oh, force nuke at the end of the... Why? When a player takes damage, a random perk is lost. Okay, so we want to just not take any damage. Cool. I mean, we don't have any perks, but, like, we want to not buy any perks then, I guess. God, brain, come on, do the think. Also, thank you all so much for 34,000 subscribers. God, absolutely insane. We hit 100,000 views on that... 50 plus perks video in just 12 days, which I think is the fastest time I've ever had it on my entire channel. So seriously, thank you for all the support. Also, even if you don't know, I mean, we've finished one of the skulls, right? But even if you don't know what the next one's going to be, just pick up a random one to save you having to run all the way back whenever you get there. Nice little time save, but what do we want to do now? I mean, I guess we kind of have to open towards the middle, don't we? We literally just need points. This is a, uh, it's nice to be playing Zetsubo like very casual, you know? I don't know about you guys. Let me know down in the comments. Do you like Zetsubo as a map? I think it's very, very fun. Like, it's underrated. But at the same time, it's kind of like the same vein as Shadows of Evil, where I can't play it back to back and really enjoy it. And of course, I get a double points at the end of the round. This wouldn't be one of my videos if we didn't have that. Of course. Whoa, a zombie sport. Okay, thank you, Plant, for actually helping me a bit there. I appreciate that. I don't know. I love Zetsubo. I mean, the Skull of Nan Sapo is my favorite wonder weapon of all time. I was wondering what was happening. If we slide, our orientation slightly changes, so it just looks really buggy. Also, we're running quite low on ammo. We actually could do with buying something. There's a gun around here, right? Yeah, let's get the, uh, the Vespa. Not my favorite gun to buy. I mean, I think it's good, but it just runs out of ammo so quickly. Oh, we could have bought the VMP, actually. I don't know why I didn't do that. Anyway, let's head on over here. There should be a shield part just on this wall. Nice and easy. Boom. Throw a grenade on the perk in the back, and then we'll get this water. Oh, hello. Bloody hell, there's a thrasher. Where do you come from, bitch? They are scary motherfuckers, that's for sure. But they're very killable, at least. Dude, this gun's already, like, over half ammo gone, and it's somehow not killing. Jesus, come on. Got an insta kill. Okay, there we go. I just needed enough points to be able to open up this door and then do the water thing. All right, so boom, we place the water in here. We don't actually have to open the door to the other one to get the uh, the middle open. We've got this water now. Place it in here. You know, the setup for Zetsubo isn't actually that bad. There are quite a lot of doors, so like it's a very point hungry map, which is why getting the double points at the end of the round a few rounds ago wasn't ideal. But anyway, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Always want to make sure we aim down sights, kill that guy before he mutates. I don't know if it was one of my challenges to do, but anyway. Hello, Juggernog. We haven't got Quick Revive, so um, doing this would actually be... Yeah, this is going to be really risky without any ammo. When a player loses 300 plus points, spawn a random power-up. Well, we're going to go and buy the box and probably Quick Revive, so... Oh, never mind. Double Tap is here. Okay, then. I guess Quick Revive's on the other side of the map, then. Um, What were we going to do? Oh, yeah, box. I have legit, like, no ammo. Oh, we got an insta-kill. I mean, it would be great if I had any ammo. Oh, KN, gimme. I don't want to die to spiders, bro. I'm not about to lose to one of the easiest mobs in COD Zombies history. Uh, let's quickly buy once more as well, just so we can... Uh... Oh, we got a double points. Okay. When a player takes damage, speed is randomized. This one is quite cool. Uh, let's go and search for the shield part. I'm hoping it's going to be like on the wall here. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to try this the risky way. I'm going to let a zombie slap me. Oh God, not that much. Jesus. Okay, I don't want to die. Right, get the health back first. Right. Slap me once. Ooh, it slowed me so much. Okay. This is a lot riskier than I thought. 
Jesus. I'm trying to get super fast. There we go. So yeah, now I'm Sonic, basically. And until the end of the round, we actually get to keep this as long as we don't get hit. So um, I'm going to actually use the KN44. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'm still fast. Nice. Stupid headless zombies that can still hit me. Oh, God. I'm a carpenter. Don't mind if I do. All right. You the last one? No? Is it you? Uh, who knows? Anyway, we're going to go and turn the power on. Doing this without quick revive is a little bit risky, but it's fine. I mean, we shouldn't die. Big emphasis on shouldn't, but anyway. So, yeah, we want to just, like, go up here and then, I guess... Try to keep an eye out because obviously you don't hear the zombies spawning. You just want to shoot them on sight. Oh god, like you see this one here? God, please. Oh, we're getting quite a few, huh? Oh god, don't drown. All right, we're fine. All right, is it done yet? Not quite. Go up for some air. There we go, it's finished. Give me the part. Now just don't die to the zombie waiting for us, of course, every time, dude. And there we go, power's on. First Pack-a-Punch part done. I'm picking up Jug. I, I ain't taking no risks. The map isn't necessarily difficult, but it's definitely not easy. When a player swaps weapons, a zombie spawns. Ooh, okay. Well, I mean, we can get more points doing this. I actually might save up for Double Tap next because um, I just want a bit more firepower. It feels like the guns are weaker, unless I'm placebo right now, but... Oh, let's go. Double points. We've already got 4,000 points. I mean... I would buy Double Tap, but we could actually open quite a lot of doors. Oh yeah, I'm not sure what happened with my microphone in the last video. I think it should be fine now. I'm pretty sure it was just an XLR cable that was a bit loose. So it was making that weird, like, buzzing sound. Oh, a max ammo. Just as I ran out for my KN as well. Thank you. All right, let's get the part for the, um, where is it? Yeah, this thing. Is it this one? Hey, it is. See, we picked up a random skull and it just happened to be this one. It's a little bit of RNG, but it's like you pick two out of three of them that you have left, and it's probably going to be one of them. Oh, hello, spider. So yeah, the second one spawns in zombies and a spider. The third one will spawn in a thrasher. And then the last one, I think, spawns a thrasher as well. Or maybe this one spawns a thrasher after it finishes. I don't remember. There's a knack to it, but oh, the round's ended. When a player loses points, orientation changes. That's fine. Come on, skull. Hurry your ass up. There we go. Boom. Nice and easy. Okay, we'll do the risky one now. Hopefully we can just get this on like the first knife. That would be brilliant. No, of course not. Why would I? Oh, hello, Thrasher. Just out of nowhere. I mean, Haymaker's pretty good for killing him, but didn't, unfortunately. Come on, please. There we go. I'm going to I'm gonna just get out of here, actually. This is a bit too risky. Oh, God, there's a lot of zombies. Ah, nuke. Actually, really good. Kind of needed that. Um, Nothing there. Oh, there's another Thrasher. Brilliant. Just knife a few of these. Come on. It's always like the very last one you go for. I swear to God. God, of course we have a sprinting thrasher. Go away, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm not dead. Ignore that. That was just a random sound effect. You know, it just happens. You know, this is what I get for not buying double tap sooner. I should have just got it ages ago. Oh, hello. We got the uh, the dude that drops the part. Excellent. I was going to try and get the KT4, so that's nice. Speaking of which, let's go down here. I mean, we have to open this door anyway. We want to get that part or the gas mask. Um, it can spawn either here. I think it can spawn somewhere over here, right? I and mean, we'll pick up some water, I guess. Um, whereabouts can it be again? I feel like it's very awkwardly just randomly placed somewhere like... I think I am actually blind. Oh, it's right here. Jesus Christ, man. I looked everywhere. All right, back to trying to find the stupid part. And of course, it's the very next one I get. <sighs> Bro. The map is just trolling me at this point. Right, let's place this skull down and then we'll RNG strat it again. Hopefully it'll be this one the next time we go there. And I think the very last part for the gas mask, did it spawn down here somewhere? Um, It's not this one. Okay, that's fine. We've got to go this way anyway. All right, so let's swim this way because the part should just be, I'm stupid. The part's here. Can we do this without a gas mask? This feels really stupid to do. I'm not going to risk it. Actually, there is a little air thing at the bottom, but I don't have quick revive. I don't want to die. Oh, we're going to get that last shield part, actually. Hopefully, it's just against this wall here. Yep, there we go. I remember where the gas mask part is. It's actually by the next skull we have to do, so kind of works out well then, doesn't it? Okay, knife you. When a zombie dies, wall buys are randomized. I reckon we might get spiders this round, possibly. No? Damn, I was hoping. But anyway, uh, because we've got to lower this to get the next part for the KT4. I could do it at max ammo soon. I mean, last time it dropped literally as I ran out of ammo. So uh, maybe we can get lucky again. Well, if we get only headshots, actually, I reckon buy this gun now. Oh, it changed. It's the CUDA. I thought it was the VMP. It's actually a little bit cheaper then. Nice. Uh, insta-kill. Cool. We can actually pack a punch now, which is good. Knife lunging is always risky, so I feel like I'm just gonna get a nuke at any second, but... Alright, we're gonna open this door. Oh, quick revives here. Cool. Hello? Give me my, give me my points! 
Okay, apparently you can't lie down by that one. Got this door here. We'll activate this. Um, the last part for the thing, it's around here somewhere. I don't know. Oh, we've got a thrasher. Okay. Not exactly ideal. Please come on, double tap. Oh, don't cough. This is a bad time to be coughing. They're hitting my thing. Stop it. Ah! Bro, this is actually not good. Don't take the skull. Don't take the skull. Bloody round ended. When a zombie spawns, players take one damage. Oh, brilliant. Hey, there we go. We did it. I just ran out of ammo as well. Do I buy the Pharaoh? Oh, we've got... Oh, it's the Vesper. Nice. Okay. Got the last gas mask part. And we've got spiders, so we can do this next KT4 part. Okay, it's all it's all kind of lining up. So yeah, if you don't know how this works, you just wait for a spider to spawn in. They run in the little cage, and then you go and press this button, and he does a little sucky suck, or a pokey poke, I guess. And then boom, he explodes, and we get that thing. Oh, and the max ammo. Nice. Oh, while we're here, let's actually get the gas mask. I like building the gas mask here because the shield, it's a bit easier to get to the other side. So building the shield there is a bit better. Oh, hello. Thrasher spawning in the ground, of course. Because why wouldn't you? Okay, get the nuke so we can actually deal with this fucker. Go away, bro. I literally just got a max and my Vespa's already almost out. Holy shit. But yeah, build the shield. Oh, another Thrasher. Brilliant. I mean, with double tap, we should just absolutely obliterate him, I imagine. Come on, one more clip. Another clip. I'm, I can't. Ooh. Please stop eating zombies. He, if he eats zombies, I think he heals himself. All right, here we go. Place the skull back in. Get the last one, of course. I was going to hit the box, but I think actually... Maybe if we save for Pack-A-Punch? I don't know. Actually, I'm going to go for one more spin. God, how many bloody zombies? This is insane. Come on, run past. Oh, that's not good. That's just really not good. I lived! I don't know what I got in the box, but I'm sorry it's gone now. All right, spin number two. Hopefully that wasn't the marshals or anything actually good, but... All right, a dredge. I'll take it, bro. Holy shit. I don't know how we didn't die there. When a player slides, ability to sprint will toggle. Okay, don't actually slide then. Thank God we picked up that shield. If we didn't have the shield there, we were screwed. This is a really long setup time, by the way. It should be done a lot quicker than this, but I'm kind of just like half assed doing it. Trying to commentate and also micromanage the 50 billion things you have to do on this map. It's not the easiest in the world. Uh, why am I doing this now? I don't know, but we're doing it now. We're doing it live. Fuck it. All right, go away. Bloody stupid bastard, come on. I got a hit marker somehow. I think I hit a spider. Oh, speaking of which, move out the way. God, can we die? Holy shit. Why am I getting stuck? I want to pick up that insta kill. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. I don't think we managed to do that one, did we? We actually did somehow. Bro, I don't even know what's happening. Just give me the skull. <laughs> just, just get me out. I should have died so many times here. Oh, we've got a double points. You know, thank the dredge. The dredge is doing work right now. Oh, right. Yeah, if you slide, your ability to sprint will toggle. I can't, I can't actually slide anymore. It's locked me. Bro, that's actually terrifying. Well, hopefully we only have like one zombie left. I'm packet punching the dredge, bro. I don't even care. Oh, here we go. We can slide now. My shield is already almost broken. Christ. But we can go and get that Skull of Nan Sapwa, which by the way, I have some merch with the Skull of Nan Sapwa shirt. If you're interested, you know, it's a pretty cool design. I think I said it earlier, but it is my favorite wonder weapon ever. That's why I wanted to get it as like my first piece of merch. I'm probably going to get some more soon because like, I don't know, I think it could just be fun, you know? And I like paying artists for commissions because good work deserves to get good rewards. Also, we can actually get the KT4 now. I think it's this one, right? Yeah. Such a cool map. Like, it's just so mysterious. I'm really excited to see what this looks like in whatever the next game is going to be called. I'm guessing like Gulf War or Cold War 2, Black Ops 6. I don't know. I'm actually going to let him hit my shield because we, like literally it's like six hits away. Boom, gone. All right, here we go place this in and now we can go and do the skull this is such a cool thing like just hidden relic underground and then the keepers come in they're trying to like protect it and shit i've been told apparently this one isn't time based you have to actually kill the keepers which makes sense because you see the souls going into it and all it's just sometimes there are some steps in zombies where you can actually just like wait it out and not have to kill anything like the uh shadows of evil rituals i guess was what i was thinking of all right just a couple more kills there we go boom done instantly Give me the skull. I guess we can go and do a spider boss fight, actually, because, I mean, why not? It's very, very simple. We have a pack of punched gun. We have double tap. It's a really cool boss, don't get me wrong, but it's also, like, it's more like a mini boss at this point because when it opens its little mouth, we, we shoot a couple times, boom, you just got to dodge the little the stabbing legs. He's already weak. I think we do that twice more, boom, and he's already weak again. Any second now? No? Okay, he actually lived a bit longer there. 
Boom, boom, boom. Come on, any year now. Okay, actually, the slow reload is... Oh, Jesus, don't die. Come on. I'm surprised this is taking so long. There we go, now we beat it. To be honest, that was literally all because of speed cola, like the lack of speed cola, but we pick up this little tooth, get the free purple drink, the purple free widow's wine. Oh God, and then we have to um try and not let the zombie hit us. Okay, there we go. Because obviously widow's wine grenades, I don't want it to die. And stupidly, I'm running away when we need to get blue water. Okay, there we go. All right, next we'll pick up rainbow water. We've got this little rock we should see when we're going through. we we'll just hold F on it when we see it. No, am I dumb? Normally it glows, was it not glow? Okay, was it the other way? Maybe it's the other way, actually. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Duh. I went the wrong way. Oh, God, the Widow's Grenade, of course. Okay, we can actually slide now, which is nice. That's annoying, though, because we lost a round, man. And rounds in Zetsubo are important. It's how bloody long things take. I mean, I don't mind the length because it all sort of flows into the map quite well, but... We're going to go under here. We're going to mesmerize. No, does this not work? Oh, I'm stupid. We have to do the paper thing first, right? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Let's not not drown. Oh, fine. Just having a really scuffed experience. We got the skull back, at least. Like, that was very quick. When a power-up spawns, lose 100 points. Oh, that's just brilliant. All right, so I'm a bit of a dumbass. We're supposed to come down here. I think we mesmerize this first. Which, there we go, show the rest of the paper. Then I'll, I'll just freeze these zombies so I can actually get past. Oh, God. Come over here, reveal the elevator. I don't think we have to do that one yet, but... I remember it used to glitch, and it used to, like, take up a bunch of the, um, the timer at the bottom right. Whenever you'd reveal stuff, but it doesn't seem to be doing it right now. Thank you. Oh, God, why are there so many zombies down here? Jesus. I've literally only just come down here. Here we go, all the way down here. Now we can reveal this thing. Boom, easy peasy, and then we place this in here, and then we shoot it with the KT-4. Oh god, I'm actually gonna drown. Oh shit. Oh, this is gonna be tight. Ah, don't die! Okay, we're good. And then we just come back to that every round, pretty much. Oh, max. Nice. And then the last KT-4 part. Oh yes, we need the lightning shield. Which, now we've done the Skull of Nansop, where we basically go all the way back to where you get the skulls from. And we have to wait for this to uh, give us a little bit of lightning. And then once that happens, we hold out the shield and we run over to... Oh god, there's quite a few zombies, actually. Oh, a nuke. I don't want that. Oh god, I'm stuck. Hello, 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 bro. Keep accidentally Widow's Wine Grenading, but it's slowing them down at least. I just don't want this guy to die. Oh my god, I just realized we have to do the challenges first, don't we? Destroy webs with explosives. That's easy. Kill zombies that are attracted to plants. Okay, we need purple water. And zombies as they're mutating, that's like the worst one. But we already have one of those done. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm so stupid. I can't believe I forgot that. That's like Zetsubo 101. That's like the main thing you should remember. I tell you what though, screw it. I'm buying stamina up. I know speed cola would be better, but but I'm fed up of running around so slowly. And plus, we can get a grenade on there, and that's one of our challenges. Stamina up is just, it's too crutch. Oh, of course. I was hoping I could get one while they were mutating, but I guess we'll just kill you the old-fashioned way. We don't have quick revive as well, so if we die, it's over. Come on, any mutators? Um, Let's run them all through here, actually. They're all widows wind, which is annoying, but whatever. Do that. Hopefully one of them will mutate. Any of them? None of them. Really not a single mutator. What about this one? Come on, one of you has to. Max ammo? Okay, I'll take that. Yes, there we go. Oh, don't tell me that was too early. Hopefully that counted. Oh, yes, before the round ends. God, I almost bloody forgot as well. When a player swaps weapons... Oh, zombies gain health. That's why they were getting stronger. I, th I thought I could feel something different in the gameplay loop. We should have a spore down here this time so we can actually breathe a bit longer. Yeah, here we go. Shoot this, get some air... Then we do this, shoot that. And then if we actually end the round now, we can get the last one. Come on, death machine up. There we go. When a player slides, drops a grenade again. Oh God, not that one. But yeah, just quickly plant and then shoot. Oh, we got spiders, okay. Which is good, because if we can finish this underground, actually, we can go and pick up this part immediately. Actually, there's no rush, and I kind of want them to go and make more webs so we can get this next challenge as well. Like, come on, web up the mule kick. Also, we could just run through the map. Oh, I just realized I'm sliding. I'm dropping so many grenades. No, I actually want them alive. Bro, the one time I want them to web up the doors, they're not even doing it. All right, there we go. That's one. These little absolute gremlins. Hey, there we go. Jesus, it takes so long to do that. 
Hey, there we go. Destroy five webs with explosives. So we can go and pick up that part whenever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this spore and hopefully, yeah, that one. To kill another zombie while mutating and then we should be done, I think. Or what was the last one? Oh, right. Yes, purple water. Fucking, uh, okay. Or is it purple? Maybe it's green. I'm going to Google it, actually. I don't know for certain. Okay, it is purple water. I, I thought so. Um, Let's try this one. It's a bit riskier since we're going inside, but come on. Give me a mutator. There we go. Yes. Hey, challenge done. Easy. Now, literally all we need is purple water, which we do actually have to go this way, lol. You will pay for your God, widows, man. Why did I buy widows wine? <laughs> I should have just bought speed cola instead. Right, there we go. We picked up the purple water. We're going to, we're not worrying about gas mask yet because um, we're obviously going to get a new one before the boss fight if we make it that far. All right. So purple water. God, what? Okay, well, there's me talking about the boss fight. Oh, <laughs> uh, getting caught with the KT4 out is not ideal. Yeah, you know what? We put in a good effort. We got round 18. We did most of the map. Like, the setup is the fun part, really. Bro, I am the stupidest person on the planet. I have just been recording a cause and effect. We have this really sick ray gun SMG Razorback thing, which it turns into a Wonder Wolf. It's genuinely awesome. And I haven't been recording for the last 20 minutes, dude. Oh my God. So we're going to hit the fast restart, which sucks because I really don't want to get rid of this gun. But like, whatever, dude. Let me at least showcase the uh, the Wonder Wolf version of it. So here we go. You shoot it and it, and it zaps them all. It's really cool. We have so many free perks and oh, I'm going to lose them all. It's so just... Ah, <laughs> Why? So, we're doing cause and effect on Garod Krovi. One of the last few maps that we haven't done it on, actually, for the base BO3. We're actually using the Reaper collection, so there's a bit of variation with, like, the perks and stuff. I've enabled a few Black Ops 4 perks, some Cold War stuff. And yeah, like you saw in the intro, we had that Raygun SMG we can get out of the box, which I actually did on, like, my fifth spin. And I... <laughs> Why? But it's fine. So yeah, every single round, something's going to change. Right now, it's players take damage, orientation slightly changed. Okay. So it just makes you like slightly aim a bit to the left or the right or up or down or whatever, whenever you get slapped. So look, let me showcase it real quick. So I'm, I'm aiming and then yeah, it sort of like took me up to the right. My Shure SM7B actually just arrived. So this is going to be the last video that you'll see with me using this microphone. And you know, the Blue Yeti, it served me well. Using filters genuinely makes it like pretty decent. I mean, I've been using it since I started this channel and obviously we have 30k subs now. So clearly it's pretty decent, but when a player loses 300 plus points, an earthquake occurs. So when I buy this, oh, your favorite. I love my entire screen shaking. Jesus Christ. At least it's not permanent. But yeah, this Reaper Collection mod, it's pretty sick. I've put on Vanguard perk icons because I wanted to see what they looked like. Obviously, I just played a game so I know what they look like and I'm pretty pleased with them. Like genuinely, look at this. Like, come on, tell me that doesn't look kind of slick you know when a zombie spawns perks randomize their location i actually had that one last game so hopefully we find jug it was in the spawn the whole time and i just couldn't find it but anyway what's gonna happen oh yep electric terry <laughs> what oh hi widow's wine how's it going speed cola the custom perks don't change location is the only thing i've noticed as you can see over here, it was PhD last game here, but now we have ICU, which if you don't know, basically makes you immortal whenever you're like building or anything, which is pretty useful. I should have put Stone Cold Stronghold on because that would have been like really useful since we have a shield and oh my God, Jug is back in the spawn again. Just okay. When a player swaps weapons, a random player is moved. Okay, so I can move myself. That's, that's totally not annoying at all. Hello, double tap. It's fine. Let's go get the shield parts. Speed cola just awkwardly in this corner. Hello. Ooh, a random banana colada. Hello. Why am I getting the feeling I'm going to get a double points right at the end of the round again? I swear, it's just like a sense I have. Okay, we've got a carpenter. It will actually refresh our shield, which is quite nice. We have a zombie counter, of course, which is very, very useful. I can find the shield part. I see it down here. Boom, that's two out of three. The shield is actually so broken on this map. But anyway, let's go for a spin of the box. Could we get it first try? Could we get that ray gun back? No, we got the Brecci, which is actually one of the guns I got in the last game as well. Just being trolled by the box now. Come on, what are we getting? What are we getting? PPSH, you know, can't really complain about that. 
probably the best thing to come out of this map. But honestly, I love Garrod Kroby, man. Oh, Vulture Raid. Hello. I forgot this was enabled. That's going to be cool. Now, for whatever reason, when I go in this area, it gives me like frame lag, which is really strange. And in the same area opposite. Dude, the PPSH was done dirty, though. Why does it sound so pathetic? Like the World at War one sounded like a proper, like just absolutely obliterates everything. But let's go turn this power on nice and simple. We could just spin the Wonder Fizz to get a few perks. That'd be cool. Oh, so every time we get a headshot, it, it changes our orientation. Okay, so just awkwardly makes me look upwards. Nice, I love it. All right, let's do the first Groff module. Where's it dropping? Oh my God, right here. Perfect. Nice and easy. You know, I never know if this is time-based or if we need a certain amount of kills because I don't know. I think we do. We got double tap. Hell yeah, dude. Not bad for a first perk drop. We have like 20 perks, so I thought we'd enable perk drops just because, you know, there's so much variety. Also, yeah, I think it is kill based, but maybe I'm wrong. Like, there we go. See, done. That was like 20 kills. When a player reloads, a random perk is lost. My quick revive's gone, dude. Oh my God. I didn't even know. <laughs> For God's sake, dude. It's fine. Just come on. Brain, do not reload. I have this like muscle memory, but just means that I reload constantly. So come on. I want to keep double tap. I will not reload. I will not reload. When this gun starts to run out, we just, we switch weapons. Insta kill. Okay. We don't even need to shoot, dude. We've got this as well. Hell yeah. A max ammo. Oh my God. Perfect. Means I don't have to reload. Excellent. Oh, this one of this is enabled as well. I think I put all of them on. Hello, mule kick up there. Okay, here we go. Second graph module. Ah, oh, death machine. Perfect. I don't have to reload. Let's go. And it's right above me as well, which is nice. When a player slides, the random player is slightly moved. Okay, you know, if we were playing co-op, the random player thing would actually be quite funny. Oh, another perk drop. Don't mind if I do. We got stamina up. Hell yeah. Seem to be getting all the base perks, but I can't exactly complain, you know? Who's going to say no to stamina up at the end of the day? I had this whole random in the last video just talking about like why is double tap not been in a game since bo3 or i guess technically in like world war 2 or infinite warfare zombies oh yeah it's just cancelling our slide you actually can't it just like stops you <laughs> That's so glitchy. Let's go pick up our old Groff module thingy. Go for a spin, actually. See what we can get. Come on, I'd love to get that ray gun thingy back, please. No, you give me the goddamn shadow claws. I just, they're not cutting it, bro. It doesn't even one shot. It's not even a one shot. Like, come on, an RPK? Okay, not going to necessarily say no to that. Hey, ray gun mark threes. You know, it's not the special ray gun, but it's close enough, you know? This is pretty much like the God setup, you know, PPSH, Reagan Mark III, let's buy Speed Cola. And I think we'll also get Jug. Okay, it didn't move. <laughs> I swear if I went back there and it wasn't there. I wonder what other perks are just randomly placed around the map. There's got to be a few, right? Oh yeah, like right here, Bigger Rush, okay. Effect, bullet weapons create small explosions when shooting. That's quite cool. I've noticed that in the actual like cause and effect, or is it the weapon pack mods? It's one of them. I kind of want to wait for Mule Kick before we go spinning. Oh, hello, Death Perception just in the corner. See zombies through walls. Kind of like, it's one of those perks where it seems very useless until you use it and have this like niche situation where it's actually useful. Like on that Ascension video I did very recently, it genuinely came in clutch a few times there, but we have to, uh, we'll kill the zombie. Where is the shield part? It's not here. Wait, where is the other spawn again? Oh, it, here it is. Dude, I never like noticed this one. So this one glitches out a lot of the time and visually it just won't show up. When a player slides, lose a hundred points. Oh, for God's sake, dude. I was sliding for the last like two minutes. I need to save up for the door. <laughs> See, these ones are really troll because it's just something that it's second nature. When you play zombies, you're going to slide and reloading, you know, it's just something that you always do. All right, we can actually afford the door now. Let's go. Call in the Groff module. Oh, and of course it goes all the way on the other the side of the map like it just of course it does ah hello dying wish one of the best perks uh, honestly the best perk to come out of black ops 4 dude again and the sliding i kept sliding ah right we'll use the ray gun for this nice and easy i think there we go just make little black holes i mean it's kind of interesting because on black ops 3 there are two wonder weapons on the main maps that just make black holes it would have been nice if there was a little bit more variety but i can't complain because like they're pretty decent the mark 3s have nothing on the apothecary servant though like that gun you know it, it's godly until round infinity this stops one shotting at round 50 which is kind of pathetic you know compared to everything else on this game anyway though we got the last one so we can go get pack a punch but here's phd slider just tucked in the corner i wish that phd was on the actual garod Kroby, but i mean this is as close as we can get i suppose when a gumball is eaten gain 100 points oh so you get like what i suppose if it costs zero then oh dude with the frame every time when i reach this 
area. But yeah, if it costs zero, we get a hundred back. There are some custom gobble gums that I genuinely don't know what they do. But anyway, eat this and yeah, plus 100. But if it was 1500, then we'd get a 15th of the price back. Like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Nothing crazy, you know? Oh, we've got another one of those cylinder thingies. Get the old death machine. I really want that Reagan SMG back. I swear, I don't want to end the video until we get it back because that entire video I recorded was just such good content. But at least we got Mule Kick. Actually quite good. Oh, and a double points at the end of the round, you know? Classic. When a player takes damage, wall buys are randomized. I mean, we're probably not going to be buying any wall buys anyway. But here, let's go for a spin. Oh, Valkyries. No one likes the Valkyries. Dude, can I stop getting the Britchy? But look, it actually glows green. You've got to appreciate that because not knowing which gun is your mule kick gun genuinely sucks sometimes. But this is perfect because now you permanently know. And I think when you rebuy the perk, if you go down, you get your mule kick gun back, which is so good. All right, there we go. We got the old the mask part ready, I think. Come on, Max Ammo, get over here. It's cool to actually fly to you. I mean, I, obviously it would stay out the map otherwise, so it's kind of needed. What are we getting? A teddy? Okay, dude. Let's build the shield real quick. The guard of FNAF? FNAF? The guard of FNAF? Not exactly what I was thinking, but the guard of Fafnir, probably one of the best shields, like, ever. I mean, shooting out dragon fire is just pretty sick. Imagine if we had that shield on, like, transit. The fire immunity would be just so good. I wonder if the mod creators are doing that for the uh, transit remaster, if they're going to have the guard of Fafnir, because that would be so cool, just holding out the shield and being immune to fire. Or, I guess, lava as well. I mean, it should count, too. Let's see what other perk we can get. When a gumball's eaten, AAT is removed. Why would I want that? Why would I want to lose, like, my dead wire? Is this dead shot? The perk bottles are sick, though. It could actually be the Cold War BO4 dead shot, so it might be pretty decent. But we have the fire sale. Don't mind if I do. Maybe we can get our hands on this good old ray gun thing. Pick up with the flowers, because every game I do it. Oh, the bloody shadow claws. Please, dude, I beg. The locust? No, this isn't what I want. Please, 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 please. Oh, the weevil. One of the most underwhelming guns ever. But I mean, it's pretty good for points, to be honest. What is this? Is that I? ICU? Oh, yes, it is. ICU is actually pretty good. So it makes you immortal when you're like building stuff. I think it means you... Do you reload a bit faster? I think you do because that is even faster than speed cola. What is this? Electric cherry. Don't mind if I do. Oh, when a player takes damage, give a random gobble gum. Okay. See you later, nerds. <laughs> I'm all the way in spawn. Oh my god. Let's see where it takes me next. Uh, bye bye. Wait, what? Spawn again? Why does it always take me here? I know there's like a glitch you could do to get back into that like boss fight, but you have to beat the Easter egg first, which I find very intriguing because that's considered like the best camping spot. Why is this perk I got? Flatulent something? What on earth? Oh my god, I'm dead. I died. Are you serious? Oh, I forgot it stole my quick revive. Oh, I hate life right now. Okay, so not my proudest moment. Wait, why are we still on round 12? What? Huh? I've only just spawned it. I fast restarted. Why are we on round 12? I only have 100 points, dude. Oh, no, no. What? Now it's round one. Okay. When a player reload, ability to slide will toggle. Well, that's just brilliant, isn't it? I swear Garod secretly hates me, bro. Hello? Where are the zombies, man? Are they just invisible? Oh, there we go. Oh, random camo when a perk is purchased. Okay, that's actually like a bad one because for whatever reason, that one crashes the game so many times. Hello, Crusader's Ale. Hello, Death Perception. When a player earns 100 plus points, random attachments. Okay, I don't actually have any attachments on my gun, so that would actually be kind of decent. Oh, yeah, there we go. I just laid down by the perk and I have a laser sight now. What the hell? Does it work for the, uh, the MR6 as well? There's usually a perk. Damn, is there no custom perk? Maybe I could, like, I get a knife kill. Yeah, there we- Oh, it put a laser sight on the starting pistol, dude. That's so cool. Oh, and now it swapped it out to something. Wait, I have a fast mag. I definitely have a fast mag. That's so good. Let's see if I can get one on the RK5. Yep, there we go. It's like I have speed cola, but I don't. That's so good, actually. Now I, I kind of don't want to get too many points, so I get rid of it. I'm trying to aim for the body, I guess. When a zombie spawns, wall by prices are randomized. Okay. Oh, box isn't on this side. Why did I come over? 
over here then, but we got the shield, I guess. You know what? Screw it. I'll go this way this time. Now, how much is the Vesper? It's 2,260. Now it's 1,100. What? You think anyone in their right might 860 points? That's actually really cheap. Okay, if it goes below 1,000, maybe I'll get it. I would love to keep this starting pistol, but... Okay, it's 2,119. It's not changing. Never mind. Screw it then. Let me just double check. Yep, it's, it's stuck. It's sad. Well, we can build the shield immediately. Dude, you can actually build the shield so quickly on this map. Like, it's only round three. How am I red screen? Like, literally, I got slapped by one zombie. Whatever, dude, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to go spin the box. Pretty please, can I just get, like, Razorback first try, maybe? That would be nice. No, we've got a dredge. I mean, I actually do secretly like the dredge. It's a pretty good gun. And the L4 Siege. I mean, if we had PhD, it'd be kind of decent. The dredge, I mean, it goes through ammo really quick, but it genuinely does shred. A six-round burst LMG. Like, you can't, you can't hate on it too much. It's better the later the game goes, or unless you're, like, just shooting into a massive horde of zombies, but we got the PP. Okay, I'll happily take a PPSH over it, though. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Uh, Britchie again, dude. I, I can't escape the Britchie, no matter where I go. Are you serious? My game crashed. I give up. Right, so we're playing Revelations, but every single round, something's gonna change. When a player slides, a random zombie dies. Wait, what the f- <laughs> Wait, does it give me points? Wait, it doesn't. No! So, I'm assuming I slide here. Yep, that one just- <laughs> That's so stupid, bro. Yep, that one just died as well. Well, I mean, if that actually gave me points, that would be a kind of decent one. I just slid by accident. Okay, the round's over. When a player earns 100 plus points, player's gun gets a random camo. <gasps> does that work on, uh, on the MR6? No? Damn it. I mean, I just... Oh, no, these are 10 points, aren't they? I'm dead! It's fine. Nothing happens at all right there. No, nothing at all. When a gumball is eaten, player's speed is randomized. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and get one then. What is this? Stock option? Even though... Wait, what? I don't even have stock option on. What the fuck? Maybe it's part of the mod. It just doesn't let you have gobble gums, but... Okay, we seem to be running like... I don't even know if we're faster, actually. I think we are a little bit, so hey, I'll take it, dude. Now, we have effects stacking on, so obviously, like, every single round, this is going to, like, continue, so no matter what, if we eat more gobblegums, it'll change the speed that we're at or whatever. Also, I did notice that the zombies don't have purple eyes in this, which is interesting, because in all the other cause and effect videos, they have. But yeah, right, now let's not go down to the stupid furies again. Yeah, it's just when you go to melee them, they still, like, hit you sometimes. It's very strange. Ow, like, see? Dude, all right, there we go. <laughs> actually managed to do it this time. Jesus. Well, I think the best move is probably buying Quick Revive as soon as possible. So, uh, last attempt doesn't happen again. Box is this way. When a power-up spawns, random zombie triggers an AAT. Okay. So that's going to happen forever, which is cool. Oh, we have a shield part here, but it doesn't really matter because... If you didn't know, you can't build shields on this game mode. It literally just doesn't let you. Well, it does technically let you, but it doesn't let you, like, actually pull it out or anything or have one on your back. So it's basically useless. Surely this will go better. Oh, we got a max ammo and it triggered a blast furnace. That's cool. I was going to say, surely this will go better than Shangri-La. We'll see, dude. Let's go ahead and spin this box real quick. Who knows? Maybe we'll get the Apothecan Servant first attempt. No, but we got the DG4. Wait, isn't that what we got on uh, Shangri-La? We got the specialist weapon, like, immediately. That's just typical, bro. I mean, like, I'm not complaining necessarily, but I kind of wanted a point weapon. Where's this last zombie at? Oh, you're up here. Hello. Okay, we can afford one more. When a gumball is eaten, player's AAT is removed. Okay, so I guess we'll just stick with this gobble gum then for now. I'm not going to hit it again because I don't really want to lose that. But anyway, M1927. I do love the Tommy gun, to be honest. Very freaking cool weapon. And it's also, like, pretty perfect for points. Like, I'm so glad they brought it back in Revelations because, you know, it was in Mob of the Dead. And that was pretty much the only map it was in, wasn't it? Oh, Deadwire. What the, <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh, because we got a death machine. Oh, and it's a blast furnace. What the fuck? Right, let's do one more spin and we'll just save up points to buy doors, I guess. We got little Arnie's. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, our box luck has actually been pretty good, not gonna lie. Oh, there's a double points down here. I didn't even see that. No wonder there was another AAT triggering. Shame the round is literally over. When a player takes damage, the orientation slightly changed. Okay, so like... Orientation is when you're aiming, like it will nudge to the side, nudge to the left, up, down, whatever. Damn, this Tommy gun has a lot of ammo. Which is uh, extremely good, because we're definitely going to need it. Oh, hello. Fucking. I kind of want to save up for Jug, which is in the middle area, but you know. It's nice that we haven't had anything crazy broken just yet, so like, you know, we're easing into it a little bit. Oh, hi. 
Right, you're the last one. Boom. Easy peasy. When a zombie dies, give it random pap gun. Oh, no. Just as I say that, bro. Oh, I can't wait. That's going to be awesome. Just... <laughs> Oh boy. Every single time I kill a zombie, it's going to give me a paptagon. And traditionally, I've got to pick up the owl's hat, of course. All right, time for the corruption engine. I mean, do we just say fuck it? Let's put down the Ragnaroks. Surely this won't break my game. Oh yeah, it gave me a ray gun. Wait, what the fuck? I want to keep that. <laughs> the Bahamut, the Argus, the BRM. What is going on, dude? This is so broken. Oh, the Apothecary Servant. Oh, I don't want to get rid of it. Fuck, it actually swapped it out. That's so sad. Oh my god, it's still going. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, the Dracon's back. Okay. Now I've got the BMP. Oh my god, now I've got the Banshee. The oh, the Tommy Gun's back. I must have killed so many because Jesus Christ. Oh no, it's because I'm killing them now. I'm so dumb. So we're just going to have a constant gun game going on, basically. I mean, what is the point in trying to keep one of the weapons because no matter what, it's going to swap out? So yeah, I guess we just say fuck it. That's quite hilarious, though. When a grenade is thrown, an earthquake occurs. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, classic. Oh, we got the Lilani. Lilani? No, the fucking parasite round. Jesus, I can speak. Now, I'm assuming if I kill with this... Oh, it does. It gets rid of it. Tragic. Oh, and I can't hip fire for shit with this weapon. Why do I keep getting the SVG, bro? Oh, there we go. The Apothecary Servant. At least it counts as a papped weapon, I suppose. All right, and then we finish with the 48 Dredge. Oh, let's go. When a door is purchased, a random zombie dies. Okay. It's like that sliding one we had on the first game. But we have so many points now. Holy shit. Also, can we just say Revelations camos are some of the best of all time? The Pack-a-Punch camos anyway. Well, here we go. Juggernaut. I like how the power's already turned on here as well. I appreciate that. All right, kill you two. We're going to get the Shiva. It's a good way to, like, cycle through all the guns, I suppose. Oh, the XM53. You. Now we've got the Argus. Anyone else agree the Argus is just a futuristic model 1887? I like how the camos are changing too. Like, it seems to be rotating between all the camos. Like, we're just getting pink ones. Oh, a public servant. Okay. The, uh, oh, the Rift D9's cool. The Dracon. The Thunder Gun. Hey, oh, it's gone. Oh, can I? Hey, let's go. What is going on, bro? When a player take gets a headshot, players take one damage. Okay, dude. As if it wasn't fucking annoying enough already. Let's head towards, uh, what's it called? Verrucked, I suppose. Go and do this part next. Hello? The next shield part. I don't know why I'm bothering collecting them. Just at least I remember the place, I suppose. All right, next one. Kill you. The Dracon. Oh, boy. Back on the Tommy gun. Oh, yeah, my orientation is definitely changing sometimes. XM53 is good, though. The Apothecary Servant, shoot it. Yes. If I can at least get one shot off, then it does save me a bit. I can't shoot, bro. It's just swapping so much. The Thunder Gun! Hey! It is nice going through and actually using the wonder weapons, I suppose, at least. Well, last one we need is Derizon Drak. I mean, let's go through this way, I suppose. When a player takes damage, the mystery box moves. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yeah, and I take damage, like, if I get a headshot, like, one damage. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Oh, I just got my Ragnaroks out by accident. Oops. Um, okay. Well, let's, let's we can keep the uh, the thunder gun. God, it's so blue and bright. Jesus Christ. Ah, the haymaker. Oh, back to the Argus. Back to the Weevil. God, just it swaps so much. All right, is this the round? Yeah, it is. Finishing with the Brecci. Okay. Well, we want to go this way. I think just Panzer spawn around ten on this game. I forget. Could be twelve. We kind of just have to hope we get a good RNG weapon. When a player swaps weapons, take one damage. Okay, just just no matter what, I'm just going to be taking like a little bit of damage all the time. Dingo! I can spray it a little bit before having to swap it out. God, just hearing the fucking Samantha laugh constantly or the teddy bear laugh. Oh, we've got a double points. Well, it'd be nice if I could use it. Rechi. Literally just going through every single gun in the game. It's brilliant. Oh, we've got a nuke. Oh, fucking let me grab it. The orientation thing, it's not even when you're aiming. It slightly just like knocks you off even without aiming. I've noticed it a couple times now. Well, at least we've got Pack-A-Punch unlocked, even though it's totally useless because we're just getting Pack-A-Punch for free anyway, which I'm not necessarily complaining. Oh, we just missed it. God damn it, it's right there, you bastard. I guess the only thing we want to really care about now is perks. Let's go back to Mob, go get Double Tap from Origins. And I guess, do we even need Speed Coder? I feel like it's totally useless because we're never going to be able to reload our weapon. I feel like the logical choice, oh, there was one zombie left, nice. Logical choice is get the Wonder Fizz wherever it is. When a grenade is thrown, random player drops a grenade. What? Do I just duplicate my grenades? Oh, the Marg was spawning. On round 11, interesting. That's different. At least the head, they don't count, like, for swapping the weapons, I suppose. 
cool that the Marg was like teleport though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he's randomly slamming, okay. Come on, Marg, what, like, let me just, let me just pop his head real quick. No, it swapped my weapon. Oh, shit. That was actually so close to just death. Oh, no. Uh, no, I tried to get my fucking Ragnaroks out, bro. Well, this is going to be risky then, isn't it? I don't even have my Ragnaroks anymore. That's brilliant. Let's throw a little army. Oh, fuck. All right, that uh, works. Shoot this down. Can I, can I please destroy the head? Ah, uh, there we go. Jesus Christ. Oh, and now I have a Thunder Gun. Wait, it's giving me the Samantha glitch. No. Is it because I pulled the Ragnaroks out before? Now I have nothing. I have a pistol. Well, I mean, at least it's giving me the papped guns, I suppose. But now I just have no points. So that's brilliant. Can it stop swapping the weapons? Jesus. Well, fuck, dude. <laughs> when a door is purchased, all zombies gain 10% of their max health. I mean, we have most doors open anyway. This game just loves to troll me, bro. Like, any way possible. Now I need quick revive back. At least we've had none that are, like, screwing up our perks, I suppose. That's, like, something. I'm taking one damage constantly. Give me quick revive, bro. I need stamina, but that's what I was going to get. Because there's no point in getting speed cola, but stamina would be good. Oh, we're going to nuke. Let's go. Oh, my God. It'd be nice if my fucking weapon would actually do something. I'm permanently red screen, so I'm taking one damage all the time. Okay, we're good. Jesus. Let's use the death machine because we can actually use it. All right, that's the round. Still need, like, a ridiculous amount of points to be able to get Jug and stuff, but whatever. Well, we have a secondary weapon as a Thunder Gun. I feel like we keep it just in case we need to, like, use something different. If we're in a sticky situation, you know, we swap it out. Oh, God, so many zombies. Ah, oh, don't get me stuck. I'm gonna just use the Ragnaroks. Smash! See, at least this is reliable. Unironically, getting that from the box, like, probably the best hit we could have got. It doesn't count for me swapping weapons and stuff. As long as it doesn't fucking Samantha glitch me again. Please, I beg. Oh, God. Oh, well, there goes the thunder gun. Oh, the ray gun. Cool, dude. Oh, my God, it is. It's giving me the fucking Samantha glitch again. Are you serious? Okay, so we can't use the Ragnaroks then, I guess. When a player swaps weapons, five zombies spawn. Oh, my God. This round is never going to end. Because it's constantly, like, swap... It's constantly going on. No, dude. No! And now I'm stuck in the corner. The thunder gun! That worked. Okay. <laughs> How am I alive? Oh, there goes all my guns again. And again. What the fuck is happening, bro? I'm perma Samantha glitched. Oh, just thunder gun it. Fucking hell. What is going on? Oh, and now it's Samantha glitched again. Oh, fuck. I somehow got through there. Who knows how? I have nothing. A fire sale. Oh, that would be brilliant if I could actually use my guns. And yeah, because we're constantly swapping weapons... Yeah, we're just dead. Because we were constantly swapping weapons, it kept spawning five zombies. That's hilarious. All right, so this is Nectar and Tone, but every single round, something is going to change. We're putting no repeat combos on. We're not going to put effect stacking on. When a power-up spawns, gain 100 points. Okay, kind of useless because there's only six zombies on round one. But yeah, since this is an extremely small map, I didn't want to do anything too crazy. It's already difficult enough as it is. I think what we will do, though, I think we will buy perks. I know, sacrilegious, oh my god, playing Nact and buying perks. They put the Wonder Fizz in fucking Zombies Chronicles for a reason, right? I would love to try this on OG Nactor and Toten, but it's kind of, like, not possible because mods... Well, this mod, anyway, isn't on World of War. That's cool, though. That machine that's in D-Machine is over here. I wonder if this is in OG Nact. Can you actually see this machine in here? God, the rounds are so slow. Where is this last zombie, bro? <laughs> Nactar and Totem round one. Always so goddamn long. Like, where even is he, dude? My god, he's all the way over here. Fucking hell, I'm gonna headshot you because I'm not waiting. Oh, and there's one more. Are you serious? Where's this bozo gonna be? Oh, over here. Welcome, dude. When a player takes damage, held gun becomes papped. Okay, wait a minute. This is kind of broken. Because if we do this on Nact, you know, it's kind of huge. Well, we're going to open this door. Oh, it's a thousand. I wanted to get the box first. I don't know if I want to pack a punch my starting pistol because it's kind of a death trap. Maybe we just get the RK5. But like, I'd love to pack a punch something actually good. All right, we've got enough points. Okay, let's go and spin the box. What's it gonna give me? It gives me a Britchy. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So if you slap me, boom, pack a bunch. Oh, that's so OP. Might as well take the starting pistols too. Well, yeah, there we go. You now have pack a punch on Nactar and Toten. 
And the goddamn last zombies. Oh my god, all the time. There he is. Jesus, took the time. When a zombie dies, a random player drops a grenade. Oh god. Okay, we actually have to be quite careful then. Because if they die near us, you know, that's a lot of grenade explosions going on. Oh god, yeah, there we go. I shot from miles away and it spawns a grenade right on top of me. So it's a player drops a grenade, not the zombie. So yeah, kill you. Oh, there's another grenade. Actually kind of terrifying. Oh god. Just gotta not kill too many at a time. Saying that, okay, I only dropped one that time. So if you kill two in quick succession, it only drops one grenade. Actually, maybe we don't buy perks from the Wonder Fizz. Maybe we just let the cause and effect do its thing. If we get a perk one, we get a perk one, you know? I think that would be a better way to do it. Also, god, hello, zombies. Early rounds are knacked. Oh my god. There he is, all the way back there. Oh, just patiently running around trying to find it there. There we go. And there's still one more. This is torture, bro. Where's the last one? I know Nact, very nostalgic and all, and it, impact on zombies. It was the first map ever created. Very, very cool, but dear God, bro. Talk about anti-fun when they just don't spawn in. This round has been going on for like five minutes now. Shit, there he is. Oh my God. When a player takes damage, open a random door where there's actually... That's kind of not good because we want to keep this door shut, ideally. But at the same time, it's free. So like, oh, but it's debris, isn't it? It's very specific. It only opens doors, apparently. So this is kind of useless anyway, because the only door we have was right here. I was just thinking maybe we could get the Wonder Fizz if it was free, but nope. I mean, we can give it a try. Come on, zombie. Fucking hurry your ass up. Slap me. There we go. Oh, 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 it did open it. Okay, never mind. It's, apparently it works. Nice. Now both doors are going to be open. Yep. What perk are you going to give me? Quick revive, I'll take it. Also, can we just uh, think about how fucking large the moon is on this map? Why is it so big? Double points, don't mind if I do. That means one more perk for me. What's this one going to be? Dead shot. Oh, come on. I'll kindly pass. When a gumball is eaten, a random zombie teleports near a player? Okay. I wasn't really planning on using gobble gums, but because, you know, they're kind of OP. We've got Pokeaholic extra credit, you know. We'll be a little bit broken. What's the gun in here? Oh, it's the locust in the sniper cabinet. But like nobody ever buys this. Who wants a locust? I mean, it's not bad. Sure, it's like high damage without Pack-a-Punch because there is no Pack-a-Punch on this map. But there's a fun fact, actually. These red barrels that you can shoot that explode, these were actually put in place because Nectar and Totem, they were originally like trying to make zombies be a tower defense style FPS, which is really interesting. But they quickly changed their mind when they released Barucked and had like the perks and stuff. And they were like, nah, let's just go with the round based stuff. Like obviously Nect was round based, but they put more emphasis on it, I suppose. And like the roguelite em elements. Em 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 fucking hell, I can speak. Go for another spin in the Wonder Fizz. Surely I get something decent this time. Double tap. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. You know, screw it. We'll keep these two perks and we'll not buy any more. Just so, you know, if we get any more perks, it'll be because of the cause and effect mod. We can use these explosions, why not? Mustang and Sally, there is a zombie somewhere. My god, where are you, dude? Oh, here he is. Fucking finally. And the very last one is where exactly? Good god, I've been recording for 12 minutes. We're still on round five. This is just even with Pack-a-Punch and like perks and stuff, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Oh, there we go. When a zombie dies, open a random door. Okay. Well, like I said, we already have the doors open now, so. Carpenter. Oh boy, just make the spawns even slower. I mean, I was planning on doing cause and effect on practically every single map anyway, so it, it's okay, man. We'll suffer through it. It's fine. This is going to be the slowest map out of all of them. Kind of excited to try doing it on the Rucked, but at the same time, it's going to be quite terrifying with the Rucked sprinters. And imagine we get one like that just slows down our sprint speed. It seems like they're spawning in a little bit faster. This is why we keep one of those doors shut as well, because it kind of speeds up the spawns if you're in like one of the rooms. When a grenade is thrown, a zombie spawns. Fuck it, dude. I'll throw some grenades then. Give me some zombies. I just want them spawning in, dude. So we can go for a spin in the box. I mean, why not? We'll swap out the Mustang and Sally if needed. Um, the BRM, eh. I think the Thunder Gun is on this map, so if we could get that, that'd be kind of cool. Spray the fuck out the Mustang and Sally. Try not to go down, of course. Oh, we got a nuke. Oh, thank God. Please just end the round. And it did. Oh, thank God. When a gumball is eaten, a random zombie triggers an AAT. Not really something I can use again. Because if I pick up a gumball, I'm going to have like some really OP shit. We're going to spin the box again. Come on. Give me, give me a thunder gun. Give me a ray gun, maybe. That would be great. Nope, an ICR. 
Not a bad gun, but eh, I think I'll just pass on it, you know? A weevil, again, just not really what I'm looking for. But to be honest, we have like very little ammo. I mean, it's fine. We've got points for the box. And it doesn't move at least, so we don't have to worry about the teddy bear. Oh, a ray gun! Let's go. I'll take it, dude. Now I have double splash damage weapons. Don't know why I swapped the bread sheet. I guess because my ammo was low anyway. Oh, hello. Jesus, almost went down then. <laughs> Jump scared me. When a player earns 100 plus points, a random perk is lost. Oh, so I'm just getting punished now because of my perk purchasing. Well, I'm screwed then. Unless because I have a ray gun. Theoretically, I can't get more than 100 points per kill, can I? Even if I get a headshot, I'm pretty sure it, it won't. This is 100 plus. Let's see, shall we? You... Yep, that didn't count. Hell yes. So we still get to keep our perks. Let's fucking go. Yep, look, boom. Headshot. Nothing. Talk about broken. Let's go for a spin in the box. Insta kill, not bad. An another insta kill. Oh my god, I'm just gonna spawn in. And a nuke. Fair enough. And I heard another drop. What was that? A max ammo. Okay, I'll take it. Wait, huh? I lost my but No! It's because I did I is it because I meleeed with insta kill? I lost my double tap, dude. Well, that's kind of tragic. I completely did it without even thinking. I didn't even know. I almost did it again as well. When a perk is purchased, I lose 100 points. So it just makes it 100 points more expensive, I suppose. I guess I can't complain too much. You know, we have a ray gun. But we don't have double tap, which means it's not even reliably one-shotting anymore. It's like sometimes a two-shot. And obviously the crawler thing is going to be a bit annoying too. And we can't get a ray gun mark too if we're holding a ray gun. But it's fine, dude. Oh, a cuda. Oh, God. Ah, hello. Hi. Oh, map is still terrifying to this day because of how tight it is. All right. Oh, hello, crawlers. My God. Yeah, we won't purchase any more perks. Hello. Fucking hell, where'd you come from? Carpenter, I'm not going to pick it up. I'm going to get this MP40. It's iconic, dude. Why not? Completely forgot it was on uh, Nactar and Totem, but I suppose it makes sense. World of War and all. When a player reloads, an earthquake occurs. Oh, boy. Reload. <laughs> oh, great. i have got to deal with this while I'm playing. At least it's, you know, again, not like that Kino de Totem experience we had. Jesus Christ. At least the spawns have, like, sped up a bit. So we can actually progress with the rounds a little bit now. There's 550 different combinations that you could possibly have for this cause and effect mod. And I turned off repeat like mod things. Oh, there's an earthquake random happening. So you can't get the same combination more than once in this game. But even then, with all these videos we've done, I swear to God, I'm just instantly downed. I was going to say, I swear to God, we haven't had like still well over 300 of them. Maybe more, dude. Oh, God. That's what I get for using the MP40 instead of using the ray gun. Dead, dude. All right, so we're back on the cause and effect mod. Put effect stacking on, we put no repeat combos, so we're gonna get unique stuff. When a player reloads, perks will randomize their locations. Wait, that's a brand new one. I have literally never had that before. I mean, I can't say it's necessarily a good thing because, well, Jug is right here. Oh, never mind, <laughs> it's a double tap. Oh, oh, it just disappeared, okay. So we're playing the Rooks, and yeah, as you can see, reloading again. Didn't change that time, okay. Jesus Christ, so that's gonna be uh, interesting for buying perks. Oh, well here's Quick Revive. <laughs> well, we can actually get it. I mean, kind of a genius strategy. When a player swaps weapons, wall buys are randomized. Okay, so everything is random this game, apparently. At least we can't swap weapons yet, I suppose. But yeah, sorry for the inconsistent uploads recently. If you haven't seen my YouTube community post, basically I have this like rash that's kind of developed. It started on the back of my hands. It was also on my elbows as well, and it's not itchy or anything, but it seems to be spreading to like the rest of my body and I just don't understand what it is. I assume it's some kind of like maybe allergic reaction or pollen related thing. Something to do with summer, I can probably assume anyway. When a zombie spawns, player's ability to slide will toggle. Oh boy. Okay, so sliding is not going to be a thing this game. MP40. Oh, never mind. It's a CUDA. I haven't even swapped weapons. How does the... Okay then. Well, yeah, I literally can't slide. It's not letting me. But, uh, what's this? The ICR-1? You know, I'll take it, dude. 1,500 points, so it's gonna be a pretty good gun. It's just funny just watching the perk change constantly. Like, oh, there's Mule Kick. Oh, there's Speed Cola. Oh, there's Jug. Like, what the fuck? In a way, I kind of like it, and I wish that that would sort of happen all the time, in a way. Like, there's a map where perks just randomly change all the time, because it kind of changes things up, you know? You gotta go and find where the perks are on the map. 
And if you've played a map 50 billion times, you sort of already know where all the perks are, so it gets a bit boring, you know? When a player earns 100 plus points, ability to ADS will toggle. Oh boy. Got a Shiva on the wall. Yeah, fuck that. I guess we'll open up this door, head towards the power. Oh, we need one more door anyway. The bootlegger for 5,000? Oh yeah, it's in like the secret room, isn't it? Jesus. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to cheat the uh, Easter egg. I don't know why the bootlegger is so expensive, considering it has like 200 ammo. It's like pretty crap. It's a cool gun, you know, it's like the Sten from World War II, but like Shadows of evil -y, but oh my god, I can't aim. <laughs> Because I earned too many points, goddammit. But yeah, this rash thing, um, it's not itchy. I've been putting antibiotic steroid cream on it. It doesn't seem to be making too much of a difference, but I've only been using the cream for like two days. I've had the rash for about two weeks now. Before I was putting the antibiotic cream in, oh my god, the rugged sprinters, Jesus Christ. Before I put it on, I was using a hydrocortisone steroid cream, like a really mild one. And it wasn't doing anything either, so let's go for a spin of the box. When a zombie dies to a grenade, wall by prices are randomized. I mean, that's kind of neat, but eh. We've got a KN, one of my favorite guns. And we have actually got a Wonder Fizz on BO3 Verruckt, of course. So that's kind of neat. Oh, a double points. Hell yes. We want to pick up Jug as soon as possible because Verruckt is kind of scary. Oh, we got a nuke, damn it. Might as well pick up the other nuke then. <laughs> Just get 1600 points real quick with the double points. Uh, well, we got double tap right here. Okay, so reload. Nope, didn't even switch at that time. Oh, hi, zombie. How's it going? Quick revive. Double tap. When a power-up spawns, player speed is randomized. Oh, boy. That's going to be interesting. There we go, Jug. <laughs> that's, so, that's so cool, man. We could literally just use this one perk machine and get all of our perks from it. So kind of like a Wonder Fizz in a way, but a little bit different. But yeah, I'm hoping this rash disappears soon. I don't want to talk about it too much because, you know, I'm just trying to record, keep my mind off things, but it's not worrying me or anything. And to be honest, compared to the flu thing I had a couple weeks ago, it's really not that bad. You know, it doesn't affect my appetite. It's not making me feel like crap. It's just a bit annoying, that's all. And it looks kind of bleh. So yeah, if uh, if the cream doesn't work, I don't know, I'll have to go see the doctor again and maybe get some antihistamine cream or fluid thing that I've got to take, like a liquid. It's just typical though. I get sick and then I get something else immediately after. Like, it's, <laughs> I just can't catch a break, bro. Not going to stop the YouTube grind though because of it. I'm actually going away this weekend, so there's going to be a slight lack of uploads, but I was probably going to upload a little less over the next few days anyway just because of the rash and being ill and whatever. It's kind of awkward because the fact that I have it on the back of my hands and also my elbows means that having my elbows on like a wooden desk for a prolonged period of time is going to be a little bit bad for me. So in moderation, I'm just sort of sitting back and watching YouTube. Go for another spin. What are we going to get? Come on, give me a... PPSH, hell yeah. Iconic weapon, of course, on this map. It is really nice that the PPSH is on the World of War Zombies Chronicles maps, of course. Probably the best one we could get. I know people have been asking for the Rupt cause and effect for quite a while, so happy to provide for the people who constantly ask for it. I do read, like, basically all of my comments. I've got a few that I've got to, like, go back and still reply to and heart and stuff. I literally go through every single one, no matter what, though. But yeah, don't think I forget about any video ideas or anything. If you write something down in the comment section and I like the sound of it or the general idea, then I'll put it into my notepad and just like keep it there. Right, let's reload. Come on, I need to get me some double tap. There it is. <laughs> so OP, dude. Well, I don't think... Is there a Wonder Wolf on this map? I think there might be on BO3 Verruckt. I completely forget which one it is. There's some kind of wonder weapon in here. Let's just browse the box. What? Yeah, it's a wonder weapon. I think I just saw it. Oh, fucking hell. Hello. Shiva, I'm good. When a power-up spawns, give a random gobble gum. Hell yes. We're already getting the random speed because of the power-ups, so, you know, not going to complain. It's nice that it doesn't spawn, like, super often as well, because it's only going to be when a power-up drops, which isn't, like, all the time. Oh, there we go. Fatal Contraption, so we get an insta-kill and we get some death machines, so, you know. I'm gonna just, like, alternate it, so if it's a small, small map, like Nectar and Coton, then I'll probably not put effect stacking on or anything, but if we're playing something a little bit bigger, like for Rucked or perhaps Origins again, if we revisit that, then I'll just put all the Wombo combos on and just, you know, have a bit of fun. Oh, we got Danger Closest. Wait, what? Did we get a power-up of some kind? Oh, there's Carpenter. Unbearable. Auto activates when a teddy bear appears in the mystery box. Oh my god, I'm running so slow, slowly because of the stupid power-up spawning. Look at how slow I am, dude. That's actually terrifying. Especially on this map, considering the Ruck Sprinters. Oh yeah, there we go. Wait, we're so fast now. <laughs> we don't even have stamina up. We got a killing time. Oh, that's the round. 
When a player swaps weapons, wall buys are randomized. Okay, more randomizing. I'm guessing the perk limit doesn't get changed on cause and effect. No, it doesn't. It's still four perks. Unfortunate, but you know, maybe we'll get a perk drop cause and effect thing in one of the rounds. Who knows? We could even get a power up that gives us a perk. Let's use our killing time. Woo, spooky. It's so cool. Like the way it just freezes the bullets in place and stuff, but the zombies are still dead. So when it unfreezes, they're actually dead. Like, look, we've got some zombies around here, maybe. Oh, yeah, you're both dead. And watch when it runs out. Boom, they just explode. <laughs> kind of gross, but you know, it's neat. We're almost out of ammo on that PPSH, which isn't too good. Oh, we got the Wonder Wolf. Let's Help go. I, am I was kind of hoping we'd pick this up. Wasn't expecting to get it so soon, but oh, God, hello, zombie. Only downside to the Wonder Wolf, to be honest, is the fact that it's quite loud. Like... <laughs> You know, the zapping is not the quietest thing in the world. But it's not too distracting. It's fine. It's pretty OP, so this is no real place to train. Oh my god, missing shots like that. There's the round. When a zombie dies to a grenade, a random perk is lost. Okay, so note to self, don't throw grenades. It's fine. In these videos, I barely throw any grenades anyway. Now, I love the PP, but it's kind of about to run out of ammo. So hopefully we get a drop, maybe a max ammo. There's no dog rounds on the Rooked, so it is a bit RNG, you know? Seven shots left. Oh, this is pretty much it. Yep, there we go. Well, down to the Wonder Wolf. Shoot you. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Oh, God, somehow I missed that shot again. I'm good at the game, I swear. I mean, worst case, we just buy whatever's on the wall here. The one nice thing about... Oh, my God, hello. <laughs> about all the uh, corridors and stuff in this map being quite tight is the fact, obviously, the Wolf is, like, more useful because they can connect a little bit easier, which is quite good. So, are you the last two? Boom, there we go. When a player loses a thousand plus points, I give a random gobblegum. Well, if the box was a thousand, you know, I'd be able to uh, actually make use of that. I suppose when we buy a gun, buy the MP40 real quick. Wait, what? I thought it was... Hello? There we go. <laughs> Why did you give me an L car? What was that about, dude? Killing time? Might as well use it. Zap. It's cool because it zaps them still, but the killing time's active. How's this going to look when it runs out then? Oh, they just, like, pop. <laughs> That's cool. Whoa, in the distance. I didn't realize how detailed that was. Oh, well, double points always done swiftly. Aim quicker and move faster while aiming. Oh, boy. This... Oh, no, this isn't good. We're so slow. <laughs> Holy shit. I've got to watch my back as well because I'm spawning down here. The Rugs really is a scary map. All things considered. Oh, God, please no. I'm somehow still fine. The lack of being able to move is really sucking. Oh my god, I'm even slower now. Oh, I could pack a punch my gun. Let's go. Ephemeral enhancement. I need another drop, dude. Look how... I'm so sl There we go. It runs out at the end of the round, at least. When a zombie spawns, a random perk is gained. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is kind of broke. There's stamina. There's widows. <laughs> Wait a second. I have a perkaholic. Okay. Well, I can't necessarily complain. Oh, there, there's the Widow's Wine Grenades. <laughs> well, shit. I mean, I was waiting for a perk one, and we finally got one. It's been a couple, like, maps that we've played where we haven't actually got those. Oh, there goes all the Widow's Wine Grenades just getting slapped left, right, and center. Oh, God. Ooh, almost going down. We're fine. The tightest train in the world in this fucking room. Zap. Okay, is that the round? Not quite. Are you the last one? Every time I fail to, like, p pick out which one's the last zombie. There we go. When a player takes damage, players take one damage. So it's just, what, one extra damage? Okay, does that mean I actually go down in one quicker hit? Because when you're red screen, if you take any damage, you die. That might actually be a thing. Oh, God. We spin the box, try and get something decent from for our secondary weapon. And I see, you know, I'll take it. Oh, we have mule kick, don't we? Hey. Oh, yeah, I can't complain too much then, can I? We can't pack a punch, so, you know, double tap 2.0 is really going to be the savior here. We still have an ephemeral enhancement as well, so let's use that. Pretty underrated gobble gun, but oh, never mind. It's gone. Soda fountain. Kind of useless, but I appreciate the sentiment. Oh, we've got a haymaker. Hell yes. Don't want to swap the one. Off, that's for sure. Gimme, gimme. Pretty high damage weapon. When a player swaps weapons, orientation slightly changed. Okay. So it just means like you swap and yeah, it sort of makes you look off to a different side. It's kind of glitchy. I can appreciate the fact we haven't had those bloody spawning in gun ones every single round because those do get a little bit annoying. Let's actually like stay here because we've got a trap. So, oh, stock option. Actually quite a good one to have. Oh, and it's this trap is a thousand points. 
So it means that we get a random gobblegum every time we purchase it. That's actually quite good. I don't know what the high round strat is for Verrucked, especially on BO3. I mean, well, I mean, I don't know why I said especially on BO3. It's obviously going to be gobblegums, but where would you stay, you know? This here seems pretty good, but you've got the barrier right here, which can be a bit off-putting. When a player earns 100 plus points, a random player drops a grenade. Oh, shit. We're going to have to be on the move then. If we're dropping grenades left, right, and center, we're actually kind of screwed. Oh, yeah, and here come the bloody Verrucked Sprinters. Look at these fucking bastards. Terrifying. Oh, fucking taking my Widows. Widows is actually really good on this map because of the Sprinters. Oh, killing time. Hell yes. Finally, something pretty good. Let's shoot all of you. One shot dead. One shot dead. I think their eyes go out. Like, as you can see here, the eyes are yellow, right? You shoot them, eyes gone. So that means they're actually dead. Let's buy this. Armamental accomplishment. Switch weapons faster. Okay. I mean, it's nothing crazy. Oh god, yeah, grenades. Ah! <laughs> so yeah, if we get a headshot, it will drop a grenade. Oh, like there. Oh, fucking Jesus, gotta run. In a way, we could use that to our advantage. Like, it could work sort of like a scuffed PhD flopper. But it's also pretty dangerous because you do take explosive damage, so I don't want to die. We got the MX Garand. Oh, I totally forgot that it was in this game. Or this map, even. Is it going to be decent? Oh, we only have hip fire, and we you can't reload it until the mag's empty, so... When a player gets a headshot, gain 10% of your total points. Oh, you're just spoiling me now, game. Let's get this STG real quick. Temporal gift power-ups last longer. Pretty good. Well, I mean, points aren't really an issue anyway, but it's kind of cool. You know, that zombie gave us 1,500 points. In grenades. Ugh. It's an insta-kill. Oh, when I respawn, I get my guns. That's so useful. Even though I'd be dead. Oh, we got an insta-kill. I feel like turning the trap one's a bit of a waste, but whatever. STG's got some pretty damn good hip fire. Oh, and it's gone. Oh, and I got my Widows. <gasps> Wait, Widows wine grenades. When you pick them up, they count towards the gobblegum thing. That's cool. I suppose it makes sense. We got burned out. <laughs> Fucking grenades. That one is always so bloody slow. Yeah, here it is. Why was that one walking? Like, huh? When a player loses a thousand plus points, a random player is slightly moved. Or oh, you're gonna nudge me? <laughs> it's not gonna teleport me across the map, so who knows? I guess we'll find out when we buy the trap the next time. Our STG is actually running a little bit low on ammo. Oh god, fucking grenades! Oh my god, am I gonna die? No, oh, no, there's another one! Oh shit, that was close. Oh god, two more. I'm so fast. <laughs> Thank God for the speed thing. That actually helped. Oh, we've got another power up. And um, we got some fire sails. And I'm not going to say no to that. Uh, oh, God. Activate the trap. Oh, please. I need more ammo, bro. We've got mind blown. I mean, sure. Why not? Pop. Oh, there's a max ammo in there. I so want that. I have to wait for my health to regen a little bit. Ooh, ow. Okay, there we go. Very, very good. Run back through. Ooh, it's sketchy every single time. Round 18, been recording for like 25 minutes. Not bad, honestly. Kind of speed running these rounds. When a zombie dies to a grenade, a random zombie teleports near a player. Oh, good. Oh, just as we get this one. Ow. Ooh, I'm red screen. That's not good. Oh, shit. Fuck, I'm okay. Grenade. No. Now you see me. That's not what I want, particularly. STG time. Oh, we got a nuke. Please. Oh my god, I'm so slow as well. Oh, that, that, that got so close. Oh, fuck it. Why is there a grenade spawning again? Oh, I need this trap to come back up. Oh, an insta-kill. I'm even slower somehow. I, I didn't know that was possible. Oh my god, we have 85,000 points. That's quite funny. Wait, we can only spawn one in and it gives us another one. Power vacuum, though. Oh, okay. When a zombie spawns, a random power-up spawns. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah, there's an insta-kill. Oh, my game crashed. <laughs> yeah, no, it's kind of not surprising. So when a zombie spawns, spawn a random power-up, it just, it just freezes, apparently, is, is the uh, thing to take from that. This is Shino Numa Zombies, but every single round, something is going to change. We have Black Ops 4 Zombies perks on, because I just thought, you know, it had a bit of fun. What is this tombstone? Oh my god, the description so long. Obviously, tombstone isn't BO4, but we've got like a combination. There's PhD slider. Good old quick revive over here, of course. What? I've just... I'm inside it. What? 
<laughs> okay then, um, interesting start of this video. When a zombie dies to a grenade, gain 10% of your total points. Okay, wait, this is actually a really good one for round one. So we've got a few zombies coming over here. If we group them up, oh, are they stuck? What the, <laughs> wait a minute, what is happening in this video so far? We're only on round one, dude. Oh, well, we've got a couple zombies here. Three and throw, boom. Okay, and how many points did we get? Barely any. Okay, well, I mean, 10% of a thousand or whatever. Or yeah, 10% of a thousand is only like 100 points. Sadly, that one's a bit better the later rounds you get, but I'll take the nice free boost. Hurry your ass up, dude. What is that? It's taking you so long. When a player takes damage, active weapon gets random attachments. Okay. I mean, this one only actually works on like BO3 weapons, of course. Also, if you're wondering what camo this is, it's the Cherry Fizz camo. But yeah, if we get slapped. Oh, see. Well, so much for the Cherry Fizz camo. It actually changed it. Interesting. Kind of a shame because I, I would have liked something else. But anyway, do we have a suppressor on or is it a muzzle? I think it's a long barrel, actually. Interesting. So yeah, it's just a way you can, like, customize your starting pistol. Oh god. Because yeah, we have fast mags, which is nice. If you're wondering how I had custom attachments before this, like, cause and effect thing, I think it was, like, Pegasus or the leveling mod. Why are they getting stuck here? What? <laughs> is Shino Numa just broken on Zombies Chronicles? When a grenade is thrown, AAT is removed. Well, we don't have an AAT to begin with, but... Oh, the box is here. Nice. Let's go for a spin. Hello, Victorious Tortoise. The Brecci. Oh, don't mind if I do. A dying Wish in the corner over here. Blood Wolf Bite. We all love Luna. You know, I feel like Zombies Chronicles Shino Numa might be the worst one, but at the same time, aesthetically, obviously, it looks the best. It just looks, like, really nice. What's this? A nuke? Uh, I'll pass. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'll get it. Because for whatever reason, the round is taking so long. When a zombie spawns, spawn a random power-up. Oh my god. Wait, we're gonna have so many. Oh, <laughs> well, there's a carpet and a double points. Okay, and there's a max ammo. It's like I'm spawning them in. Whatever that is. A death machine. A perk. Okay. Oh, and my game crashed. Uh, apparently, we had too many power-ups. Okay, we're back. And we actually put this gun game version on. I didn't realize this mod actually had a gun game. But yeah, every single time we get points now, our gun will change. So there's a lot of random factors happening, which is cool. For some reason on round one, sometimes Shino Numa will just take ages for the zombies to spawn in. Oh, we got the RK5. Okay. You know, RK5 is nice. I, I just love seeing this Cherry Fizz camo on all these guns because it's got to be one of my favorite camos ever. It's so sleek, you know? Ah, Victorious Tortoise. Welcome back. What's this? Bandit? a bandit. I mean, extra ammo is always nice, I suppose. Where the freak is the zombie? Oh, here you are. Oh, the spawns are just so slow. Where is this bozo at? Where is he? I hear him. Oh, he's all the way down there. Dude, are you good? Why are they spawning so far away? When a gumball is eaten, ability to slide will toggle. Okay, so just don't eat gumballs. I would like to be able to slide, please. But anyway, let's open this gate. Maybe they'll start spawning in over here and it'll be a bit faster. Crusader's Ale. Dude, more points for um, meleeing is such a good perk. Also, we just switched to the AK-74U from laying down because I forgot it's points, not kills. This camo looks so good with this gun, actually. Oh, we got a nuke. You know, screw it. I hate sitting around all day, dude. When a player swaps weapons, a random zombie teleports near a player. Oh, hi, Elemental Pop. Just chilling in this corner. See, this one would normally work, but because we can't swap weapons because we have... Yeah, know a gun game a little bit redundant oh mp40 hello don't have a camo on you i go i do love the mp40 like it's just one of those guns that's just an all-time classic in zombies no matter what game you're on like it's always fun to use i wasn't really a fan of the hg40 though which they added in what was it zetsubo no shima just because it didn't look anywhere near as cool as the mp40 and it kind of didn't do as much damage or anything Oh, we got Carpenter. Nice. If we had a shield, that'd be really useful because I have it so that like the BO4 power-ups are on. So every time you get a Carpenter, it will refresh your shield health, which is very nice. Not going to lie. Oh, and then there were two zombies. Where the hell are they, man? I kind of wish I had some way of just spawning in the nuke because Jesus, man, where is going to be in the distance again? Oh, here we go. There's one. Oh, there's the other. Jesus Christ, man. Spawning any slower, will you? When a zombie spawns, the mystery box moves. Oh, well, rest in pieces. This box is gone. Shall we watch it happen? Oh, wait, we have dogs. Will it actually count then if we have dogs? Well, here we go. Yep. <laughs> it's, oh my God, the magic box is spinning by itself. Oh, hi, dog. Jesus. The BO3 guns are great, but that's the problem. I feel like we're too overpowered. 
Because every single one, especially with being able to put attachments on, it's just like so broken. There's no real reason to hit the box unless you have a wonder weapon in there that you want to try and get, you know? When I first played Shino Numa, I used to think you had to turn the power on. Like, how much of a noob am I, man? But let's open up this door. What perk are we getting here, huh? We can lay down by it, of course. We got Speed Cola. Which, by the way, the Cold War machine looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, we could buy it, honestly. Even though we don't have Jug or anything, but eh. I don't really like getting it first. Oh, the PPSH. Hell yeah. I know it wasn't amazing when it got added to uh, EO3, but at the same time, it's still the PPSH. I remember everyone's reaction was like so hyped about it. Garod Krovi's already a masterpiece of a map, but you know, adding this gun just makes it even better. Also, this gun game's interesting because you can actually knife, of course. Normally, you wouldn't be able to. I guess it is a different mod creator who's doing the gun game, but nonetheless, it's quite cool. Do we actually... Oh, I was considering Crusader's Ale, but... We have a gun game. Is there really any point in buying a melee perk? You know, one zombie left. Okay, the spawns have actually sped up a bit. When a perk is purchased, gain 10% of your total points. So if I go all the way over here, hello, Blood Wolf Bite, just chilling over here. If I go and buy whatever is in here. Oh, wait, time slip. Wait, it's already here. Wait a minute. What? Where's my jug? Speeds up mystery box and pap speed. You know, it's not bad, but I kind of want the jug, you know? All right, let's open up this direction. The swamp do be creepy, not going to lie. What perk is this? Zomb shell. Oh, that one's actually like, it's not bad, actually. It's, it's all right. Come on, please. Be, be jug or double tap, you know? Either one. Yeah, there we go. Double tap. Hello? I can't I can't buy it. What on earth is that crap, dude? Maybe if I switch gun, I'll be able to? How are you gonna do me like that, game? Alright, there we go. I got the weevil now. I still can't buy it! Okay, I, apparently double tap just doesn't want to work. Cool, I guess. Can I buy flipping zomb shell? Oh, I can. And I have tombstone somehow in the bottom left. <laughs> So, no double tap for me, I guess. That's quite tragic. What's this? Ethereal razor? Eh. I mean, I guess, do we get bigger rush? Like, small explosions for each shot is quite nice. There's a decent bit of damage. And we did actually get some points back because of uh, buying the perk. Oh yeah, zomb shell. It's cool, because yeah, it slows all the zombies down near you and gives you a second to breathe almost. Alright, one zombie left. Where the hell is he? Come on, jump scare me. I know you're going to do it. Oh, here we go. Bye bye. When a player slides, gain 100 points. Okay, don't mind if I do. Wait, that's actually so good for the gun game. <laughs> we can just get off the shitty Pharaoh immediately. Sorry, man, I'm not a fan of the Pharaoh. I mean, to be fair, with all these attachments, it's not that bad. And compared to, like, the Springfield or, or the Car 98K, it's a lot better, you know. So I, I can't hate it too much. The XM53, I mean, I don't have PhD. So ideally, if I could just get off this, it'd be nice. I want to have enough for elemental pop. How much is it? 3,000? That's cheap, actually. For a perk that gives you basically every single uh, alternate ammo type. I wonder if it'll proc off of shooting the XM53 down. Pew. Oh, God. Hi. Gotta remember, I don't have quick revive yet. But oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm dead? Oh, no. Tombstone. What? <laughs> I forgot I had this. Okay, that's actually quite useful then. I mean, can I grab this death machine before it runs out? Okay, and revive myself. Oh, come on, please. Quickly, quickly. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm dead again. I'm <laughs> I've got another tombstone. Okay, I'm very confused. What's that? Oh, I missed out on something. Whatever, dude. What on earth is happening, man? Okay, I'm revived. Thank you. <laughs> What just happened? When a perk is purchased, active gun toggles being papped. I can't buy... Why can I not buy Elemental Pop now? Can I buy Crusader's... I can buy Crusader's Ale, though. Oh, brilliant. Oh, well, at least I got a Packer Punch because of that, I suppose. I mean, it's not going to last too long, but... So, knifing will give me bonus points. Unless I have a Bowie knife, it's not really going to do too much, is it? Come on, let me... I mean, we've got a dead wire, I suppose. Wait, we got dead wire? I must already have Elemental Pop, then. It's just not showing on the bottom left. Maybe Tombstone gave us our perks back, but didn't give us the icons. Because yeah, I'm realizing now I'm shooting the zombies. You see the little explosion? We definitely have bigger rush as well. Interesting. So if I go and buy, let's go and buy Speed Cola, I guess, because I would like to pack a punch this. It would be nice. Speed Cola. I can't, why can't I buy it? Why is this one zombie gonna kill me? Okay. Let me buy the perks, man. Buy the MP40. 
Now can I? Nope. When a player reloads, take one damage. Oh, brilliant. Harm myself. Genius. Maybe it's because there's a... There's not a perk limit because I lifted the perk limit. Oh, this is weird. We can buy Victoria's Tortoise, but that's not really going to do much for us. We don't have a shield. Uh, screw it. Let's go and buy Quick Revive. So I can buy something. Give me a dog. Yeah, give me that max ammo. Okay, well, uh, at least I have Quick Revive now. God knows how that's going to work with Tombstone. Open this door. Uh, banana Collard. Oh, it's 100. Oh, yeah. Lie down by it. Boom. Very nice. The box is in here now. Cool. Oh, hello. Winter's Whale. Actually a really good perk. I kind of, I almost prefer it to Widow's Wine, but not, not quite. I think the Widow's Wine perk jingle does it for me. But anyway, um, oh, another max. Every time, first zombie you kill of the next round, for some reason, just will always give you a max ammo after the dogs. I know it's that more than ever. It, it's just so weird because obviously you're not going to need a max ammo right after you've just had one. Also, they're all slow. Oh, did I get a zomb shell? I think I did. <laughs> Not complaining, I suppose. When a zombie dies to a grenade. Oh, orientation. That one's not too bad. So if I threw a grenade and it killed a zombie, it would just make me aim like, boop, like that. Kind of just off to the side, which could be worse. We've got the Argus. Pew. Get a nice little collat. I mean, we can get perk drops from zombies, so it's not the end of the world. We can still get perks, but yeah, it is very strange to say the least. We have another door we haven't opened yet. So like, I guess let's go towards here. PhD slider is very nice. Oh, the Wonder Fizz. Well, that's one way we can get perks, I suppose. Come on, what are you giving me? Is that... Is that Ethereal Razor? I suppose I'll take it, dude. What's this? Tacticula Sangria. Fire while sprinting. Gain a chance to regain fired ammunition. Oh, hello. Fucking hell. Scaring the bejesus out of me. I mean, maybe we just say fuck it and go for the Wonder Fizz. When a gumball is eaten, five zombies spawn. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take you up on this offer then, game. So if I... I'll wait a second... If I eat a sword flay, we have 36. Yeah, now it's 41. Interesting. I love the Reaper's collection because the fact that you can actually have a zombie count is very nice. Also, I put on Pack-A-Punch on the World of War maps. So in theory, we should have a Pack-A-Punch somewhere. I have absolutely no idea where it could be, but maybe we can find it. Who knows? We've got a sword flay though, which is always, I suppose, kind of nice. We do have Ethereal Razor, so... Oh, hello. Chill out, zombies. Jesus. Knife. I mean, do we have Crusader's Ale? We do. So technically, we should be getting more points, right? Or but we definitely have Elemental Pop, because I just got a turned. So like, you know, how else would I get a turned? Oh, well, we didn't explore too much over here. I mean, we could... I kind of want to buy two perks, but at the same time, I'll, I'll go and check over here first. What's this? We've got... Is that Dying Wish? That would actually be really nice. Oh, fucking hell. Hello. How much is it? It's 4,000 though. All right, we'll just, we'll just buy this. What's in here? Please be a perk I can actually purchase. Oh, hello. Um, I see you. Faster health regen. That's always nice. Jug, let's go. I can't buy it. Why? Why do you do that? Fine, I'll get I see you. At least I get something, huh? Come on, give me a perk drop or, or, or something game, please. I mean, no one said this mod was completely flawless, but... Oh god, and now we're on an SVG. That's just not the gun we want. Oh, <gasps> a free perk. Please be like Jug. Death perception? Oh, of course, dude. Maybe I just can't buy from mach machines. Like, maybe I have to just uh, say screw it. And why am I doing this to myself? Why am I doing this to myself? Enter shadow form? Oh, is this the tombstone thing? Oh, it is. What on earth? Oh, God. Come on. Revive, 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 revive. Please run away. Okay, we have a chance. Shoot and run. Wow, it actually worked. Let's go. And we've got one zombie left. Oh, thank God, dude. So I downed, but I bought Tombstone. I should still have perks then. But can I buy Jerk? Nope. <laughs> Nope. At least I can actually buy Dying Wish. Maybe that would be a purchase soon. I guess we got 3k. Let's do a double spin of the Wonder Fizz. Come on, please give me something. Mule Kick? It's literally useless. It's the most useless perk you could get on Gun Game. Oh, come on, please. I beg. Anything. Double tap. Oh, Blaze Phase. I suppose it's not the worst in the world, but... All right, well, we got dogs. Dogs are kind of terrifying, but at least they're easy to shoot. Considering I do have a sniper. Oh, my ability to sprint is toggling because I got a headshot. Damn it. Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? Yeah, so I can't... 
I can sprint now. If you get a headshot on the dogs like there, look, I can't sprint now, which is which is very strange. When a power up spawns, gain 10% of your total points. You know, that would be brilliant if I had more than 700 points, man. Getting scammed right now. This is one of the more difficult cause and effects, honestly, and it's like partially just because the perks are flipping bugging out. But I mean, you know, people say Jug is a crutch perk. Well, this is a good way to test my skill, I suppose, especially using a crappy SVG. Like, for the love of God, man, can I please go on to the next gun? Why are we so fast? Oh, holy shit. Now I'm stuck on this side. Why am I doing this to myself? Thank you, death perception that I somehow still have. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm in the swamp. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm fine. I am all right. Oh, why have I got a locust? Why have I got a locust? Oh, shit. It's, I don't know what's happening. How am I still alive? Oh, fuck. I tried my best, dude. I tried my best. Just, just freaking revive, please. There we go. All right, we're good. We're good. I mean, Tombstone just permanently giving me all my perks back is nice. I don't know how I still have Tombstone, but at least the Locust is actually a really good sniper. Like, the SVG kind of sucks because you don't have anywhere near as much ability to spam fire, I guess. Like, look, that zombie up there, and then boom, instantly shoot again, instantly shoot again, instantly shoot again. When a zombie spawns, oh, they all gain health? Bro, I'm having a difficult time as it is. I should just save the dying wish, but I'm being greedy, man. The gambling addiction with the bloody... Ugh, what is this? That PhD slider? Oh, no, it's time slip. I can't buy it. I have enough points. Why can't I buy it? Okay, well, wonder is gone then. This is, this is rough, man. This is rough. I have no double tap, no speed cola. No jug, no way of getting more perks other than drops. Like, maybe we can get super duper lucky. Oh, hello, Blast Furnace. That's actually huge right there. Yeah, yes, let's go on to the goddamn bootlegger. If it can kill? Holy shit, it's bad, apparently. Oh my god, now we're back in the bloody swamp. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I have downed so many times this game, it's actually insane. Oh shit, come here, you. Revive. Oh, shit. I'm dead. My connection interrupted. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess that's going to do it for Shinonuma cause and effect. That was one of the most, like, chaotic recordings I think I've ever done. More chaotic than, like, the chaos mod almost. Jesus, bro. So we're playing Kino de Toten, but every single round, something's going to change. Now, when a player takes damage, held gun becomes papped. Didn't this happen on, what was it, Origins? On, like, round two? <laughs> So, Kino's already easy, but let me just, like, get slapped. Mustang and Sally. <laughs> like, I'd, I might even kill a single zombie and I've already got Pack-a-Punch, bro. Like, what a way to start. But yeah, this map has been suggested by someone in my comment section who I'll put you on screen because, my god, the dedication. They've posted it on so many videos now. Uh, when a gumball is eaten, wall by prices are randomized. Well, I guess we'll eat a gobble gum then. Um, I don't want Perkaholic, though, because I think I have that on. In plain sight. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's put on something like this. Wall by prices are now randomized. So what? The Shiva's usually 500. It's 260 points. Now, I know people were suggesting for me to put illegal combos on. I'm actually saving that for a separate video. But I'm thinking, I don't know, perhaps we do it on the Reisendrak Revelations, maybe? When a perk is purchased, player's gun gets a random AAT. Oh, and I should also say, effect stacking is on. So... All of these are gonna continue back to back to back. Wait, that's a good point. So if I do that and then switch weapon, I am a genius. I just pack a punched my Shiva. So yeah, no matter what, we will get pack a punch guns by taking damage all game. Uh, whenever we buy a perk, we get a random AAT. So um, buy it for this. Here we go. Shiva's gonna get something. No, Shiva doesn't get anything. Pl what? It said player's gun gets a random AAT, which is like a uh, alternate ammo type. But no, apparently not. Okay, I got scammed. My bad. So yeah, because we're playing Kino, this is going to be brain dead easy, probably. But I mean, it was suggested and it's a very iconic map. So I feel like a lot of people who are watching will appreciate this video. If you're like an OG zombies fan that hasn't really stuck with the new stuff. When a zombie spawns, an earthquake occurs. Are you serious? So what? Am I? D oh my God. <laughs> What is going on? No, bro. It's every zombie spawn. You're serious. I, I'm going to be sick, bro. I'm going to be sick. How am I supposed to play like this? 
It's gonna do this all game while the zombies spawn. Oh, Jesus Christ, this video is doomed. This video is not gonna do well, man. Oh, just, oh, fucking hell. I'm actually starting to feel motion sick. So I wish there was a way I could like cancel it. Okay, when the zombies have spawned, all of them at least, it goes. Oh, shit. Oh, well, that's the round. When a player reloads, a random zombie teleports near a player. Are you serious? So on top of everything. Oh, at least we've got dogs. Please tell me they don't count as zombies spawning because I really... I'm, oh, they do. Oh, good God. How much is the MP40? It's 1370. I'm good. You're not going to increase the price like that and expect me to fucking buy. Oh, this is so disorienting. Jesus Christ. Okay, give me the max ammo. Like, the difficult part is... So, yeah, whenever I reload, a zombie's gonna just, like, teleport on top of me, which is amazing. The KN is 2,000 points. Okay. When a player takes damage... Oh, give a random gun. Oh, my God. I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, no, not this again. So, I'm just gonna get given, like, 50,000 guns. Oh, God, I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw up, man. I'm going to throw up. What is this? I can't... This is a fucking just permanent earthquake. I can't even aim. What is going on? Oh, when I took damage. Oh, I got a, a random AK-74U. Oh, brilliant. Oh, shit. So much for the pack a punch then. Oh, good God. Oh, wait. When I get hit, I'll get it back anyway. Not that I can see what I'm doing. Oh, and the zombies just teleported away. Okay, weird. Oh, thank God. It's done. Hell, gun becomes unpacked whenever I make a purchase. Just turn on the power. Just, just turn on the power. Just, oh, good God. This video is going to be a disaster. <laughs> oh, my eyes. I can't see anything. If I lay down, does it stop? Nope, it, it continues. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll let the zombie slap me. Pack a punch my gun. There we go. Oh, but it's going to give me something. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, so if I get slapped, I then instantly switch. No. Oh, shit. Oh, what's going on? I got an M87. Okay. Okay. I can definitely see where I'm shooting right now. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, that's a new gun. Oh, pack a punch. Oh, there's a ray gun, apparently. Cool, that's nice. I mean, it's not like I can see what's going I <laughs> Oh, I don't know, man. So yeah, you can see what I mean by this game is... Zombie? Huh? You can see what I mean by this game is... uh, well, This mod is absolutely crazy broken. Oh, I just... Oh, no, I'm going to lose my gun. ICR. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, that zombie's just stuck in place for some reason. Cool. Give me jug. Give me fucking jug right now. Oh, what's happening? Zombie just spawned in? Let me just go in and initiate the link of the pad, man. Oh, hi, zombie. It, it's glitched. It's just not moving. Oh, boy. Yep, this is just breaking. I don't even have illegal combos turned on. Imagine if I did. Do I see a zombie up here? Okay, there's one at the barrier. Please tell me you're the last one. Oh, thank God. When a power-up spawns, a random perk is lost. Just, just give me everything at this point. So... There's like a cap on six random drops per uh, per round, meaning I can potentially lose six perks every single round, which is just amazing. This entire run is doomed. This entire run is so fucked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sick, man. I'm just gonna stand here and wait for them all to spawn in and hope that something's happened. What is going on? Why is it double shaking? Oh no, I'm starting to get lightheaded. Nah, there's no way. I'm gonna have to stand still and just like shoot with my eyes closed, man. I, I genuinely can't see. I can't do this. I can't. This is the impossible way to play zombies, man. I, I, oh, why did I turn effect stacking on? I should have just let it be like one per round. Why am I doing this to myself? I think there's some zombies over here. Oh, just, oh my God, they stopped. Oh, they stopped. Oh, thank God. Yeah, the teleporting one is definitely glitching because, uh, they're not teleporting near me. They're sort of just teleporting around me and sometimes far away. So I don't get that at all. Whatever. Oh my God. Oh, oh, there goes my jug. I just lost jug because a death machine spawned. Thanks, game. If I could make it to round 10, I'll call this a W. Like, I just... <laughs> okay, we have a dog round. We're going to get round 10 no matter what then. Oh, Jesus. At least when the dog spawn in, it doesn't like... Sh the shake isn't like too crazy, I suppose. Oh, there we go. The last two. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just giving me some breathing room. Oh, a max ammo spawned and I lost my quick revive. <laughs> when a zombie dies, a random perk is locked. When a zombie dies? I did th this is like the worst game of my life. This is like the worst possible thing that could happen. I literally like, oh man, this, this is what I get for this guy commenting like nine, ten times. Like, please play Kino. Please play Kino with the cause and effect. Oh, here we go. This is what it's like. <laughs> I hope you're happy, man. <laughs> I just, I don't even have words. This is just so ridiculous. Oh, there goes my joke. I lost joke. 
Cool. I've lost everything, man. I've lost... I've lost everything. Just put me out of my misery. Oh, give me a Gorgon, bro. I'm just... De <laughs> Finally, it's over. Finally. Oh, Jesus Christ. God, that actually made me feel so motion sick. Holy fuck. I never again. Never again. We're going to try illegal combos. Screw it, man. We'll try it. Put effect stacking on as well. Why not? This video would be too short otherwise. So when a gumball is eaten, open a random door. Okay. So let's, uh, whatever it is, I'll get it. Even if it's Pokeholic, bro, I don't care. Screw it, man. I've earned it after what the fuck the last game was. So now a random door has just opened. See, what's interesting is it's not one of the starting room doors, I don't think. Unless. Yeah, no, it's not this one. It could even be a power door, maybe. But I just, I feel so, like, ugh, icky. When a player earns 100 plus points, a random perk is lost. <laughs> I can't win. I cannot win this video. So uh, what perk did I lose? What perk am I going to lose? Because no matter what, I'm going to earn points. All right, here we go. Melee. There goes a perk. Melee again. Fuck it, dude. Take all my perks from me. So I need to actually earn the Pokeholic back. So, okay. We have 500 plus combinations. So God knows what this cursed mod is going to come up with, but... Just, just get rid of everything, man. Just it's so depressing. Just watching them all disappear one by one like this. No, man. Until I have nothing. Yep, I'm stuck with Deadshot Daiquiri. When a player swaps weapons, gain 10% of your total points. Okay, a silver lining, I guess. But like at the same time, the, I'm earning points. So that means I'm losing my perks non-stop. At least I'm rich. At least, at least I have a million points, more or less, you know. Wait, I got double points. Does it affect the amount of money I get? I don't know if it does, but Jesus, yeah, it's going up so fast. Okay, yeah, there we go. I actually have a million points. Look at this. <laughs> this mod is such a funny joke, man. When a zombie spawns, players take one damage. Okay, so unless they somehow manage to do like 200 damage, then we're fine. Which, let's just go buy a bunch of shit, bro. We can't play with perks, so, you know, that sucks, but at least we can buy the box an infinite number of times. Oh, and my screen's going to permanently be doing this bullshit. That's brilliant. The Argus. Okay. Uh, oh, hi. Fucking hell. Where'd you come from? Oh, hello. Jumping around. It's kind of like we're, like, on moon. You know when you don't have your helmet on, it permanently, like, takes damage? Except hopefully it doesn't kill me? Oh, it was this door when it opened. Yeah, this, that must have been the one from, like, round one or whatever. Wait, when a zombie... Wait, no, that's going to permanently happen all game. I just... I, my brain didn't even register that. So we didn't even have to open any doors, realistically. What's the point in buying Jug, bro? I'm literally... If I swap weapons, I'm going to lose it. Like, look. Watch. Boop. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> Like, what? what is the point? Oh, let me just buy Quick Revive real quick. You know, I'm playing a solo match. Oh, let me just swap weapon to use my other gun. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's fine. I'll just buy it back. And now I'm all out of Quick Revives on round four. And I haven't even been down once. Oh, this game is something else. The only thing we can do for now is to buy the goddamn box. That's actually it. That's all we have. If I could get a Wonder Waff, like, please treat me to something, bro. I've earned it at this point. An HVK? I mean, you know, I, I like the, uh, the sentiment, I suppose. A teddy bear? Yeah, just fucking just screw me, bro. I think we've hit the maximum amount of points because it's not going up anymore. Yeah, 4.19 million. Just... <laughs> that, like, last game literally made my stomach turn. Like, I've... <laughs> I'm so worn out now. And, oh, God, in the UK, the heat is just getting ridiculous already. And it's, like, a few days ago, it was cool, man. Now it's all fucking boiling hot. And we're saying it's going to be just as hot as it once was, like, last year. With, what, over 40 degrees? It's quite likely that that's going to happen now. So, oh, I just can't wait, man. I hate the heat so much. I'm... I, like... I prefer the winter so much more. Where's the mystery box, bro? Where is the mystery box? Was there like a... Oh, no. Not here. Okay. Alleyway, maybe? Open this. Is it here? No? Oh, it's there. Okay. It's just weird opening doors and like some of them are just randomly open. Some of them aren't. Oh, here we go. Mystery box. I will not stop until I get a Wonder Wolf, man. I... I deserve a Wonder Wolf. We got an M14. Wait, was this always in the box? Is that part of cause and effect? Wait, what the fuck? That's kind of neat. I didn't know that the mod did that. Because it definitely wasn't on Kino, or was it? Wait, didn't, did they add the M14 into the box afterwards? Oh, shit, I almost died. When a player earns 100 plus points, a perk is gained. Okay, so what is the contradiction? Also, I am just realized I'm brain dead. Why am I saying the Wonder Wolf? We're on Kino, bro. It's the Thunder Gun. Yeah, my brain's fried. Oh, there's a teddy. Oh, brilliant. So if I swap weapons, 750 points. Where's my random perk? Oh, it's because 
yeah, if I earn points, I also lose perks. So no matter what, I just, I'm screwed. So yeah, perks are now impossible to get. So this is what the uh, illegal combos are. It's just like really contradictory stuff. So now perks are just disabled, more or less. Which is just, it's just fine. It's, it's okay. I don't mind at all. Totally. Where is that? Is that... Oh, it's in the alley now. Okay, just as I go and leave. Typical. Give me the insta-kill, bro. At least dropped work. That's something. Let me just buy double tap real quick. You know, I really want a perk is all. Oh my god, I actually kept it. Pog? I wonder if that'll stay. Uh, the M16. Sure, dude. Why not? Oh, my perk just randomly changed into Deadshot Daiquiri. What? Okay. Oh, now I've got the Pharaoh. Oh, and now it's double tap. With What is happening to my perks, bro? Now it's stamina. What? My perk is just changing randomly. Wait, so if I actually buy more perks, is it going to do that now? I suppose it's possible. Oh, there's stamina. up. Oh, there's Jug. Yay. Oh my god. Crazy. A ray gun. I mean, sure, dude. I'll take it. Well, let's go and find some more perks then. And let's go and purchase them, I suppose. And just see what happens. Like, this game is doomed. This game is doomed. Okay, we've got a wonder fizz. And I think we have exactly one zombie left too. So, oh. Oh, thank God. At least we haven't got the bloody earthquake one again. All right, give me dead shot. I'll take it. Oh, now I have stamina up. Just changed to stamina up. And what? My perks are all random. They, my perks just keep changing. Widow's wine. What's what? What is? Look at the bottom left. Like, look. Oh, speed cola. Okay. I mean, these would be nice, but stamina up. Oh no, jug. Oh, mule kick. <laughs> You may only carry four per- Wait, there's no perk limit. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Why did I do that? Okay, so it's fine anyway, because they would have switched. But my four perks are going to just constantly change now. I have Quick Revive. Or is it just the one? Is only one of them changing? I could have had Jug. I could have had Jug. Why do I do this? Whatever, man. Uh, at least we've found a hack to actually get perks. This is going to make for one hell of a video. When a grenade is thrown, players AAT is removed. Not like I have one in the first place, but what happens if I swap weapons? God forbid. Oh, my perks do change. My perks do change. Oh, no. I mean, I could just get like a rotation that I want, maybe. I want double tap. Widows is nice. I mean, I'm stamina up. Okay. I'm trying for jug. There we go. Okay. We actually keep jug. All right. Okay. And we can't earn any more points. Oh, no, never mind. We can. Right. Can we just sit on these perks? I'm fine with this, bro. I know we don't have double tap, but you know, the, these four are pretty decent. Oh, I just realized, yeah, if we get a gobble gum, if we get a perkaholic, I'm pretty sure like it's in our last rotation. It's going to take ages, but oh, they speed cola, dead shot. Yeah, just fucking. Oh, it's because we have double points. That's why. Oh, there's double tap. Nice. Get what you asked for, I suppose. So for some reason, if I get 50 points at a time, it doesn't count. So the Reagan is actually like a hack for it. But if I swap weapons, because we kind of want to get Jug back, right? Okay, there we go. We got Jug. Nope, we lost it. <laughs> Why do I bother? When a player slides, a random player is slightly moved. Oh, so when I slide... Oh, yep, there we go. I just get moved. I can't slide anymore. So now I can't slide. Brilliant. So my movement is just fucked. Could this get any worse? Apparently so. Okay, we have Jug back. Wow, I just somehow... Well, it's quite peaceful now. I'm just running around with a ray gun fucking shooting all the zombies, but I'd use the teleporter and pack a punch, but I'm pretty sure it's going to get rid of my perks again, isn't it? So well, I need a drink. I just got to take a break for a second. Fuck me. When a player earns 100 plus points, a zombie spawns. Nah, now you're taking the piss. This round is going to go on forever. Unless it doesn't count because I'm already at like the max amount of points. That is definitely possible. Also, we'd have to get 100 points in one shot, I think. So because the ray gun is really bad and only gets like 50 per kill, we should be fine anyway. Look how my screen is just permanently blurry because every time a zombie spawns as well, it does like the take one damage thing. Oh, just brilliant. So if you are red screening, take one damage. I think you do just go down. So it basically means I can never be red screened. Bro, maybe we go to round 10 and then I end the video there because I'm starting to feel like just, just rough. Like, that, <laughs> this, this mod is actual torture, bro. When a zombie spawns, a random zombie teleports near a player. Oh, brilliant. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what happens this round then. So yeah, the zombies are spawning. So they're going to, what, spawn around me? Spawning near me, supposedly. I don't see any. Oh, yeah, there's one. Oh, <laughs> what? I can't shoot them. Wait, they're just teleporting away. Oh my god. Yeah, they glitched. They, yeah, this is going to break the game. I can't even kill them. They're just constantly moving. What is going on? Yes. No, this is like a surefire way to break your game with the illegal combos, to be fair. And I already knew that before enabling them, but I wanted to try them out. Yeah, I, just, I can't shoot them. I can't.
Where are they? Oh, that, nope. They're gone. Over here. Over here. Nope. Over there. Okay. I think that's all she wrote. I think that's it for the mod because, yeah, it's just, it's bugs to high heaven. All right, so we're playing Ascension, but every single round, something's going to change. I'm putting effect stacking on as well as no repeat combo, just because it's a small map and it's fairly easy. Well, I say small, but it is just kind of an easy map, to be honest. Oh, what the fuck? What? When a player loses 300 plus points, perks will randomize their locations. There is Jug in the spawn. That's actually really cool because the last time we did this challenge, or well, the cause and effect mod, we did it on Verrucked and it was having that round one as well. Quite cool. Uh, oh god, want to avoid that. I actually have fast mags on my starting pistol. There's a way you can like code it in. I forget exactly how, but it's pretty cool. Got a nice cherry fizz camo. Also, yes, if you're curious, I am using the boy client. I'm just, uh, at this point, like sometimes Black Ops 3 will just crash for standard version and I'm just fed up with it. So I'm just going to say fuck it and use this. When a player loses a thousand plus points, a random perk is gained. Okay. So you're telling me if I buy a door, oh, this is 750 though. Damn. We need to make some big boy purchases. This was twelve fifty. Okay, this door will be perfect then. Oh yeah, mule kick is where widows would normally be. That's that's so trippy. Now we actually need a gun of some kind. So maybe we'll buy the RK5 on the wall first before we go ahead and do anything goofy. All right, that's the round. When a player earns 100 plus points, player's ability to slide will toggle. Well, that's just crazy, isn't it? Oh, and I got dead shot daiquiri. Oh boy, of course. I suppose I can't complain, it's free. Oh, Quick Revive is here now. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, it's just going to be constantly changing, which is interesting. I guess we'll just go for the next door whenever we uh, get the points for it. I could find the last zombie. Where the hell is it? Oh, and I can't slide because <laughs> earned too many points. Oh, here he is. There we go. Now I can slide. When a power-up spawns, a random zombie dies. I mean, that's just going to help the round go by a little bit quicker, I suppose. So how much is this door then? Please tell me it's like... Okay, it's a thousand. Mule kick. Am I just going to get all the worst perks? Oh my god. The saturation. Holy shit. I forgot ascension literally blinds you. <laughs> oh, we got double points. Hell yeah, we kind of need that. Let's go for a spin of the box. We got the HVK. Not bad. Pretty solid gun. This cherry fizz camo is so goddamn gorgeous. Oh, and we're leveling up. I forgot the perks of the boy client, bro. Been a while since I've used it, honestly. The only reason I stopped was because of the whole, like... It getting taken down by Activision or whatever. But you can still play solo, you just can't play the online servers. So I'm just going to use it for my solo games. And we got speed colon, not bad. But wait, we're not going to be... Oh, and it's mule kick anyway. This is so trippy. Oh yeah, and HVK is our mule kick weapon. Interesting. So we kind of just need to hope that we spend enough points to uh, get Jug randomly now. <laughs> oh, here's Jug. Oh, Jesus, someone's going down. How much is this door over here? Please tell me it's not 750. Oh, it's 1,000. Let's go. We got Widow's Wine. Now, we could always just purchase guns off the wall. That works too. Oh, here's Jug. What the fuck? So weird just seeing Jug, like, all the way around the map. Can we lie down by it? Oh, yeah, we can get the points. Okay. Let's open this door. Please double tap. I mean, I'll take it. When a player loses 1,000 plus points, an earthquake occurs. Oh, boy, I just got to stay winning, don't I, huh? But let's... Vesper. Stamina up. And we've got every single perk except the jug. What? <laughs> really, game? Just typical. I suppose I can't necessarily complain when we're getting, like, pretty much every perk by round six. Oh, good God. I just realized monkeys exist in this map. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to have to fight for this shit. If you don't know how Ascension works, the monkeys that spawn in on the special rounds, um, they attack perks and they steal the perks. So the fact we have so many is actually quite bad. That's fine, dude. No, what's the worst that could happen? I suppose we're about to find out whatever this last zombie is. When a power-up spawns, ability to slide will toggle. Dude, it's just making my slide toggle. There's another one on as well. I forget which one it was. I think it's if we earn like 300 plus points. Oh, here we go, dude. Oh, God. Where did it land? Over here. Monkeys! Get the fuck away. And I don't even know which perks they're going to because they're all different. Oh, this is such a nightmare. Oh, they're taking quick revive. Wherever quick revive is. I think it's up there, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on. Where is it? Huh? Monkey? Wait, it says it's taking quick revive, but it's not. Wait, it's in the spawn. Oh, it's glitched because it thinks that quick revive is over there. Wow, I didn't know that was actually how they would interact. That's kind of interesting. Get off my stamina up. There it is. Ooh, max ammo. Okay, that wasn't as stressful as I thought, but it's going to get worse the higher round we get. When a player reloads, random player is slightly moved. Oh, boy. Oh, I just, like, nudged very slightly. Okay. 
I can deal with that. Well, if we buy the Cuda, here we go, Juggernaut, finally. Took bloody long enough. Ah, uh, now Mule Kick is in this corner. Leveling up the Cuda as well. Yeah, I mean, the boy client is just so good. I think there's still a way that people can download it. Uh, I know Mr. Telexify did a video on it. I don't remember exactly how, but he basically just has the files publicly available. If you want to play solo and just... It basically just means that you can play Black Ops 3 on PC completely safely and smoothly, which for me, that's the latter half is like extremely important because recording, you know, I can't exactly record shit quality gameplay. I was having frame drops and stuff when I was recording previously. All right, that's the round. When a player loses a thousand plus points, gain a hundred points. What? So we just get 100 points back? Okay. It's like reverse tax, I guess. Well, let's work on getting these landers done so we can get pack a punch. Oh, here it comes. Hey, what's up, bro? All right, first one down. Two more to go. Oh, God, hello. All the zombies in existence. Fucking taking my widow's grenades. Can't slide again. Dude, it's so annoying. Every time I try and slide, it just won't let me. Lander is refueling. Oh, typical. There we go. Right, now we're on the second one. I feel like we've gone through most of the Black Ops 3 maps now for uh, cause and effect. I want to go through every single one. But I also have some really interesting video ideas, which I want to try out very soon. So if you guys are getting a bit bored of cause and effect, I don't think you are because, frankly, a lot of people are really, really interested in these. And I love them still. But I am going to spice things up, get a bit more variety in the content. I am 100% going to be recording this video idea I've got over the weekend, and I'm pretty excited to share it all with you. All right, we've done two of the landers. One more to go. Thank God for stamina up, bro. Being able to run around the map so much faster. Open this door. Aha, uh -huh, yes, the earthquakes. Ah, oh, Mule Kick's actually in its normal spot. Oh, and then there's just Quick Revive chilling over here. Here we go, call the lander. Now we can actually pack a punch this round then. It's only going to cost us 250 points. All right, there we go. Lander's done. Ah, round's done. When a power-up spawns, gain 10% of your total points. Okay. So the more power-ups we get, the more rich we'll get. Let's go and turn on this rocket. Boom, rocket launch. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. I was just trying to look at the rocket, dude. Go for a spin of the box. We might as well. If we can get something a bit better. No, we got a fucking Elkar 9. Oh, there we go. Rocket is on its way. And that means Packet Punch should be open now. Gotta get through the corridor of death. Oh, fucking move out the way. I'm losing all the widows. Hey, here we go. What do we want to pack a punch? Um, let's do the Vesper, honestly. Just kind of feeling it, you know? I don't usually pack a punch really fast firing SMGs because they're kind of not that great. Because they lose ammo really quick, but still, it seems to be shredding. Hey, there we go. Prestige Master level 53. Pew, pew, pew. Earning camos as well. Screw it. We'll spin the box again. If we could get a Thunder Gun, that'd be pretty cool. We got an RPK. Oh, yeah. Does it have the camo? It had it in the box, but it doesn't have it here. I tried to put it on using like this. I guess it's a glitch kind of thing, but anyway. When a player earns 100 plus points, ability to sprint will toggle. Oh, my God. So now I can't slide. I can't sprint. <laughs> At this point, just take my legs. Oh, and we got bloody monkeys. Oh, hello, bastards. What's up? Where are you? Fuck off. Over here. I see you, motherfucker. I heard that one behind. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know where they're going. Oh, there's one. I don't see the one quick revive. It's actually back in its normal spot. Hello. Oh, hello again. It's two of you. Are you around here, maybe? I don't see it attacking any of the perks, which is interesting. Ah, here you are, motherfucker. God, the monkeys are annoying. <laughs> When a player loses 300 plus points, speed is randomized. Oh my god. So, sprint, slide, and now my speed. So everything about my movement is just getting completely dicked over right now. That's just, that's just brilliant, that is. Well, there's a carpenter, so let's see. I mean, it's 200 points, but if I get a headshot at the same time... Oh, yep, I can't sprint. <laughs> no sprinting allowed. Cool, cool. Can't slide either. Oh, this is just brilliant. I'm just spamming the buttons. Nothing's happening. Now I'm crouching for whatever reason. Oh, it's losing points. Interesting. But let's say, in theory, I go and make a purchase. Let's buy the cooter off the wall. How slow am I going to be? Oh, I'm, I'm kind of like normal speed. When a player takes... Damage ability to sprint with toggle. Dude, they just don't want me sprinting. Interesting though, because this one is all about the movement. I haven't had this many movement ones stack up like this. They're really trying to get me to go down, huh? Or just camp, I guess, is the option. Gotta say, I absolutely love the RPK. The fact they added it into all the zombies maps on BO3 is pretty dope. Like, not just on the Zombies Chronicles ones either. They added it to like, Derizendrak and Shadows of Evil. Every map, nice bit of variety. 
Oh, we got a max. Hell yes. Yeah, we're just getting so many points. Oh, and the Widow's Wine Grenades, I think, count towards it as well. I would love to be able to go Pack-a-Punch, but I can't fucking sprint. Oh my god, let me sp There we go. When a power-up spawns, orientation slightly changed. Oh my god, we're so fast now. Oh yeah, our speed definitely changed. Give me the pap. Orientation's no biggie. Oh, well, now I'm slower again. Actually, I kind of want to uh, repack a punch it, see if we can get faster. Oh, look at this! Here we go. <laughs> what the fuck? Look, I'm just... I'm the Flash, bro. I'm the... Yeah, you want to try and stop me from sprinting? Well, I can just walk really fast now. I always thought it would be cool if you could just, like, custom change your player speed before you start up a game. Things like that, you know, change the health, change the speed, change the starting pistol and stuff. I know other games like BO4 and Cold War kind of lean into that, but it would have just been a nice toggle to have on BO3, you know? Where the hell is this last zombie at? Oh, here you are. Last one just walking. Oh, the speed. Damn it, the speed changes at the end of each round. When a player earns 100 plus points, spawn a random power up. Okay. Which it's just, it's always when a player earns or loses a certain amount of points. Oh, fuck. I heard one of them. It's over here. Oh, hi. What's up, bros? Annoying motherfuckers. I hate these goddamn monkeys. Oh, I see you. Go away. You want my quick revive? Yeah, you are. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, it's. Oh, because I earned 100 plus points? Demo. They're taking stamina up. Uh, I'm assuming that's still this one then. Get off! Get off the goddamn thing! What just happened then? Well, I think I stopped it. I don't know where the max is going to be though. When a zombie dies, active gun loses a bullet. I'm assuming it means loses a bullet, but that's a brand new one. I haven't seen that before. So let's say in theory I kill a zombie with one bullet. It's going to actually take away an extra bullet. Oh, yeah, yeah, it takes it from the reserve. Okay. Oh, there's, there's a power-up. There's another one. What's happening, bro? My game back. crashes You're whenever I get die. too many power-ups, so I have to actually be careful, because that seemed to happen on the Rukt, I believe. Although we weren't using the boy client. Oh, hi, double points. What's up? Oh, an insta-kill, a nuke. Okay, I'm just going to break the game at this point. Oh, my God, I literally called it, dude. <laughs> I got a fatal error. Yeah, it's just if you get too many power-ups, it does actually crash your game. This mod is called Cause and Effect, and as you can see on screen, oh my god. Uh, allow illegal combos off, effect stack off, confirm choices, okay. Um, boom, 498 possible combinations. So, when a player takes damage, player's orientation is slightly changed. So every single round, something different is going to happen. It randomly decides between, as you saw, 498 choices or whatever it was. So look, we take damage, my orientation slightly uh, changes, apparently. So I'm not exactly sure too much what that means, but regardless, it's still cool. Now, this mod is very new, so obviously it's going to have a couple bugs, I imagine. But I thought, what better map to play it on than Call of the dead i mean ooh, ah jesus okay george i'm sorry i'm sorry george okay it's fine we're gonna in the water we're cool so quite literally anything can happen in this mod i i don't know all the combinations obviously because there's just so many oh here we go when a player loses a thousand plus points wall buys are randomized oh my god so if i <laughs> so i'm about to buy the mpl off the wall in a minute obviously every single round it's going to change so we could get something really unlucky like i don't know when you get hit you lose money that would really suck but we'll see but yeah we've got the m14 here in the spawn so i wonder what it could change to i think the mpl is about a thousand points right also it's nice of playing as merle dixon from walking dead good old michael rooker okay so let's go buy the mpl i mean it's when you lose a thousand points so already we're about to lose it so here we go, MPL. Oh yeah, it turned into the stakeout. <laughs> it's the stakeout for 1500. What the fuck, that's so cool. Before we end the round, I'm really curious. Ow, fucking cry. Hello, can I? Jesus, you red screened me. I was just gonna say, I wanna go have a look what the M14 and the Olympia turned into. Um, this is the AK-74U, okay. And then the, MP the MP40 on Call of the Dead. Oh my god, if only this didn't change at the end of the round, I would genuinely like- Oh no, it stays forever! It's the MP40 still. So when a player loses 300 plus points, it gives a random gobble gum? Okay. Okay. I mean, fuck it, dude. I want to buy one of these guns now. Let's save up 300 more points and we'll get the MP40. All right, here we go. We've got enough now. Got to get these fucking zombies out of the way. Boom, the MP40 and we got sword flight. Oh, so we just have like a, a one-hit melee now. Okay, nice. <laughs> this mod is so cool. 
I understand there's probably going to be quite a few bugs, but when a zombie dies, a random zombie triggers an AAT, so uh, an alternate ammo type, which is like double packet punch. Okay. This is um intriguing to say the least. Wait, so it's going to be after every single zombie death. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, we're going to get so many. Okay, here we go. Boom. Yeah, that was Blast Furnace. Oh, and that was fireworks. What? How? What is going on? And again, oh, from the wall. Oh, it just kills a random zombie on the map, I assume. Ah, okay, Thunderwall. Let's use that MP40 a little bit. It's so cool that we've got this on this map. I don't... Th is the MP40 on Call of the Dead? Am I tripping out? Maybe it is. I just don't necessarily remember it. Oh, high turn, by turn. Oh, and that's the round. <laughs> when a zombie dies, player's ability to ADS will toggle. Oh, no. That's actually... That's actually pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty uh, annoying to deal with, to say the least. Nonetheless, we can get the power turned on now. Boom, here we go. Power, power. Oh yeah, what's this M16 turned into? The M16 is the Olympia. That's just tragic. Oh, hi, George. Oh, Got to fucking run past him. We still have sword play, I just realized. What the fuck? So yeah, I guess if it ran out, we would have got another one. But because we just got like a five minute gobblegum, uh, you know, that's good. Still a one hit knife. I'm actually going to go and buy quick revive because to be honest, kind of need it. Oh god, quite a lot of zombies here. Oh yeah, here we go. When I kill a zombie, I can't aim anymore. What the fuck? That's so clunky. Oh, prestige master. Let's go. Knife these zombies. Oh, okay. Apparently just get red screen because I suck. Oh, yep. Not aiming. Cool. It's fine. This is very strange to use. I think we can stay one more round in the spawn because honestly, like, I want to have a bit more points to be able to open all the way up to, like, Juggernaut, for example. When a zombie dies to a grenade, spawn a random power-up. Okay, so it actually, like, incentivizes you to use certain equipment. I like that a lot. Okay. Well, let's build up a horde and not fucking hit George with the grenade, of course. Oh, here we go. Let's just use it on you. Three, four, boom. Ow. Oh, yeah, there we go. See? Insta-kill. <laughs> That's so sick. Let's throw some grenades over here, honestly. Does it count for the impact? Oh, it doesn't count for impact. Sad. Don't think I even hit any of them. They're all coming this side. Yeah, we didn't get any power-ups over here. Sad. I haven't got no more grenades, so this one's kind of like a little bit useless, but it's fine. Maybe if I didn't suck, you know, throwing them randomly. Okay, here we go. I think this might be the last one. Oh, and we got a max ammo. Perfect timing, because I was actually running a little bit low. All right, so we've got 5k points. Let's go, I guess, go towards Jug. Probably is a good play. My dumb brain forgets exactly how to get to Jug. I... I I have a feeling it's it's this way, right? Oh yeah, the MP40 is here. I'm so stupid. Oh, it turns into the MP5K. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, boom. Here we go. One more door, and now we got Jug around this corner. It's always my priority is just to get Jug as soon as possible. Oh, we got, need 20 points to open that door. That's just tragic. Okay, give me a zombie spawn, dude. Here we go. Oh, and a double points at the end of the round. When a player takes damage, give a random tapped gun. What? What? Wait, that's overpowered. What the fuck? Oh, and I'm stuck on this side now. Sick. Oh, good job me. Wait, I need to take damage then. What? Okay, I want to swap the MPL, I suppose. It's probably the better choice. All right, zombies, where you at? Okay, here we go. Flap me. Hey, <laughs> the lamentation. That's the Galil, right? Oh, I got the scavenger. What the fuck? Wait, that is overpowered. Okay, so I guess I want to I wanna let them slap me again. Go on, slap me once. Here we go. What I get? The Cobra? This is the Python. Okay. This is one of the coolest mods I think I've ever seen. Slap me again. Go on, do it. What am I going to get? The, oh, a sniper? No, I don't want that. Uh, the M72? No, again. Uh, the D50? Oh, the Dragon. Oh, the Calamity. Oh, the G6. Oh my god, it's going through from so fucking fast. Jesus. One more slap. The M72 again? No, I don't want that. Fucking the Cobra again, dude. And again with the Calamity. Come on, give me something... Better. Uh, the epic win. You know, I'll take a foul, honestly. Foul's not bad. Oh god, my fucking- I'm just gonna keep on rotating until I get something better. The addiction of a typhoid and Mary. This is a really cool gun, but the G16 again. Oh god. Hey, back to the Galil. Okay, I'll stick with this. I'll stick with the Galil. And we've got fast mags on it as well, which is nice. This is- so this is so overpowered. I can't believe this is actually a thing. So yeah, this is one of the coolest mods I think I've ever played. <laughs> What the fuck? I just gotta make sure I don't accidentally get hit now. Okay, I think that's the round. Hey, when a door is purchased, a random perk is gained. Oh, fuck. I wish I'd waited to open that door now. But I mean, there's literally no way you can know what's gonna happen next. So, well, we need to build up some points and open some doors then. It's a shame we only have two perks right now because it's not exactly gonna like, you know, we can't go over the perk limit, but it's fine. This is so nice though, because especially like the wall weapon thing, it just changes how the game flows completely. You could spawn in with like 
a really, really OP weapon in the starting room. You can have a really, really awful one right by where you're going to train, for example. So we've got 2,000 points. So if we can buy some cheap doors, maybe we go back to the spawn, honestly. We don't even have to pack a punch anymore because we just... Okay, we just have it now. Right, you the last one? I think you are. Well, let's open some doors then. Uh, I know there's a door over here. Boom, we got... Sp there's speed cola. <laughs> What the fuck is this mod, dude? There's another door here. 1,000 point mule kick. Okay. And here's the door I wanted to get. It's like a cheap door just around here back to spawn. And we got... Oh, it doesn't go over the perk limit. No, I've been trolled, dude. What? It doesn't go over the perk limit, so I'm stuck with mule kick. Now I have a scavenger and no PhD. That's, that's so troll, dude. No, why'd you do this to me, game? Whatever. I'll shoot him a little bit. Maybe I can uh, get him weak. He's in the water anyway, so... Pew, pew. It's a Pack-a-Punch scavenger, dude. We don't even have double tap. This is so tragic. He's, like, taking no damage as well. Holy fuck. Oh, never mind. He's actually uh, is flashing the thing now. This is the only way to get free perks now, is if we uh, can manage to kill George. So, when a, oh, when a door is purchased, wall buys are randomized. Okay, so we kind of don't want to open a door then, because... If we do that, then I don't know. I'm happy with the wall buys we have right now. You know, like the MP40 or whatever here, and then the AK here. Oh, max ammo. I'll happily take that. Oh, I should have shot him a little bit first, but whatever. It's fine. You, you. He's going to be really weak now. I'm pretty sure he's about to go down. Oh, yeah. Here we go. He's but Yeah. There we go. Give me the perk. Give me, give me, give me. And we got PhD as well. Thank God. That's exactly what we needed. When a power up spawns, lose a hundred points. Okay. That's not too bad. I guess if that was an earlier round, it would be kind of uh, depressing for that one. Well, we have mule kick, so we might as well hit the box once, I guess. What are we going to get? We got a G11. Okay. And we got no George for a round or two. Like, look at him over there. Just walking depressed, going back to his little hidey hole. Now, we just want double tap from the free perks, honestly, and then we set for the rest of the game. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, we can get a lot of points with these. I need to get a power-up so I can actually see if it does lose points. I assume it will. But, like, because of how many possible combinations there are, there's 498, right? So every single game will be different because you're not playing through 498 rounds, and I assume you can get the same one in the same game, like, multiple times. When a player gets a headshot, the mystery box moves? What? Wait, that's such... Wait, that's so, like, chaotic. Holy shit. Let's use a little bit of a scavenger, honestly. Whee! Kaboom! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fun. I rarely use the scavenger on uh, on this map just because I didn't really play Black Ops 1 Call of Dead all that much. I don't think I even played it before the remaster came out. I went back and played it. Not because it was bad or anything, just because, like, I don't think I ever bought it at the time. All right, double points is going to be nice. I mean, what do we even need the points for, to be honest? It's kind of just, like, the mystery box. Oh, yeah, the box is gone. I forgot. When a player gets a headshot, it moves. What? Where even is it now, dude? It's settled somewhere. I The box has disappeared. The box is gone. There is no more mystery box. Is it behind the lighthouse? Because I don't see it anywhere. Oh, yep, there it is. What? <laughs> Holy shit. When a player earns 100 plus points, the mystery box moves. Dude, stop moving the mystery box. What did it ever do to you? Holy shit. The poor box is, is gone. Yep, we're getting the teddy bear laugh and everything. Also, George is back, which means more uh, free perks if we could manage to... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I... Holy shit, he slows you so much. Oh my god, oh, don't kill me instantly. Fucking Christ, dude. Jesus, we need the VR-11 to cool him down. Fucking hell. Oh, an insta-kill. Gimme, gimme, gimme. It's because I used PhD and it angered him. But like, regardless, I didn't think he was going to be that fucking mad. Okay, anyway. Well, let's go get our perks back. We still have the, uh, the scavenger, thank God. What do we want? PhD. Oh, the mystery box is in spawn. Okay, fair enough. Not a bad place for it. We've got quick revive now. I really like the Call of the Dead perk icons, by the way, because, I don't know, they just look sick. Oh, we can actually get our double tap now this time. Boom, there we go. Oh, I just earned 100 points because I laid down by the fucking perk and it moved the... <laughs> It moved the box again, dude. Right, here we go. Jug right here. And we're set. All right, what's the next one going to be? When a zombie spawns, a random zombie triggers an AAT. Oh, so we can get the same one multiple times again. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, my God, getting stuck on... What a texture bug glitches things. Oh, yeah, an AAT just went off randomly. Okay. Oh, it's when they spawn, not when you kill them. Unless this is a slight variation of the one I had before. Ah, that's kind of interesting then. Hopefully it doesn't apply to George because, you know, he'd get very mad. But yeah, double tap is, uh, this is definitely helping. I'm just, I'm just an idiot. When I went down, it was because of fucking PhD explosion. Angered George, and then apparently you get slowed by like 99% when you try and run away from him. Oh, that's the round. 
When a player loses a thousand points, held gun becomes unpapped. Okay, so no purchases this round then. Also, let's fire into George a little bit. Just see if we can get him weaker. Oh, get me in the water. Okay, we're good. Yeah, he should be um getting weaker, I suppose. I don't know how long it necessarily takes. I know there's a strat where you can use like a grenade launcher on one of the guns to actually uh get him really, really low, basically one-shot him. Let's use a death machine on him, honestly. Pew, 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 pew. Double tap plus death machine. Oh my god, I'm dead instantly. What the fuck? Ow. Oh. I got a calling card at least. What? <laughs> my bad. Don't anger the George. Jesus Christ. Okay, he's he's like flickering though, which means he's weak. Oh my god, stop zapping me, dude. Oh god, am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? I'm not I'm not dead. Ah! Okay, I'm fine. When a zombie dies, a Brandon perk is gained. Well, I mean, that's kind of ideal, but at the same time, I don't have any ammo other than the scavenger. Okay, I'll have to buy the MPL then. Give me a random perk. Come on, quick revive. All right. I can survive a little longer now. Speed cola. Okay. Please, one of them give me jug. There. Oh, thank God, dude. And what are you going to give me now? Double tap. Mule kick again. Isn't this the same four we got last time? Oh, we still get perks. Hey, five perks. Nice. Get another. Double tap. PhD. What is going on, dude? This is so... I've got stamina up now. Oh, my God. Don't die. Please. I just have a scavenger. Ah. Uh... Oh, God. That explosion's going to piss off George, isn't it? I'm going to run this way. Oh, yeah. What gun was over here? Uh, it was the AK. Fuck it. We'll buy that. Oh, we got mule kick, don't we? Yeah. A max ammo? Oh, thank God. Shame I got rid of my papped gun. I mean, maybe we can get, like, another one that gives us a bonus. Oh, pack a punch is right there, which is useful. Let's actually go and do that. Pack a punching the MPL. It's not a bad shout, honestly. I'm just running in this fucking water is just a death trap apparently all right here we go when a perk is purchased war buys are randomized well i mean that doesn't necessarily matter then does it since we kind of have all the perks now put some double uh pack a punch on these as well we've got fireworks okay not bad let's fire into him a little bit he's really weak wait what's the point actually what we're gonna get another perk oh cool dude let's just keep him weak for now then i guess oh god uh nuke yeah i probably needed that it's round 16 but it's so chaotic like uh to be honest, it's kind of all my fault anyway, because I'm just, I'm angering George for, like, no reason. It's fine, though. Oh, we got, like, a red dot on the MPL now. Looks kind of funny at the end. Like, the barrel looks very strange. Interesting. Oh, my God, that's a fast reload. We've got, like, dual mag, I think. Woo! Oh, that's instant. Yeah, this is one of the coolest mods, I think, is on the entire BO3 workshop right now. Oh, my God, I shot George. Ah, uh, shit. Well, when a player takes damage, lose 10% of your total points. Wait, I think they get harder as the game goes on, because that is... Kind of tough. Uh, go away, George, please. Okay, we're fine. I'll be careful not to accidentally fucking shoot him. And sliding just means you activate PhD, so play the long game. Just, ooh. Just train around. Oh, yeah, there goes 10% of my total point. Oh, my God, I lose like 500. I guess it gets better as the uh, the points go down, but still, dude. And BO3 zombies, you know, they have a... Oh, yeah, they slap you very fucking easily like that. All right, I think fireworks will anger George. Okay, please. Yep, didn't. It barely killed any, though. What the fuck? Oh, we've got a drop. What's that? Double points insta? That would be quite nice, actually. Especially since we're losing all our fucking points. Oh, God, he's mad. He's mad and bad. When a player loses a thousand plus points, player's ability to sprint will toggle. Okay, so we're not making any purchases this round because that would be tragic. Death machine. Oh, yeah. Death machine is a, uh, a bit of a death trap sometimes. You're just so slow with it, even with stamina up. It's actually insane. Gotta be careful not to hit George, because he will be mad. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, that's what happened last time, was I hit George with a death machine, and I didn't swap it out in time, so I fucking just got absolutely bonked by him. Oh, fucking, yeah, fireworks definitely does affect him, because that was nowhere near him. Gotta get me out of the water, please. Oh, my God, the electric zombies with the fucking damage is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. That one zombie came around the corner. Fucking hell. Yeah, it's the electric zombies that kill me, I guess. Holy shit. Oh, I just... Oh, fireworks again, dude. When a player loses 300 plus points, a random perk is lost. Okay. So, do not do that. Whatever happens. Right, let's fire some scavenger shots while he's on this side. Oh, God. Okay, we're fine. It has such a large radius, though. We need the VR-11. Where even is the fucking box now, dude? I don't... I don't know where it is. Pew, 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 pew. Oh my god, carpenter. Oh, just what I wanted, dude. That's exactly what's going to save me right now. I mean, honestly, let's buy some ammo. Ugh. Oh my god, no, I lost the perk. I'm so stupid, I forgot. I lost Jug. No, <laughs> why? Of all the fucking perks, why does it have to be Jug? Okay, well, that's pretty bad. On the bright side, George is quite weak, so we could maybe get him weak enough to, like, 
actually uh gonna get the jug back i guess we'll get this nuke okay all right here we go pew pew oh we get a random gobble gun when we lose points oh it'd be great if we used it now then wouldn't it oh my god is he kneeling please tell me he's gone yes give me jug oh thank god dude all right so let's uh buy ammo again and we got profit sharing. That's entirely useless on this. Okay. <laughs> well, shit. No George for a few rounds, though. Thank God. He just makes it so much more difficult, really. Oh, God. I'm saying that. I'm almost dying anyway. Pew, 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 pew. Insta kill. Well, let's go and uh, let's buy another one. See if we get another one. Yeah, shopping free. Ah, that's neat. I mean, there's nothing we really need to buy, but I suppose if Packer Punch was nearby, also we're getting so many drops. Holy shit. And it's nice, but it's ultra rare mega gobble gums as well, and not just like the uh, the standard classics. When a player takes damage, a random perk is gained. Oh, well, that would have been great last time. There are some where it's like when a perk is purchased, five zombies will spawn in, which I was kind of hoping we'd get one of those, but you know, it is completely random. There is no way I can possibly tell what we're going to get. Fire down some scavenger shots. Pew, pew. Wouldn't it be cool if there was one that was like, if you were, uh, I don't know, spend 5,000 points, you gain the map's wonder weapon that round. That'd be so sick. Oh, max ammo. Yes, please. PhD plus scavenger. Kind of OP. Pew, yeah. Just... <laughs> oh, yeah, this is kind of gross. Hey, there we go. When a player takes damage, wall buys are randomized. Okay, so... All our wall buys are screwed then this round. And we need to get rid of fireworks because it pisses off George. We just do not want that. Oh, and here comes George back again. Thankfully, it has a long cooldown, so we can use it for a second. Oh, God. And not go down. That'd be nice. MPL time. Good old reliable. Oh, God. Trying to go around the ice. Oh, fuck. All right, let's uh, shoot a scavenger shot. Let's shoot a couple... Hey, there we go. Go on back. It's all about micromanaging how to deal with George, honestly, this entire map, which I kind of like that because it adds to the element of zombies. You know, it's not like you just play regularly, you know, kill zombies, get through rounds, that's it. You have a whole other element to deal with, which is nice. And the map itself is very good anyway. Like, you can get three perks very easily. It rewards you for being able to manage George correctly. Yeah, Call of the Dead's nice. It's probably one of my favorite maps now after, like, actually trying it out. That's the round. When a door is purchased, gives a random papped gun. Oh my god. I kind of, I want that actually. But if we open this door, it screws the training spot a bit. So maybe we have some doors we haven't opened. Oh yeah, that's for stakeout now. I was going to buy ammo. Fuck, dude. Honestly, as the rounds progress, it doesn't, I wouldn't say it gets easier, but the fact they're more consistently running around makes it like smoother for training, I suppose. Oh, that's that gun gone. Please don't anger George. Oh, thank God. Always worries me when the fireworks procs. Holy shit. Ooh, gonna run past him. We're fine. Pew, 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 pew. All right, let's get out of this water as soon as possible. Uh, we're fine. Move. Ah! Training here is such a... Oh, it's so tight. It's scary. Here we go. Oh, fireworks. That's definitely gonna hit him. No, that one didn't. Okay. All right, here we go. Last zombie, I think. Well, now let's go and see if we can open some doors, I guess. There is, oh, there's doors in here, right? In the actual lighthouse bit. I don't know which gun is our mule kick weapon is the uh, the issue. So, sorry, MPL. I love you, but uh, that's the door to outside, right? We don't want to open that one. We want to open this one. Hey, the, the RPK packet punch, I believe this is. And we'll swap out the AK as well. This door, boom. What are you going to give me? What? I, I, I just, I bought it. Where's my gun? Scammed, dude. I got scammed. Is there another door up here? Okay, there is. Come on. No. Again? That's just sad. Maybe it only works for the one, I guess. That's fine. Oh, I just killed the zombie. I need to actually get outside again. When a player swaps weapons, the mystery box moves. Well, the, the box is screwed then because I've got to be uh, moving them quite a bit. Oh, hi, George. Fucking hell. Jump scaring me like that. I didn't get rid of the AK, sadly, but it's fine. Which stamina up the RPK is actually pretty damn good, not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, there goes the mystery box. I swapped weapons. Totally forgot. Oh. Uh. Right, this is all of them. Yeah, okay. Actually killing the full horde. Let's go. Oh, and a max ammo. Gimme, gimme. They start spawning over there more. Is that because I opened that door? I wonder. I guess that's actually a thing. Oh, it doesn't reload your weapon. Fuck, I thought it did. I thought the map creator added that in. Sad. Right, there we go. Round done. When a grenade is thrown, give a random gobble gum. Okay. What are you gonna give me? Fatal contract. That's actually quite huge, especially for dealing with George. I mean, screw it, dude. Let's do it now. Or just don't give it me. Okay. 
the dude. I spawned it in and it just didn't pick it up the second that I fucking did it. Okay, man. It's fine. I didn't want perks anyway. Let's do it again. Come on. I knew death machines would be the death for me. Like, oh, shit. Oh, move out the way. Somehow we're still alive. I don't know how. Oh, God, they're sprinting. I can't move very fast. Fucking hell. Just camp in this corner for a second, I guess. Jiminy Christmas, dude. Oh, oh there we go. Wait, we lost our scavenger. Why? It, was, it wasn't even the mule kick weapon because last time when we lost mule kick, we didn't lose it. What the fuck? I got scammed, dude. That's tragic. Oh, God, I'm going to drop down. Oh, my quick revives are all gone now. I totally didn't even register that. Okay, move. Oh, my God. Oh, hi, zombie. Where'd you come from? Oh, there's more spawning. Jesus. When a power-up spawns, gain 10% of your total points. Oh, nice. I mean, that would be great, but, you know, at the same time, not really. Oh, God. Now I've got a fucking... Oh, I need to get a jug. Can I drop down here and get through there? I think I can, yeah. I'm just so screwed right now. Trying to run through the water. Oh, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. There's no way, dude. Oh, God, like, there's 50 zombies here, dude. Why? Oh, God, please don't be one up here. No! Oh, yeah. Oh, that was close. Oh, and all that, and I'm going to die anyway. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're good. We're living on the edge right now, dude. I mean, I've got, like, no firepower anymore. Oh, a nuke. Thank God. That's actually the only way to progress through this round, honestly. Oh, shit. Yeah, trying to use an RPK. Oh, I'm getting stuck on nothing. Oh, please. Oh, and I've got to reload. Fuck. Double points. Oh, brilliant. Just what I need with my 65,000 fucking points. Somehow training with an RPK and it's working. God knows how. Oh, God, don't get me stuck. Ah! Every time, dude. This map is actually a lot harder than it seems, but it's not like... It's not impossible. It's just I'm kind of making it more difficult for myself by fucking trolling. All right, is that the round? I think it is. I mean, I could just go get perks, but... When a zombie dies to a grenade, wall buys are randomized. Oh, just... what? Huh? Huh? I'm stuck! What the f- What was all that about, man? We're on round 27? Shit, dude. I think this is gonna be our last round. I don't think we're gonna survive past this. We're about to run out of ammo as well. Even if I looped round and got double tap, it's not gonna fix the ammo situation. Unless we get, like, a max ammo really quickly. Come on. Boom. Nope. Sad. No good luck for me. Oh, shit. Oh, and I accidentally shot George. Oh, we're just screwed. There's an insta-kill. That's, like, my only hope right now, dude. But I'm stuck at the back! Come on, fireworks! No! <laughs> oh, and it propped after I died. Okay, man. We're playing Shangri-La, but every single round, something's gonna change. Now, on screen, I'll put the comment that suggested to do this map, with this mod, of course. And yeah, I'm kind of dreading it, because Shangri-La, I'm very inexperienced with. It's a pretty difficult map, all things considered, but we have, when a player reloads, open a random door. So on round one, we can literally just, like... Open? Oh, I don't know what door it opened. Not either of these ones. Let's see, shall we? Reload again. In theory, can I just open up every single door without spending anything? What? <laughs> it worked! What the fuck? No way. That's actually hilarious. So what? If I reload, come on. What? That's so broken. So we're just opening up every door on the map. I don't know how many we have to do. I'm just do it three more times, maybe? All right, I think that's probably all the doors. Like... On to the next round, then, I guess. When a power-up spawns, an earthquake occurs. Okay, thank God. Unlike Kino de Toten, that was an incident right there. But at least it's not permanent. Effect stacking is on. So, oh yeah, every time we reload, we're still going to have uh, doors opening, of course. Oh my God, I fell down here. What the fuck? Hi, box. I see Jug is all the way up there as well. Okay, so we know where some stuff is. We can go and turn on the power in a second, but I'm going to actually spin the box. It just feels so weird going around like everything is actually open. Like, <laughs> I was about to say, where the hell are the shield parts? Bro, have I never played Shang before? I mean, to be fair, I've played it like twice, but first hit of the box, we got the Annihilator. I mean, okay, man, I suppose. Like, I completely forgot they added the Annihilator to all the Zombies Chronicles maps. Like, imagine if we had the Flamethrower, bro. It would have been so much cooler. But I suppose can't necessarily complain. Oh, here's Widow's Wine. Where is the power switch? Here we go. The, uh, the two power switches, which I still don't understand why they did this. I know it's like draining the water or whatever, but every time I play this map, it's like, what's the point? Can't lay down by stamina. We build this barrier. I think this is the room that you sit in for high rounds, isn't it? I think. You, like, keep these doors shut or whatever. But let's go for another spin of the box. Not like we have to worry about opening doors or anything, so... The Gorgon. <laughs> the Gorgon. I suppose it's a gun, you know. Oh my god, there's the earthquake. 
<laughs> Jesus. It's fine having that once, but imagine having that permanently. Oh, couldn't it be me? Okay, here's where Packet Punch is. When a player loses a thousand plus points, a random player is slightly moved. Well, that one's kind of redundant then. Oh, hello, monkey. Fuck off, dude. Fuck. What do you think you're doing? Jug is on this side. Let's go. Well, I guess we just sit in the spawn for a little bit. Oh, and like I said in my previous video, um, if you're wondering why there's no 1440p on this, then basically, um, I kind of smashed my monitor. <laughs> like, yeah. Just a, an incident of it literally coming out of the monitor stand and yeah. It's beyond repair, unfortunately, but it's fine. Got another one coming on Monday. Asus is just better, man. I'm getting basically the exact same as my 1080p monitor I have right now, but it's 165 hertz, 1440p, like my LG one was, but the stand is actually like flat on the ground, which I appreciate. Imagine if there was one for like spawning in only special zombies in a round. That would be terrifying because especially on Shang, you know how you have napalms as well as the shriekers? Like that would be horrible to deal with. I kind of want to save up for Jug like immediately. When a zombie dies, all zombies gain 10% of their max health. Oh no. What is that? That sounds terrifying. Wait, what the fuck? So does that mean that they're going to like continuously keep getting more and more health? No, man. I'm not going to be able to kill them. I mean, sure, it means more points, but Jesus Christ. Also, I think I hear a napalm spawning. Oh, God. Fucking every time. Jump scare me. Oh, come on. Let me through. There we go. Oh, Shrieker. Yeah, I hear it. Well, at least it's the kill bypasses this thing, I suppose. Hi, monkey. Go away. I don't see the Shrieker. Did we kill it already? Maybe we did, dude. I don't, I'm not seeing it anywhere. Oh, God. With the... Okay, death machine. Oh, I'm stuck here again. Ow! Stop with the stabby-wabby, man. Ow! Is this the... Is it a fucking monkey? Ow! Can I... What is going on? Let me through, dude. Jesus. <laughs> Stood there for ages, getting molly -whopped. Double points, let's go. Go away, monkeys. Go away. We've got 5,000 points now. I mean, their health seems to be fine at the moment. When a player gets a headshot to give a random gun, I actually like that one because it's not like every single round we're going to be getting constant headshots, you know? It's not like it's every zombie kill, I suppose. Still going to be a little bit of a pain. Oh, we got the Pharaoh. <laughs> just as I say that, I just do it without even thinking. Nice, good job, me. Oh, hello, nuke. I mean, I don't really want to pick that up. The HVK. We could keep on getting headshots until we get the wonder weapon, honestly. Oh god, hello. Where'd you come from? Fucking hell. The Dracon. Oh, it took my fucking thing. Son of a bitch. Dracon again. Oh, he's taking all the drops, you bitches. The Reagan Mark II! Wait, what the fuck? No way. That's actually hilarious. Just because we got a headshot, we ended up getting the Reagan Mark II. Wow. Okay. But now we have to try and get a headshot with the pistol or something to actually be able to uh, get another gun. Oh god, now I'm getting stuck. Okay, there we go. We got the Cuda. If we could get the baby gun from doing this strat, that would be absolutely broken. Could you imagine? Oh, we got the L4 Siege. Wait, we actually can't get headshots with this. How? I'm pretty sure it's impossible, isn't it? Let's try, let's try and aim for the head. Nope. Th th there's no way. Come on. Pop. Nope, it didn't count. Oh, this is by the RK5 then, bro. That's so sick that we got the Reagan Mark II, though, because, like, as long as we don't get a headshot, we should be fine for that. When a player takes damage, wall by prices are randomized. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's go and do this thing. We can go Pack-A-Punch real quick. Now, I think Pack-A-Punch using the Reagan Mark II makes the most sense. Just come on. I pray to the gods. Can we please not lose it? I need to just not get a headshot with this gun. All right, here we go. Reagan Mark II. God, it just looks so fucking good. Get the headshot. Come on. M16. Yeah, I knew it was in this game. I was mentioning that in my Zetsubo video yesterday. I thought that the um, M16 was on like most Call of Duty games. And I said it was on BO3, but I wasn't certain. Well, I like the Galil. Oh, I accidentally got a headshot. I also like the FAMAS, well, the FFAR, but I think what we want to do is go for double tap next. I haven't noticed um, the health like getting more and more. Let's go through the goddamn maze. Come on, actually get me through it, please. Or oh, perk is on this side. We've got speed cola. Okay, then we'll get this one next then. Shangri-La is just scary because there's no real place to train like at all. The RPK, so many iconic guns that got added into the Zombies Chronicles maps, which I can appreciate because the BO3 guns are a little bit meh. Like they're not bad at all. They're some of the best, but they're just a bit like... Eh, flat, boring. When a door is purchased, give a random gobblegum. Well, that's kind of tragic since we kind of opened up every door in existence, but you know, it's fine. I am determined to get the baby gun from doing headshots. Like, I swear it must be possible. There's gotta be a way, bro. There's gotta be a way. 
The KN44, I do love this gun. Like, what I was just saying about BO3 guns being kind of meh, the KN44 is by far my favorite. It's just like a futuristic AK, you know, you can't really get much cooler. ICR, oh, we got a Shrieker, go away, son of a bitch. I remember when BO3 mods first came out and everybody would put the Napalm and the Shrieker in like all the maps. Oh God, Dingo, oh, I need to, ah! oh, okay. That nuke came in clutch there. Yeah, give me speed cola, because reloading with LMGs is a bit tragic right now. When a zombie spawns, players take one damage. Oh my god, we had that one in the fucking Kino video as well. But thankfully, it's not too bad, I don't think. Now, where's the pack-a-punch thing? Yeah, it just means blurry screen again. It's like I'm dying of uh, no oxygen on moon. All right, come on, headshot. What are you going to give me? The VMP. See, these guns wouldn't be bad, but I kind of need double tap. The oh, we got the baby gun! Let's go, dude! That is so fucking sick. I cannot believe we got it. Oh, hello. Napalm somewhere. I've like, I don't even think I've used this very much. It's so cool. You just run the zombies over. You turn them into babies. Like, how much cooler can you get, really? I I'm assuming it works on the napalm as well, right? Oh, shit! He grew in size. Like, what the fuck? I didn't know that happens. All right, you take like one damage every time. But we're fine. They seem to grow back after a second. Ah, bye bye. Like it, it puts them all on one HP, so you instantly can kill them, which I really like. But technically, it does damage forever. That's just so fucking cool. I just, I cannot believe we got that. So now we have the Mark II and the baby gun. So we just want to never get a headshot again. Now, where the hell is Double Tap? I think it might be underground, right? I know Widow's Wine is definitely under there, but let's go check. Here is Mule Kick. Oh hi, zombie. How's it going? Just... <gasps> That's so tragic. He like leaned forward when he was spawning, bro. That's, oh, oh. that's actually so depressing. That is, that's just so depressing. That is literally so tragic. Oh my God. Give me double tap. Where the fuck is it? Give me, give me this. I can't believe that just happened. It's fine. No matter what, we, it's, it's literally impossible to get a headshot with the baby gun. So we can never lose that at least. Unless we get one where it's like you get hit, it swaps your weapons. But you know, that's just so. That's just so fucking tragic. I'm gonna spin the box. Imagine if we get the Reagan Mark II here. Come on. I beg. <laughs> the Haymaker. Okay. I mean, good gun at least, but... Oh, zombies in the... What the fuck? I, I forgot they spawn up there. When a zombie dies to a grenade, active weapon gets random attachments. Interesting. Also, can you pack a punch for baby gun? I feel like you can. I'm assuming it will literally just give more ammo. Where is the thing? Oh, it's r it's right in the spawn. Okay. Let's just save up the points then, I guess. I think I am noticing the zombies getting more and more health as well. Because yeah, our guns are starting to like... Like if I shoot them in the body... Oh no, okay. Maybe it's because we have double tap now, actually. FFAR? Sure. Where is that shrieker? I just heard you. Motherfucker, where are you at? I hate when you just can't see them. Oh, there we go. Get the fuck out. Elkar 9, I'm good. I'm, I'm pretty good. There we go. Kuda, spawning behind me. Oh, no, are you serious? Okay, dude. I've got to actually be careful here. Right, baby gun time. I'm not going to take any risks. I need to buy a quick revive. Ooh, there we go. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine, dude. I just completely forgot there was a spawn right behind me, so I just let them corner me. My bad. <laughs> Just as I go and buy all my perks as well. Oh, max ammo. Okay, I'll take it. We can't even afford jug yet, which is tragic. I almost opened the pap. That would have sucked. And I actually have to buy an RK5 because I can't get off this gun. There we go. The haymaker. When a gun born is eaten, lose 100 points. Okay, so it just makes it 100 points more expensive, I guess. Note to self, don't buy gun balls. That's just hilarious. I can't believe I did that, man. Why do I have a permanent like red thing on my screen? Are you seeing this? Oh, it's because I'm constantly taking one damage, right? That's why. Elkar 9, I'm good. L4 Siege again, bro. What is it? Oh, no, that's no fucking way. How did that even down me? I took one slap and a little bit of damage from an explosion. And that's enough to kill me? Apparently so. Oh, God. And here's where I fucking die. Nope, I'm fine. I'm golden. I'm golden, bro. Fine, baby gun. We're good. We're fine. We are brilliant, actually. Oh, God. I just want enough for Jug. I'm, I'm out of quick revives, man. I'm literally out of quick revives. Just, I need to... Uh, no! I'm dead again. No, there is no way. This is the worst game of zombies I've ever had in my entire life. How am I doing this? How? <laughs> Whoever asked for Shangri-La. Oh my God. I hope you're getting your content's worth because Jesus Christ, I am so fucking bad. All right, it's fine. We have double points for a second. Okay, we've got enough for Jug. We're out of quick revives, which fucking sucks, but oh my god, I'm almost getting stuck because zombies are just spawning there. Cool. All right, I have Jug. 
I'm safe now. It's because I don't have a point gun, bro. Making excuses like that's the reason that I'm fucking dying right now. It's fine, dude. Just... Okay. I've got a headshot with the executioner. Please tell me when I switch out. It doesn't, like, swap my gun. I just got the ray gun. And I got the... Okay, at least I didn't lose my baby gun. Because I had a feeling it was going to do that. So I switched preemptively. Ugh, oh, that's just typical. When a player earns 100 plus points, the mystery box moves. Well, the poor box, bro. <laughs> that shit's... That shit's gone, dude. We haven't had a single perk one yet. I was kind of hoping we would. Oh, God. I hear the fucking shriekers. Oh, we got the Rigor Mark II back. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, there goes the box moving. Earthquakes and shit. Come on. Where's the shrieker? I don't care, bro. I don't care. I have a ray gun. I have my ray gun, finally. Oh, God. Hi, shrieker. I can't even see what's going on, dude. Just get the nuke. Just get the nuke. What is happening? I don't know. We can almost afford speed cola, because, I mean, double tap. I mean, these guns, like, deal... Pretty much infinite damage. Not quite, but like mostly. We don't really need to worry about that at least. Maybe it's my bad for like trying to train in the spawn? I don't know. I feel like this is the only decent spot on this map, no? Do not get a headshot with this fucking gun. And do not die going through this stupid maze. I swear to Christ, please. Okay. It was nice to me this time. Thank you. I mean, at least we have a perk slot to get stamina up, I suppose. Like, the lighting on this map is fucking gorgeous, though. Can we just appreciate how goddamn gorgeous that looks? Holy crap. When a grenade is thrown, all zombies gain 10% of their max health. Okay, so again, just no grenades. Maybe we try training here on this side. Also, I, I know for a fact, we're going to shoot the Reagan Mark II one time, and it's going to like, the third shot is going to jump up, recoil up to their head, and just mean that I lose it. It's going to be great. I can't wait for that. Oh, hi, Shrieker. Fucking hell. Spawning in my face. Reload. All right, we're fine for now. I feel so weird actively aiming for like, not the head. So just, you know, less damage. Oh, hi. Just didn't hear him spawn behind me, bro. Oh, huh? I'm well, shit, dude. I mean, I can... <laughs> okay, so needless to say, Shangri-La, not my best map, but we're going to put illegal combos on now. No repeat combos. Okay, when a player gets a headshot, a random perk is lost. Okay, so again, my accuracy is just being cucked. Brilliant. But yeah, I feel like the video would be too short if I just end it there. So screw it. We'll just we'll do like a starting room challenge with this. See how long we can survive for. So yeah, the effect stacking is on, so it means it's going to continuously do it. When a player... When a player? Fucking, can I speak words? When a player reloads, a zombie spawns. Like, can you really get much more broken than that? So every time I reload, there's just going to be an extra zombie. So for now, I'm just going to melee because otherwise we're screwed. Although saying that, you know, there's a reload. There's one more zombie. I guess it means more points, you know, it's not the end of the world. How many zombies does that mean it's going to give us on round two? Oh, we're going to max ammo. Oh, reloading so that we can spawn more zombies. Good idea, game. Oh, fuck off, monkey. Wait, I just realized if we have ammo, this round is basically never going to end. <laughs> because because now we have more ammo. Look, we're just reloading after every time we shoot six times or five times. So, like, we just reloaded about five times. So how many more zombies have we got? Probably five. It's really good for point manipulation, though. This is, like, one of the more interesting ones that we've never had before. Hey, look, there's another zombie. Oh, we got an insta-kill. Okay. Well, I think that's it for the goddamn reloading bullshit. That's absolutely insane. Okay, so where's the last zombie? We should have just one left. Yeah, here we go. All right, round two. 32 kills. When a zombie dies, a random player drops a grenade. Are you serious? You're gonna make me, like, juggle around, bro. Give me the RK5. <laughs> what is going on, man? I wish my RK5 had camos. I feel like weapon kits, like, it doesn't let me put camos or anything on if I'm playing on standard BO3 now. If I'm using a mod. Which is a little bit of a shame, but, uh... I just realized there's no way in hell... Oh, yeah, there's the grenade. There's no way in hell we're going to be able to do this, because... What? If I get a headshot, I lose my quick revive. Ow! Oh, fucking hell. Oh, no, I blew up the monkey! Oh, sad. If I reload, it spawns more goddamn zombies. It's every kill! What the fuck, bro? Maybe the grenades will help me, honestly. Maybe that's what's going to get us past this round. Okay, a death machine. Finally. Don't have to reload. Just, oh my god, just trying not to go down because of these fucking grenades. When a grenade is thrown, player speed is randomized. Oh, really? Oh, now I'm super slow. How about now? I want to get, like, super fast, bro. Come on. Come on! I don't have any more grenades! That's tragic. We have to wait until, like, next round. This could be basically giving us free stamina, more or less. Which I'm not necessarily opposed to. Wait, how am I supposed to run away from the grenades now? Okay, we've got two more. Please. Just make me fast. 
Make me fast as fuck. Nope. <laughs> I swear it kept the same speed. Like, it hates me sometimes. Oh, and we lost that quick revive. I didn't even realize. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Every grenade that drops... Every grenade that dropped was changing the speed. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we're playing Moon, but every single round, something's gonna change. First one is when a zombie dies to a grenade, orientation is slightly changed. Okay, so basically when we kill a zombie with a grenade, it will just like shift the way we're looking off to the side for a second, so it's no biggie. Now, Jug is actually in the spawn. If we could somehow manage to get Jug immediately, that would be nice. Gonna be risky though. Oh my god, it just turned me around! What was that? Oh shit! Oh Jesus. I think we can almost get it. Jesus, we're so close. Ah, fuck, don't get stuck here. Okay, we're fine. Well, we can actually afford Jug immediately off the bat. Wow, very good. Good start to Moon if we could just not go down. Now we have to actually escape though. Oh shit! Take me now! It's fine, absolutely nothing happened there. We've got Jug in the spawn again. When a player reloads, a random player drops a grenade. Oh boy. I mean, that's actually kind of going to be a little bit useful then for when we uh, go towards Jug, I suppose. Oh, hello. Slowly getting more and more points. Come on, we're so close, actually. Oh, a dog. I see you. Hello. We need literally eight points. There we go. Boom. Give me Jug. And just get the fuck out. Oh god, hello. Oh, we did it. Wow. See, nothing happened at all. Oh, God, a grenade. Ugh. Don't. <laughs> that's, that's not good. When a zombie spawns, gain 100 points. Okay, again. So, yeah, every single round we get one of the cause and effect thingies. I've turned effect stacking off. There is no effect stacking, no illegal combos. It's just going to be standard gameplay. So, yeah, let's just see how it goes, I suppose. Oh, and we got a nuke. Well, I mean, we got a bunch of points from them spawning in anyway, so I guess it's not the worst, is it, sir? When a player gets a headshot, active gun loses a bullet. Loses a bullet. Ah, interesting spelling there. Let's get our quick revive. Go for some knives. Oh yeah, I think I heard the uh, the bloody space astronaut dude spawning. Yep, there he is. Garcia, how's it going, bro? Yeah, it's nice. Starting off moon with Jug is just huge. Oh, and we get a double points at the end of the round. The FPS Tycho Classic, of course. It happens in every fucking map. When a player loses 300 plus points, perks will randomize their locations. Okay, so when I buy this door, you're telling me that this quick revive is going to move somewhere else. <laughs> oh, hello, Widow's Wine. How's it going? Widows in the spawn. Not bad. Does this affect the uh, the perks in the Area 51 area, though? That would be interesting. Because obviously, like, it's usually Speed Cola or Jug, right? Oh, and I'm out of ammo. Oh, shit. Guess we'll just go down here. Please don't be a zombie here. Okay, good. Get the RK5. Good old reliable, of course. Oh, yeah, I don't have the sight on for this, uh, this particular one. Interesting. Go away, astronaut. Max ammo, of course. Right after I buy a gun. Oh, hello, mule kick. What's up, dude? <laughs> just so funny just seeing them randomly change like that. Ah, here we go. The last few. What's up, dudes? And you must be the very last one. Knife boom done. When a zombie dies, all zombies gain 10% of their max health. A little terrifying, but it's fine. Uh, let's just go and open some more doors, I guess. Oh, hello. Zombie spawning in the fucking roof. That was like the worst part of that Shangri-La challenge because, dear God, Shangri-La with the zombies spawning in the roof, like we just drop down on your head and completely destroy you. Not the best, but it's fine. We'll just use this death machine until it runs out and then we will use that insta-kill. Moon is creepy, man. The fact that there's no game audio just makes it extremely spooky because game audio is really everything in zombies. If you just get snuck up on, one zombie can be the difference between you fucking completely dying and getting like around 100. Oh, and of course, another double points right at the end, probably. Where the hell are the zombies at, dude? Oh, hello. You're the last one, aren't you? 100%. Yep, knew it. <laughs> oh, when a player reloads, gain 100 points. Okay. Don't mind if I do, bro. Uh, box is not here, but we can turn on the power, which is good. And we've got a nuke. Not bad, I suppose. Now, people have actually asked, am I going to plan on doing Easter eggs with cause and effect? And I absolutely am. It's just I, the first time around playing these maps with these mods, I want to sort of do it a more standard gameplay, I guess. And then Easter eggs will do for a separate video. You know, it just means more content, you know, at the end of the day. Oh, hello. Quick revive just randomly being here. When a power up spawns, a zombie spawns. That's not too bad. We can only get six power-ups per round anyway, so... Oh, hello, Jug, just randomly... It does! It affects the fucking Area 51 uh, perks. That's so cool, dude. Oh, we got the bloody Nova Crawlers. Go away. 
These ones teleport as well. It's just the worst. But here is the box. Double, <gasps> double tap is right here. Oh my god, that's massive, dude. Fucking go away with your teleporting bastardness. Um, we're gonna have to actually buy the KN44 here because we don't have a gun. I would just get that box, but kind of got stuck on that side for a second. What did we get? We got a Famous. Not bad. Or the FFAR, sorry. So yeah, these are the permanent perk locations now, I guess. Which is not bad at all. Unless we get that uh, cause and effect one again. Like that particular one. I moved all of them. Yo, that's very neat. When a zombie spawns, a random zombie teleports near a player. Oh, good God. Well, that's kind of terrifying then, isn't it? It's what? So every time a zombie spawns, I'm just going to get one right next to me. Oh, God. Yes, I saw that. What the fuck? What's going on, dude? No. I can't even shoot them. They just teleport away. I remember when this happened on Kino, but it was like completely game breaking. Holy shit, dude. Getting jump scared by random teleporting zombies. Oh, death machine. That's huge, actually. We can actually kill them quicker. Oh, a max ammo. Don't mind if I bloody well do. I'm not going to bother with excavators unless it's like, you know, all three of them. It's no biggie, dude. What, what's the worst that could happen? That's the main annoyance with Moon. I mean, I think personally Zombies Chronicles really fixed Moon because of like gobble gums and stuff, ways to alleviate RNG from the Easter egg and everything. Definitely fixed it. Oh my God, we got the zap guns. Dude, it just couldn't get any better, could it? Easy peasy. I wasn't expecting to get them that fucking fast. When a player slides, wall buys are randomized. All right, KN's gone now. What is it? Still the KN? I've been lied to. That's so cool though. I, I fucking love the zap guns. They're awesome. What is it again? Oh, it's four to turn it into the uh, the wave gun, which is literally just statistically the, the thunder gun. But it's so much cooler because like, look at this shit. They fucking, they get all like red eyes. They inflate like a microwave and then they explode. Like, <laughs> it's fucking gross. Don't get me wrong, but it's cool as hell. Let's get rid of this fucking, uh, this guy. Go away, dude. I infinitely prefer the astronaut to like the napalms and the shit from Shangri-La, so. But then again, I was playing that map without Jug for that challenge, so. When a player takes damage, random zombie triggers an AAT. So if you don't know what AAT is, basically it is just like dead wire blast furnace. A double packet punch, basically. Looks like the biodome is going to be excavated. I don't actually care about the biodome at all because we're not going to be training there. This is my favorite place to train, typically. It's just if we get both the tunnels, then I'll be a little bit annoyed. And then we'll actually go and get the hacker and deal with that shit. FFAR is very solid though. One of the best guns to be added to BO3 for sure. I'm going to spin though. Just, you know, why not? Let's see if we can get something uh, equally as cool. An M16. Not really. M16 in BO3 was done dirty. Like it was really bad. Also, yeah, I just saw that dead wire. When a player takes damage. So what? They slap me? <laughs> get dead wired, bro. Another one. Slap. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he just killed himself. Damn. Unlucky, bro. Zap. Oh, and you? Nope, not gonna work. Oh, because there's a, a little bit of a cooldown. <laughs> you just outplayed yourself, buddy. When a player slides, get a gun gets a random camo. Does it work for this? <gasps> it works for the FFAR. Wait, what the fuck? That's so cool. Oh, that's neat, dude. Look, we got the fucking the COD World Championship gun. What if we can get a really cool one? Oh, yeah, there we go. The Shadows of Evil Packet Punch camo. That's neat. See, ones like that I really like. They're cool. I've just got this, like, purple camo. Okay. Purple chromatic camo. i got to be careful I don't go down, though. Just constantly fucking sliding. Wait, does it work on the zap guns? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Oh, we connection interrupted. No, it fucking broke the game, dude. Are you serious? Okay, so don't slide with the zap guns, apparently. My bad, dude. And then this game just fucking crashes. Dude. Okay, bro. Okay. Oh, what's that? You thought the video was over? Hell no, dude. We're back on cause and effect. We've turned on illegal combos, though. When a power-up spawns, give a random gobble gum. I mean, I, that's not bad, but when we actually leave this room, we're going to end up losing uh, whatever it is we have, which isn't ideal. Oh, God, we got a dog spawning. What's up, dude? Oh, and here come the fucking zombos. Me trying to get Jug again. Going to end up fucking going down, probably. Oh, we have enough for it. Let's go. Let's just bring all the zombies away. Maybe we can actually, like... Still get on the pad if they're all just gone. Yeah, here we go. Boom, easy peasy. Not a problem. Throw some grenades. Not going to make much of a difference, I don't think. When a player slides, ability to slide will toggle. Okay, so if you don't know what illegal combos are, it's stuff like this where it will just contradict itself. So yeah, I slide and look, now I can't slide again for some reason. 
And then it, it has like a cooldown. Never mind. I literally just can't slide again. You have to slide to toggle it. So, yep. <laughs> oh boy. Thankfully, they don't stack. So we'll be able to slide next round, of course. When a player gets a headshot, lose 100 points. Yeah, see, now we can slide. So we don't want to get any headshots this round because otherwise, you know, point deficit. So just aim for the body and then just knife, I guess. Oh, here we go. Fucking astronauts here. What's up, bro? Get out of here, dude. God, the pistol is not doing work right now. Any year now. Jesus, there we go. When a zombie spawns, all zombies gain 10% of their max health. Oh my god, this round's going to be difficult then. Let's just go and buy the RK5 right now then. Because yeah, they'll be super strong by the end of this round. Look, one zombie spawning. Guy's probably... Yep, not even a one-hit knife with uh, a full burst of RK5. Oh my god, I still didn't even kill him. What the fuck? Jesus. Well, we can go for headshots now, at least. Yeah, these are like round 20 zombies at the moment. Jesus Christ. At least we can spam into them a bit with the uh, the 1911 and not risk killing them by accident, you know? Like, look, this isn't even going to knife it. Nope. <laughs> Jesus. At least Death Machine does infinite damage, I suppose. Next one. When a player takes damage, a random player is slightly moved. Okay, so what? You're just going to nudge me a little bit? Sure, dude. Go for it. I feel like no one ever camps on this side of the, uh, the spawn. I wonder if it's even decent to camp here. Because obviously everyone does over there because of the um, Simon Says thingy. But what about here? Can they slap you on the other side of this wall is the question. Oh, fucking astronaut just spawned in. I'm just looking forward to the uh, double points I'm inevitably going to get at the end of this round. Oh, here we go. Zombie on this side. So what happens? Are you going to slap me here? No, see, you have to go all the way around. So actually camping here with like... In theory, if we had a mod on that had, like, an Apothecan Servant, you know, we could just sit here, boom, high rounds, easy peasy. Although, the fact that they run in the, uh, anti-grav means they go very slowly, of course. Different things to factor in, of course, like, for high rounds and shit. The time it takes being a main one. Insta-kill, okay. Well, I can't kill you anymore, we need fucking ammo. When a perk is purchased, all zombies gain 10% of their max health again? Okay. I've turned off repeat combos so we can only get original stuff, which is nice. Let's just go deal with this fucking astronaut real quick. Get the fuck out of here. I think at the end of this round, we'll start heading over to uh, wherever we're going. Good God, my aim. What was that, dude? <laughs> just shot like five times and missed all of them. And now I'm out of ammo again already. Jesus, dude. I mean, we're going to open some doors anyway. Maybe I'll just open some more, see what we get. I think there's a CUDA in this room, so we could pick that up. I'm just curious where the box is going to be. Yeah, there's the CUDA. Uh, we'll open this to see what's around this corner. Any box? Nope. No box. Maybe it always spawns upstairs. Maybe I'm stupid. All right, this door, and then we'll buy whatever's in here, I guess. We've got double tap. Where is Veneer's gun? It's got to be one somewhere. Hello? Gun? Gun? Anywhere? Is there really not a gun in this entire room? Are you serious? And then this door's a thousand. I mean, that would just screw us over then. I have to actually go back on myself. Oh, God. Oh, and here come the fucking Nova crawlers. Jesus, that was close. Any wall by in here? Come on, there's gotta be something. There's an Argus. Fuck it, dude. I'll get the Argus then. Better than nothing. Give the Argus some love. You know, it's not a bad gun. It's a decent shotgun. It's just the fact that the Brecci and the Haymaker can be, like, shot faster. Therefore, it's better on the maps that you use it, like, you know, for the Panzer. All right, there we go. Oh, and a nuke. Not bad. We're 60 points away from getting double tap. There's like no fucking barriers on this map. Oh, here we go. There's one. What's this? When a zombie dies to a grenade, five zombies spawn. I mean, that's kind of neat because you could manipulate it to um get more points, I guess. At the same time, though, I'm I'm doing okay with an Argus. I think I'll I'll not spawn anymore. Oh, a double points. Actually decent. Means we should be able to afford double tap and the next two rooms. All right, here we go. Double tap acquired. Oh, fuck off, Nova Crawler bastard. Oh, fucking exploding. Oh, and the box isn't here for once. It's in the biodome. Okay, so it's not here every game then. At least we know that. When a power up spawns, ability to aim down sights will toggle. Okay, I mean, you know, not the worst. Gotta love the moon skybox. The earth just looks so fucking cool. Then you got, I'm assuming that's the sun over there. Bloody hell, it's bright though. Now, I don't want to buy the cane again because, you know, we bought it last fucking game before it crashed. I want a little bit of variety in the guns, I suppose. I'm actually running out of ammo right now. Okay. Oh, hello. Get out of the way. Well, off we go. Almost landed on that fucking pad. Okay, box time. Hopefully we can get something decent. Dude, the camos look so sick in the biodome, actually. What are we going to get? Reagan Mach 2! What the fuck? What's the box luck been on Moon today? Got the Zap Gun, like, third hit. The Reagan Mark II, first hit. What else are we going to get? Like, are we just going to get the, uh, the Zap Guns next? I mean, like, what, bro? Oh, no, the Pharaoh, of course. All right, well, let's head back outside, I suppose. 
Oh, hello, astronaut. You want to get fucking one-tapped, bro? One burst. Boom, gone. Nice and easy. Oh, hello, Nova Crawlers. Again, fuck off. When a zombie dies, wall buys are randomized. Not bad, not bad. They're going to be good for points, at least. I mean, everyone shits on the Pharaoh, but still, it's like, with all the attachments and stuff, it's not that bad as a gun. Better than a lot of, like, BO2, BO1 guns. If it didn't have attachments, then sure. Oh, there we go. Round over. When a zombie spawns, orientation slightly changed. Oh boy, that's going to be interesting. So every time a zombie spawns, it's going to make me look slightly like to the left or the right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just, I'm standing still right now. I'm not even moving. Jesus, that's going to be a bit annoying. So trying to shoot might be a bit of a challenge. Like, look, oh, I'm aiming at a zombie. Oh, no, it's just shifting me off to the fucking side. What is going on, bro? Ah, it's like I've got reverse aimbot. Come on, Raygun Mark II, save me. Oh, ah, I can't fucking sh Dude, this is such a troll one. I kind of like it. All right, I think they've stopped spawning now. But, I mean, when I kill a few more, maybe it will spawn even more. Oh, no, it must be down to the last few. A double points, nice. There we go. When a player earns 100 plus points. Oh, here we go with the max health, dude. I know, you want to make the zombie strong, I get it. The fact there's 600 combos, though, it's just so ridiculous. There's so many possibilities. I've, like, in all of these cause and effect videos, we haven't even scratched the surface. Like, there's so many more that I've just never had before. I think some are more common than others because I have noticed that, like, I don't know, the max health ones or the perk ones, maybe it's just a coincidence, but they do tend to pop up more. And then there's illegal combos as well as the regular ones. Like, these are illegal combos. Imagine if it was just the regular ones on top of this. Like, fucking hell. Also, I've got to say, the lighting on Moon, it can be a bit weird sometimes. Like, it, my gun looks so bright. But when I go over here and, like, turn around, the gun actually looks more red here, you know? But it, but if you stand still, the shadow casts over the gun. It's weird. When a power-up spawns, spawn a random power-up. So this one's actually quite cool because it basically just means you duplicate your power-ups. Which, you know, I'm not going to complain about. So it means if we get a double points, we could get another double points. Or we could get, like, uh, a nuke. I guess we'll just wait and see. What's up, fucking dude? Bye-bye. <laughs> just waiting for a power-up to spawn. Tunnel 11's going to get fucked, but oh well, who cares? Tunnel 11's just meh. Isn't that the one when you need the Easter egg? I always kind of get confused and mix them all up, but... I think it might be. And he drops, dude. There we go. See, it gave us a death machine and a fire cell. We don't even have fire cells in the rotation yet because we haven't got a monkey bomb or, or a teddy bear. So, you know, words. I should have kept my death machine because ah, it's fine. We've got enough firepower. Oh, yeah, there we go. Max ammo and an insta kill. Not bad. And we got the FFAR back. Hell yeah. Well, let's reload before we actually go for this uh, max. Boom, spray them all down. Oh, we got Gersh devices. When a player earns 100 plus points, a random perk is gained. Okay, you know, again, don't mind if I do. We've got a Locus, I'll pass. Oh, hello. Oh, we get to see it crashing down. No, it's not Tunnel 11. It must be Tunnel 7, 6 or something. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there's a nuke. And we got 100 points there, so we got a free perk. Oh, and there's Widow's Wine. <laughs> So we throw down a Gersh device and just like watch as we, we get free perks. Oh, it's not getting more than enough points. That's the thing. Ah, I see. So we have to get just headshots. Yep, there's Deadshot. There's Speed Cola. There's Mule Kick. And is that all the perks? Wait, really? That's all the perks on the map? I could have sworn there was more. I guess there's no Electric Cherry on the BO1 maps. When a perk is purchased, a zombie spawns. I mean, a bit redundant now. You're just giving me them all. Also, I gotta say, Gersh devices have gotta be my favorite, like, equipment in all of COD Zombies. They're just so cool. And the, the fact that it makes the screen so, like, saturated and purple is just, ah. I mean, it's a literal black hole in your pocket. Can't really beat that, you know? And we got my beautiful FFAR back. You know, we lost the zap guns, but it is what it is. We can try and get it back, honestly. Fuck it, dude. We might as well. We have got Widow's Wine, so we've got to be a bit careful with um the fucking... The rooms, because if you get slapped with Widows, you just completely decompress the room, which sucks. But it's fine. Let's go for a couple spins then. We've got Mule Kick anyway, so whatever we get now, we get to have as a third. And we got the Vesper. Not bad. Not one of my favorite guns. It's not bad at all. It's just that it goes through ammo so fucking quick. Like, look. Oh, never mind. We got a max. Uh, ignore what I'm saying. It spawns max ammos for you. It's godly. Oh my god, and we got the zap guns back, dude. There's no fucking way. I, they're on my mule kick slot. But what the fuck is his box luck, dude? Hell yeah. Exactly what I was hoping for. Honestly, I do strongly think that Moon is my favorite Zombies Chronicles map. Origins is just a bit like, I don't know, the BO2 version is better because you have more, like, fun glitches to do. Like, you know, the fire staff step where you have to put all the staffs in the, um, the fucking robot and it just takes ages to do. 
And in BO3, they patched that, so you have to actually do that step, which, like, you know, I get it, but you used to be able to cheat your way to um, place the fire staff in four times, and it would just do it for you. All right, let's throw a Gersh down. Fuck it, why not? It's cool as hell. Zap you, didn't even get into the portal. Unlucky, bro. And we've got our beautiful microwave gun. Hell yes. I'm looking forward to whatever the next Ultimate Zombies tournament, like, challenge is going to be. I'll have found out by the time this video goes up, I think, because they let us know on Sundays. But yeah, it's week three, and it's also going to be the comeback round, which is interesting. They're, like, both happening at the same time, which I don't necessarily mind, but, you know. The reason they did it is because they had time constraints, like, people are going back to uni by the time uh, Tuzd is going to finish. Otherwise, they would have added an extra week and had, like, a downtime week for the contestants, because, you know, they're going to end up skipping this week's challenge completely. Completely. So it is a little bit interesting, but it's fine. I'm looking forward to it, whatever it's going to be. The comeback round is going to be on the Rooked, so I'm not sure what the uh, week three challenge is going to be, because I got seventh in the last one. Oh, here we go. Headshot orientation slightly changes. Brilliant. I would be very surprised if one of them was not on Origins, you know? It's kind of just the go-to map. I'm also fully expecting there to be like a, a gauntlet or roulette map challenge where you have to go to different, like, maps. All right, Reagan Mark two to the face. Bye-bye. When a player earns 100 plus points, ability to jump will toggle. That's an interesting one. I mean, do we really need jumping that much? I just realized we could totally go and pack a punch. Oh, hello, insta-kill, just randomly sitting over here. Well, I'm earning over 100 with double points, and I'm still able to jump, so... Maybe if we go for a headshot? Yeah, I'm still, I am still. can still jump. All right, let's finish off this round with the zap gun. Or should I say the wave gun? I keep calling it the zap gun, but that's just the variation that's like the two split pistols. Pew! Oh, didn't end the round. There's a couple more. Okay, zappy zappy time. Zap, 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 zap. I can't believe Futurama came back, by the way. I'm so glad. I'm going to watch that new episode. There's going to be a couple by now, actually. Really looking forward to watching the season again. When a power-up spawns, give a random gobble gum. What's it going to give me then, huh? You're going to give me some fucking... Imagine it gives me a Pergaholic and it's just totally useless. Okay, Gershi time. I'm going to hold it for a second just so we can actually... uh. Wait for the zombies to spawn a bit more, and now throw it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you run into it, you can actually get teleported around the map, but it would be a bit risky right now. Especially if it teleports me face first into the excavator. I don't know if that can actually happen, but that'd be quite scary. Oh, we got self-med. What the fuck? I mean, it wasn't perkaholic, but it's pretty damn close. <laughs> That's so good. And we got a max. So, like, you know, win-win, really. Fuck it, dude. Gersh time. Wee. You so fucking cool. Yeah, like, I don't know how people can dislike Moon other than on Black Ops 1 with the Easter egg, like just the RNG that's needed. Because Moon is one of my favorite maps because of BO3 Chronicles, as I'm missing all my ray gun shots. You didn't see that, it's fine. When a player loses a thousand plus points, gain 10% of your total points. Okay, so like, what you're saying is, I mean, it's, I, there's no way for me to showcase it, but, oh, never mind, here we go. If we buy the KN, oh, it's the Kuda, whatever. Um, so... We gained 1,550 points. Ah, interesting. Probably because we have so many points right now. But if you had less, of course, that's going to be not as efficient. It's like reverse inflation, dude. Which, by the way, there's a mod called Inflation. I'm going to give that a try. Probably after I've recorded this. It sounds intriguing. My entire PC did fucking freeze when I installed it the first time. But, you know, we'll give it a try. I don't know why it froze. It just, like, I clicked on the subscribe on the workshop thing and it just, like, completely bricked. <laughs> I've, I've never really had that happen before. So hopefully it's nothing serious. But I had just turned my PC on and, like, I was opening a bunch of shit all at once, uh, including OBS. So maybe the memory just crashed. Probably more likely, you know. Opening too many things as administrator. When a player loses 300 plus points, ability to slide will toggle. Wait, self-medication doesn't even... It doesn't go down with rounds, it's just if you go down. That's OP as fuck. What the fuck, dude? Okay. Oh, and another random drop here. Hello, insta-kill again. <laughs> Why does it just keep spawning over there? I guess we'll get more Kuda ammo since we have insta. A max, don't mind if I do. Oh, and a, and a death machine. Just give me everything, bro. Since I'm including the round 10 attempt, what we're going to do is we're going to probably end this as soon as we beat round 20. Because otherwise we're going to be here for fucking ages. I mean, we've got all perks. We have a self-med. There's no way we're going down, dude. Let's at least go and pack a punch, I suppose. That's, that seems fair. Let's end this round first, though. There we go. There was one zombie when a player slides a zombie spawns oh boy well that's uh interesting yeah off we go dude we can throw down a gersh device of course just uh just for safety reasons pack a punch for zap guns pack a punch to reagan mark ii oh god hello zombies 
Fucking throw another one down quick. <laughs> Give me the ray gun. Oh, shit. What happens if we jump in it here? Oh, it teleports us across the Area 51. Interesting. Hello, Speed Cola. How's it going? We could actually take the helmet off so I can hear the zombies. Wow, what a concept. Ow, fucking widow's bitch. Ow, stop it. It's a good way to get a shitload of points. We also got Rick Poppin, my favorite. Well, that's a good way to go through Kudra ammo really quick. Holy shit. And now we're onto the Regan. Yeah, we'll just go until we run completely out of ammo, I think. That's a good way to do it. For another Gersh, why not? Do our little last stand kind of thing. Hello, dog. How's it going? It's so cool they added the Reagan Mark II to all the Chronicles maps. I can really appreciate that. Because other than that, like, you know, it was in BO2 Origins. It was in BO2 Buried. I guess, yes, it was in all the other maps as well once Buried released. But, you know, in terms of, like, when the maps came out. Very, very cool, dude. I really hope that the next Treyarch Zombies game can at least be, like, a glimmer of similarity to BO3. I wanted to have modding capabilities because, you know, it's been almost a decade since BO3 came out, which is just crazy to think about, but it would be so cool. I just wanted to have the fun aspects. Like, I wanted to bring Gobblegums back in a sense, or even supply drops. I mean, like, I know people weren't a fan of it, but it's much better than what we have now, let's be honest. I want the game to just be completely free, which is never going to happen, but... I want it to be free and just get constant updates. That would be the ideal way to go about Like, kind of like Call of Duty Online, which is, in my opinion, the best COD to ever release. Overall, like in terms of all game modes. Just by far, it was just the best. All right, here we go. Last couple. We've only got our zap guns now. If we use the wave gun, it's going to take fucking ages. I forgot, when you kill dogs with the zap gun, they don't actually explode. I always wondered if there was some kind of lore implication to that, because it, like, I don't know, you know, how the dogs got experimented on. Like, look, I'll show you. Let me, uh, shoot it. Fucking, come on, dog. Oh, no, it exploded, damn it. <laughs> Fucking widow's wine. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, it's so loud, though. And just switch to the wave gun. Pew. Oh, it doesn't use the same ammo. For some reason, I thought it used the exact same ammo. Pew, 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 pew. Zap, zap. Oh my god, what happened to that zombie? He just like froze for a second, you see that? All right, microwave time. Pew. Oh, it's so disgusting. They, look how big they get, dude. Ugh, ugh, it's so gross. Still cool as fuck. You don't get any drops here, so. Oh yeah, when a player slides, a zombie spawns. So just spawn in a few more. How's it going, dude? Not like it matters because they infinitely spawn here anyway. <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on, zap the fucking dog. There we go. See, it doesn't explode. You spam the fuck. Ah, oh my god, dude. My ears. Well, now we only have the wave gun. The max wave gun. I don't know why it's called the max. Like, is that supposed to be a reference to maxes or or what? Or is it just because it's maxed out? Because the zap guns are called the porters times two zap guns. So, absolutely plowing through these, uh, I was going to say rounds, but you know, <laughs> rounds don't progress when you're in here. I just love the ding sound when they explode as well. It's just like, oh, the microwave's ready. It's <laughs> so goofy. Gordon Ramsay would not be a fan of this gun, though. All right, we're down to our last two shots. That's one. We'll build up a full horde for this last one. All right, here we go. This is all of them. And kaboom. And now we're out of ammo. <laughs> and now we are screwed. So I guess we'll just end because... Gotta keep the flawless downs, of course. 964 kills. You know what? Take it to the grave. Right, so we're playing Town Remastered on Black Ops 3, but every single round, something is going to change. We're using the Cause and Effect mod, and as you can see, when a power-up spawns, active weapon gets random attachments. Okay, so um, I assume we're not going to get a drop on round one, but we'll see. Also, can we just appreciate how goddamn gorgeous this map looks? Oh my god, I've not played Town on BO3 in a long time, and it genuinely looks fucking sick, actually. Oh god, these fucking exploding zombies. I don't miss you, though. We put a zombie counter on. I also removed the perk limit because I thought, you know, it would be kind of neat. When a gumball is eaten, the mystery box moves. Okay, well, I don't think there's a gobble gum machine anywhere, which is probably good. Ow, I'm burning my feet. M14 on the wall. Let's go. So this is a really, really cool mod. You guys really enjoyed the last one, so I thought we'd give it another try. Ow, with the fucking fire zombies, dude. Oh god, the explosions, bro. I'm gonna fucking die. Where is the box? It's in there. Oh. Ow. Burning alive. All right, let's go and hit the box once. We've got galva knuckles we can actually work towards as well. All right, gimme, gimme. Oh, wait, we don't even get points for... Okay, we can't even lie down by that. We've got the Type 25. I'll take it. 
This looks like a very faithful BO2 remaster of tra of town anyway. It's not town reimagined, it's just town remastered. Well, since there's no gobble gum, let's uh, just go on to the next round. Right, round done. When a gumball is eaten, give a random gun. Wait, again with the gumballs, dude, but there's no fucking gobble gum machine. I'm being trolled by the fucking mod, bro. Ooh, double taps looking nice and shiny over here. Oh, is that a Wonder Fizz machine up there? I just saw some lightning. Oh yeah, it is, but wait, oh, it's in there, okay, nice, 2,500 points, bro. That's quite expensive, to say the least. We've got a double points, that's gonna help. Actually, hopefully get towards Jug. Alright, when a player reloads, wall buys are randomized. Oh my god, I've got to reload right now. What's it gonna turn, what's the M14 turned into? Uh, oh, the prices are randomized. What the fuck? So the M14 is 980 points. What about if I reload again? How much is it now? 500. Oh, oh my God. I almost died. Jesus Christ. I was too busy fucking looking at the prices. Oh, 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 that scared the shit out of me. And I reloaded again. Oh, it's 530 now. It's so weird. That's so strange. I guess if there's like a really OP wall buy, it will just be like super cheap. You keep on reload spamming. Also, we just leveled up. Nice. Thank you, boy client. Type 25 is putting in some work. Where's this last zombie? Oh, we fucking I can barely see them from over here. There we go. When a player gets a headshot, wall buys are randomized. Okay, this is the one I thought the last one was. But our wall buys are going to completely change. In Jug, at least. So yeah, this is an MP5 for 980 points. So what's it going to fucking turn into? If we can actually get any zombie spawns. Oh, we don't have the little uh, yellow circle here because there's no visual glitch in this window. If you guys played BO2 Town, you'll know what I mean. All right, here we go. Well, that, that was a headshot, I think. Oh, Jesus, hi. What's the MP5 now? Wait, it's still the MP5? Is my aim just bad? Oh, yeah, it's still the MP5. What the fuck? Maybe it doesn't work on certain custom wall buys. Maybe that's it. Oh, no, this is the M14 now. What the... F I guess my aim did just suck. Oops. What is it now? The MP5 again. Okay. I guess it, like, just alternates between back and forth. Yeah, now it's the Olympia. Maybe it's all the existing wall buys, and there's not exactly that many, so... When a player gets a headshot, additive weapon gets random attachments. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm wondering if that's even going to work on the BO2 guns, though. Oh, hello. Getting stuck in the floor. Nice. Give me the box. Oh, I see the Mark II in there. We've got an RPD. Not bad, not bad. Honestly, on ones like this, I kind of just want to uh, spam through the round because, yeah, it doesn't look like it's changing the attachments at all. On a regular BO3 weapon, it would probably work. But this map is, you know, all custom weapons. When a player slides, player takes one damage. Wait, what the fuck? Really? I'm taking... I'm, I take one damage when I slide. What's the point? What is the point in that? Like, there's literally over 500 possible combinations that you can have for this mod. And we're just getting absolutely trolled right now with, like, very minuscule, weird things. So I guess if we slide and we're red screen, maybe we just die. Maybe that's the gimmick. Oh, the death machine. Hello. It's in the floor, kind of. I don't actually know what perks are on this map, but, you know, we do have no perk limit and a wonder fizz machine over here. Maybe we say fuck it and give it a spin. What are we gonna get? Come on, give me... Headshot daiquiri. Oh boy, I'm so glad that I spun that. Right, when a player swaps weapons, wall buys are randomized. Oh my god, so the wall buys are just getting fucking rolled right now. Yeah, we've got an M14, swap. Now it's an MP5, swap. Now it's an Olympia. Yeah, those are the only three wall buys on this whole map, so. At least the Galvanuckles don't change. Honestly, wall buy prices, if we could have got like cheaper Galvanuckles, that would have been really nice. It seems like there's still 6,000. That's the beauty of this mod though, like you could just get really bad RNG and just get absolutely nothing good, or you could get something completely OP. I mean, I don't know many of the bad ones yet, so I'm kind of excited to see. But I am wanting a bit more variety, so come on, next round, give me something actually unique and different. All right, here we go. Come on. When player takes damage, give a random gun. Finally, something actually cool. Okay. So if we hold out our type 25, when we take damage, we get a gun. So like even burn damage. <laughs> the python. Oh, just run over here. Oh, and I have an executioner now. Run over here. Oh, and I've got a dragon off. What the fuck? I don't remember this in BO2. What are we going to get now? The Barrett? We're just going through all the snipers. Okay. Executioner again. Eh. You know, this gun was like cool, but at the same time, the reload's just ridiculous. The foul. Wait, this looks like a. Uh, is this the modern warp? Oh, it's the BO2 foul. But like the multiplayer one. Very interesting. Okay. Still very mediocre, though. The war machine. Wait, this looks like the Cold War one. Oh, it's gone. M8A7. Hello. The Scar H with the Scar is on this map? I actually kind of want to keep this. Let's uh, switch to the RPD. I'm assuming explosion damage is going to count too. Oh, 
No, we didn't. Okay. Ow, ow, slap me. Fucking M887. Imagine if we could get, like, the ray gun from this. That'd be kind of sick. A 5-7. Oh, of course. My iconic favorite gun. On this map, anyway. Type again. The ray gun! <laughs> what the fuck? That's so cool. So I just- I got the ray gun for totally free. Wait, no! That's so tragic! Oh my god! Oh, I got the M tart. No, I'm just- I'm actually gonna have an addiction now, and I have to keep fucking damaging myself till I get it back. That's so annoying! The AK-47? Honestly, I want to keep that over the fucking scar. Come on, slap me. The Galil. M8A7 again. Come on, any year now. We've got a hammer. You know, I love the hammer, but I'm sorry. I just I have an addiction. I need this ray gun back. Just constantly running over fire, dude. My poor fucking toes are going to be like toasty. 5-7 dual wield. Oh, I'd love to keep it, but... Sorry, man. I got priorities. If we had mule kick, it would be easier, but... We kind of got to spin RNG it, you know? Keep getting the fucking m 8 7 dude. Imagine if we've got a Mark II as well. I think there's a chance we probably can get it, but... I imagine it's very, very low. There we go, dude. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now just don't fucking damage me. All right, we're good. When a zombie dies, gain 10% of your total points? What the fuck? That's so overpowered. What? So you're telling me when I... When a zombie dies, when I kill a zombie, I'm going to gain 10% of my points, which is... I have 8,800 right now. So... I just got like a thousand points. Huh? And again. Oh my god, I'm rich. I'm so rich, dude. <laughs> There's no fucking way. There's no... What? I already have 26k. I mean, I know I can get the vice versa and it fucking give me, like, lose 10% of your total points, but what? Oh my god, do the nukes count as well? They don't count. No, I'm not getting points for those. That's kind of tragic. Well, we're rich as fuck now. I mean, let's pack a punch the ray gun, I suppose. Boom, gimme, gimme. The porter's ray gun. This camo looks kind of nice, actually. It's not too bad. All right, what's this one going to be? When a door is purchased, player's gun gets a random camo. Wait, does that count for the ray gun? It just turned red. Okay. Well, that's kind of tragic. Uh, can we open that door? Maybe. Does this, this is going to count? Boom. Oh, I, I fucking missed anyway. It doesn't look like it's opening it regardless. Okay, dude. Well, I now just lost my, my camo. My gun. Cool. My ray gun is now just very red again. I don't think we have any more doors, so... This is why I love this mod, though, dude. It, there's so much variety. It can get so crazy. Like, I was worried when we first started this on this map because it was, like, a little bit boring, some of them. And they were kind of repeating, but then we just got that fucking, the points one. Well, fuck it, dude. Let's go pack a punch our AK. All right, now I've got to actually grab it. Ooh, shit. Let me get it. There we go. Ah! Reznov's Revenge. It would have been cool to see what the, uh, the uh, AK would have looked like with the camo. When a player slides, a random perk is... Lo I just lost my jug! No! Right as I slid. You're, you're taking the piss. Bro, well, fuck me, I guess. All right, let's just, uh, fuck it, we'll, we'll just spin this. We'll spin this, come on. Give me something decent. I've got electric cherry. That's not what I would call decent, necessarily. I just slipped. I hate my life, I hate my life, I hate my life, I hate my life. I just lost it. I just lost it. I have to just keep my hand off the slide key. Holy fuck. It's just, it's a, it's a natural, like, instinct to just slide whenever you play. <laughs> I just fucking lost that. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm so I'm so stupid. Almost sliding to go and get that double points as well. Oh, I'm almost going down as well because I fucking don't have jug anymore, do I? This is by far like the worst one just because my muscle memory brain just got completely dicked. I've got a crawler somewhere? I fucking hear a crawler. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, where the fuck were you? Oh, I ran another one. Oh, hello. All right. When a player loses a thousand plus points, wall buys are randomized. I mean, I have to go buy jug, so... It looks like it's going to just randomize anyway. The nice thing is, though, some of them stack on top of each other. So, like, the wall by prices, if you change it, then they just stay like that forever until you get another one that changes it. Oh, PhD's on this map. Well, that's kind of neat. Let's just uh, keep on spinning for now. Come on, what are you going to give me? Electric Cherry! I remember I just lost it, didn't I? <laughs> LOL. I've noticed they kind of run faster, honestly, on this map. Maybe, maybe that's a coding thing. It just made them run super fast. All right, let's go to the next one. I want to have something different, bro. I don't care about wall buys, man. I'm not even going to buy any fucking things off the wall. All right, here we go. When a perk is purchased, a, zomb a random zombie triggers an AAT. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm about to purchase some more perks. So does that mean it's just going to, like, trigger something? Okay, I'm, I'm purchasing it. 
So anything going to happen? Maybe Wonder Fizz doesn't count. I've got stamina up though. Um, anything? Oh yeah, fireworks! <laughs> Wait, that's that's kind of funny. I'm going to go pick up Speed Cola really quickly because, ooh, yeah, I want to fucking reload faster. Oh my god, yeah, Blast Furnace just went off somewhere. What the fuck? Oh yeah, let's buy the Galvan, of course. We might as well. I don't even think it's a one hit anymore, but just why not? Yeah, it's not even a one hit. I, I've missed out, dude. Could have bought them on an earlier round when I got all those fucking points. We don't have Mule Kick yet. Uh, let's get Quick Revive, actually. Trigger some more AATs. Yep, there's another Blast Furnace randomly across the map. So what perks do we need? We need Widow's Wine. And I think, what else is there? Something else. When a door is purchased, give a random gobble gum. Oh, that would have been so nice, but there's no more doors, dude. Fucking F, dude. That's the benefit of doing it on bigger maps sometimes. Wait, PhD gives you fire immunity? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. And I forgot the slide just gives like a massive explosion. Oh my god. Yeah, and there's no splash damage, of course, when we fire this, which is really nice for the ray gun. Oh god, but it doesn't stop the fucking explosion damage. Even though I feel like it should, considering what PhD is meant to do. All right, when a player swaps weapons, five zombies spawn? Wait, no way. I kind of want to try it. I'm swapping weapons? Oh my god. Have I just cursed myself? What the fuck? This actually sounds terrifying, because I've already swapped weapons like twice. Oh shit. I just swapped weapons again, I just realized. Oh my god, we might actually break the game. If they keep on spawning when we have like the max number of zombies on the map at one time. Oh no. <laughs> I don't want a connection interrupted, dude. But I, I'm tempted to just keep doing it, man. Okay, it doesn't look like it's spawning anymore. How many zombies do we even have, bro? I don't know, this seems like a lot. Let's just, let's just shoot them. <laughs> We're gonna have so many. Oh yeah, zombie counter at the bottom. Yep, it just goes up by five each time. Oh my god. So we can just make round 16 extremely long. Let's uh, let's try not to swap any weapons then, because oh, I don't want to be here all day. So if we run out of ammo, we are actually screwed, because we have to just spawn another five. Oh my god, this fucking ray gun's putting in work at least. What happened to that zombie? All right, pew pew pew. It's nice actually using the ray gun for once. That would have been like the end of the round, but nope, we've got another 30 fucking zombies. I wonder if buying a perk is going to count as swapping weapons as well because you get rid of your gun temporarily. I'm not even going to risk it, bro. I'm getting low on ammo as well. Please, soon. Only 15 zombies left. Six. Okay, here we go. Right, where's the last one? Please, where are you? Here we go. Oh my god, the round finally ended. When a zombie dies, wall by prices are randomized. Ah, again, kind of just meh. Let's go buy the last few perks we need. I'm gonna use this fucking AK. Finally, we get to use the AK. Oh, what is on the wall? Kind of like comic books, interesting. Uh, what did we get? Widows. My whole game just lagged for a second. That was strange. Ow. Trying to buy perks in the middle of the round, I wouldn't say is necessarily ideal, but it's fine. What do we get? Mule kick? Oh god, I just want my mule kick, bro. Please! Any more perks we can get? Nope, that's all of them. Ten fucking perks. I'm stuck in this room! Get me out! Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. Give me the... Ooh, give me... Yes. Prices are gonna be randomizing constantly. No wonder it's fucking lagging. This is literally every zombie kill. Like, yeah, we're almost done with this round compared to last round. That was just so fucking long. Holy shit. And you're the last four. There we go. When a zombie dies to a grenade, give a random gobble gum. Okay, okay. I mean, Widow's Wine grenades are kind of shit, to be honest. But we can try and do it. Here we go. There's one zombie hit. Maybe we just, like, get a horde and throw all four of them in. I think that's the play, actually. I have to not get hit because it will trigger. Okay. All right, double back on the training spot here. Okay, this is, like, most of them. Right. Now we'll throw grenades. One, two, three. Any kills? I didn't kill a single zombie. Oh, there we go. Temporal gift. Active for one full round. Power-ups last longer. Okay. And that was the only... That was it. That was it, dude. So if they die to, like, the uh, the webs, it actually does count as a grenade kill, which is nice. But yeah, um, I think <laughs> that's about all she wrote because we don't have any more grenades. I wonder if claymores count. I mean, here we go. Let's have a look, shall we? Throw the claymores down. Oh, oh it, is, it does work. i got stock option. Ah, okay. That's quite neat. I like stock option as well because, you know... Obviously, you can just shoot, hip fire. You don't have to reload. So it's quite useful. Oh, yeah, and we have mule kick now. We can actually go and spin the box again. So we've been sitting on these fucking two guns for ages now. Right, what are we going to get? Mule kick gun. If we could get the Mark II, that'd be kind of sick. No, we got a foul again. I mean, eh, it 
ain't bad, but it ain't anything special. We could drag a dragon off. Oh, it's kind of cool. They have the BO1 weapons like mixed in here. Oh, we have a lot of crawlers, it seems. Dual five sevens. Oh, fuck it, dude. For old times sake, we'll use them. Give them a pack a punch. What are we going to get? What's the camo going to look like? Kind of meh, but it's fine. How are these goddamn crawlers, bro? It's like in the floor. Jesus Christ. When a zombie dies, the mystery box moves. Oh, well, rip in pieces. That shit's going to be gone any minute now. That's, um, oh my god, I just killed, wait, but I just spun the box. Please? Oh, an RPG. In before I've bugged it now. I think a, a zombie died to my claymore, but I just put down, so. Oh yeah, the 5-7 dual wheel isn't actually doing too much damage. Sag. Oh no, it's fine. You just gotta spam it quite fast. Yeah, here we go, the fucking, there's the box. So yeah, every kill it will spin the box and then give a teddy bear, like, every single time. So, needless to say, the box is going to be gone. Oh yeah, we have stock option. Wait, we can just... Yeah, this is kind of sick. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, that's really satisfying, actually. Oh, and we're out of ammo. <laughs> never mind. Uh, never mind. Only nine zombies left. We've got a fire sale. And the round's basically done as well. What are we going to get? When a player takes damage, player speed is randomized. You're joking, right? Player speed. Oh, use the mystery box a hundred times. Hey, let's go. 5-7 dual wield back again. I kind of wanted to swap it out because I have no ammo. And I got a cap 40. Are you trolling me? Okay, dude. I mean, it fires fast as shit, but when a player takes damage... Okay, so how fast am I going to run now? Okay, decent speed. What about now? Oh my god, I'm so slow. No. Oh, hey, there we go. Now we're running fast as shit. Wait, that's so cool. I mean, it could also be extremely detrimental because if you were... Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm fine. I'm slow as shit again. Please, slap me once. There we go. Yeah, you could just get really unlucky and turn into a fucking turtle. Oh my god, that one's so fast. Wait, what the fuck? I want to keep this one. I mean, I want to I wanna experiment and see how fast I actually am running. Oh my god! Yep, that's pretty fast. Oh god, I got a switch. Ray gun time. All right, there's one left. I can actually showcase it. Holy fuck. Look at... Cold War stamina would be like. Oh my god. Fucking new... Like, that's actually insane. I'm guessing it... it Fixes. Oh, I thought it stayed for a second. And we're back on the fucking gumball ones, dude. This mod is actually just awesome. This might be my new favorite mod. I want to try this on something like fucking Origins, dude, and to see how chaotic that shit would get. Because Origins is a massive map, so, like, some of them, even when it's just the wall by stuff, it will actually uh, affect it more, you know? Oh, I love just being a maniac with the Reagan and PhD. That's the main reason I missed PhD, honestly, and, like, BO3 and stuff. It made the Reagan just dog shit. Especially with AATs, you know, alternate ammo types. What is the point of using anything other than, like, a K-44 or an RK-5 with, like, a dead wire? Right, got seven zombies left, huh? Oh, quick revise plane. Let's go. You need a little oh, my fucking god. Every time. I can't go around a corner anymore in these games, bro. Oh, when a gumball is eaten, player's AAT is removed. Stop giving me the AAT ones, bro. I'm gonna pack a punch of the fucking cap 40, dude. I don't care, man. Give me the cap. The Karmic Atom Perforator 4000? What a fucking name, bro. Only thing I'm swapping it out for is if we get a Mark II. Or maybe a War Machine. Or just a fucking teddy bear, I suppose. You know, that works as well. Give me that Death Machine. Hello. Still a Death Trap because it slows you down. The Cap 40 just isn't- it isn't bad, but it just- it's gonna run out of ammo so fucking quick, but it's just not even worth keeping. That's the issue. If we had Cold War Mule Kick where I could, like, pick up ammo off the floor, sure, it would actually be kind of decent, but... Like, look at this, bro. Already, I'm, like, halfway through the ammo. Basically done. Oh, God, we've got a lot of zombies here. Ah, we're fine. Let's just go up here. Come on, box. What are you going to treat me to today, huh? Uh, another teddy bear? Wait, what the fuck? Did I actually glitch it? I think I glitched it because I fucking... I used it before and it hasn't... Oh, no. Am I going to be trolled for the rest of the game? There's one zombie left. I guarantee it's a fucking crawler, isn't it? Yep, here he is. There's always one, bro. When a player lose has, loses 300 plus points... Speed is randomized. Okay. Well, purchase the box. I'm a turtle. I'm a turtle, bro. And look at another teddy. It is bugged. I, I ruined it. I screwed it, bro. And I can't even fucking move anymore. And I've already got 40 shots in my ray gun. Oh my god, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I, ca I can't get away. I, what do I do? I don't know. what. I only have like so many shots left, bro. I can't train the zombies. I can't just run around them. Oh, just, just fucking just go in the middle and train. With what, bro? Oh, fuck. 
fuck? Fuck, I'm just dead. Like, what? Oh my god, and I can't even, like, purchase the fucking mystery box again because it moved, so I can't randomize my speed again. Oh, uh, give me the... The Olympia! Oh my god! <laughs> it's the M14 anyway! What the fuck is going on? How am I alive? How am I alive? How am I alive? <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? What? Wait. It just happened to make me the, the fucking flash, apparently. But now I've got an M14 to deal with all the fucking zombies. So that's just tragic. And it's doing, like, no damage. How am I supposed to, like, how do I buy this, you know? Oh, and if I buy the fucking Packer Punch, I'm a snake fucking bro! No! I died to the fucking fire. That's actually the most comical way we could have possibly died. That was like the best ending to any zombies game I think I've ever had. That was fucking hilarious. So we're playing Origins, but every single round, something is going to change. Now I'm going to turn on no repeat combo so we can get completely unique choices this time. There's 562 possible combinations. So when a grenade is thrown, all zombies gain 10% of their max health. Okay, so whatever happens, just don't throw a grenade then, I guess. Yeah, we're playing Origins. I'm playing on my 1440p monitor and it actually looks fucking sick right now. I'm also uploading a video currently. It's on 98%, so hopefully it'll be done real soon because it's kind of going to make my uh, game lag a little bit, I assume. But yeah, this should be interesting. You guys seem to really, really enjoy this mod just as much as I do. Frankly, it's one of the best BO3 mods out there. When a player takes damage, active gun toggles being papped. Wait. <laughs> Wait, wait, we can get the Mauser Packer Punched already. That would be kind of awesome. We've got no snow yet, so we've got no reason to leave. Let's buy Quick Revive, just so we don't have a dumb down. Okay, so when a zombie slaps me, come on then. Nearest zombie, slap me, dude. Come on, here we go. <gasps> what the fucking boom, Hilda? Oh my god, that's sick. I'm gonna buy a gun, because otherwise we'll end up losing. Come on, slap me again. Bro, they hit so slowly. They're not hitting me. There we go. Jesus. Okay, so we just have two pack of punch guns on round two. <laughs> what the fuck? That's actually insane. Well, what are we going to get next then? When a player reloads, all zombies gain 10% of their max health. What is this max health one, dude? I haven't had that before, actually. That's a brand new one. But I figured that when we played it on town, the issue was the map was really small and we kept getting, like, difficult stuff. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter if they get 10% of their max health considering we have two packed guns. But anyway... Let's go ahead and get this double points. Oh, we've got a max ammo as well. Let's just go for headshots because just it's easier, I guess. We just don't want to reload. Two more shots and then, okay, I have to switch weapons. All right, there we go. It's done. And Oh, I got the max ammo before reloading. I had to, man. When a zombie spawns, active gun toggles being papped. What the fuck? <laughs> no! Okay, so I have to use my RK5 because I don't want to lose um, the boom Hilda. Yep, there we go. It's packed. Oh, it's not packed anymore. What? What is going on? I'm not even doing anything. This is great. I'm just being trolled, so I have to just, like, spam a little bit. Oh, shit. Oh, a death machine. Wait, death machine can't be packed, can it? Hey, get hacked, bro. I just broke the system. Wait, but I actually do want to... No, not my boom, Hilda. Oh, my God. Phew. Okay, it stopped. I think the zombies have stopped spawning. Okay, and I kept it packer punched. Thank God. Oh, yeah, it's snowing. Oh, shit. We actually want to uh, go and do that real quick because we want to work towards an ice staff, ideally. All right, we've got one zombie left. Cool. Let's just let's go this way, man. Holy shit. So I assume if we run away from a zombie, it will unironically just spawn in again and that will count as changing the packet punch. So we want to try and be careful with that. But hey, ice staff part. Fuck it, let's do this. Oh, my God. These count? <laughs> they count for the fucking packet punch gun. Oh, my God. Ooh. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Haven't had any perk ones yet, but... Okay, Jesus. Okay, any dig sites? We're just going to find something. Here, please. Ice pot? Nope, it's a fucking grenade. What about here? Hey, let's go. Okay, two out of three. Just, are we just doing a pistols only challenge at this point? Like, bruh. Um, is there... There's a shield part spawn around here somewhere. Okay, off to the church. Oh, we got all three. Wow, they look fucking sick. Oh, we don't have a dig site here, damn it. Oh, the foot's not open anyway. Damn, and there's... Oh, there is a dig site here. <gasps> yes, okay. I totally forgot about the fucking blue disc that we need. Oh, the zombie didn't get squashed. Good. Well, I mean... Oh, here we go. Purple disc. Let's turn on Gen 4. Oh, my fucking God. Stop with the packet punch gun thing. Okay, there we go. Done. Jesus Christ. Being trolled. We've got another dig site here. I mean... 
Oh, so a haymaker. Well, that's actually pretty good, but like, it's not better than two pack of punch guns, you know? The one time where this is actually better. Oh, money. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, we can kill the zombie, honestly. Get the nuke. Boom. When a player loses a thousand plus points, gain 10% of your total points. Wait, what? So the more points we have, if we spend just a thousand, we get more back. I don't know if that's worth trying or not, bro. Okay, we'll open this door. We can do another generator in a second. Is there a shield part around here? Like, am I dumb? Did they change the spawns for Zombies Chronicles? Oh, we found the wind disc. Well, that's something, I guess. Maybe it's in one of the bunkers and I'm just stupid. Oh, fire plane there. Oh, I can't fucking shoot it. Come on, fire plane. Hey, there we go. Another part acquired. It looks more yellow, honestly. What the fuck? So it's not here, is it? Oh my god, I'm blind! How did I miss that? <laughs> I must have ran straight past that so many times. Holy shit. Lay down by Joe, get the extra 100 points. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth trying, like... 10% of 2,500, you know, is not more than spending 2,500. But if we spend only 1,000, if we have like 3,000 points, maybe we can make a profit. Oh, another dig site. Sure. KRM. Meh. Let's open up this door then because, I mean, if we open it, we could also just buy Jug. But 1,250. We have 2,560 right now. Wait, huh? I just lost 1,000 plus points and it didn't give me my 10%. What? I got scammed, bro. It was 1,250, so it should have counted, but um, apparently not. All right, there we go. Gen 6 done. That's another part acquired. There's a disc around here, isn't there? The red disc. Where is it? I'm not blind, am I? I swear it's around here somewhere. Oh, isn't it like down in the fucking area here somewhere? No, I'm not seeing it. I must be the world's blindest person. Where is this disc? I... I genuinely just don't know where it is. Okay. Anyway, I mean, we can literally build the ice staff right now. Oh, yeah, we have 1,710 points now. Wait. Oh, was that just... That was just from completing the fucking generator anyway. So this one just doesn't work, I guess. Okay, where is the disc? The mystery box here. Disc, 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 disc. There we go. Let's also check up here for the shield part. I know it could spawn up here, can't it? Yep, there we go. That was actually quite difficult together. to see. What the fuck? Oh, more money. 50, po 50 points. Oh, brilliant. That's just... <laughs> that's amazing, that is. Let's open this door. Right, I spent a thousand. See? It doesn't give me anything. Like, 250 points there, I guess. I'll take that. Oh, we can get Gen 3 turned on. I think that's almost all the generators. We have five opened, but we haven't turned it on yet. I'm also going to open this door because the last shield part should be in here. Oh, we got a, ooh, a fucking nuke. Well, I'm going to have to wait a second then for that. Come on, any minute now. Disappear, disappear. I need to go through. Please. Oh, there we go. Jesus. Shield part. It's going to be in the fucking bunker. Right. Kill you, because you're fast. Oh, and I get a double points right at the end of the round, and this guy starts sprinting. Okay. Sprinting faster than the other guy, somehow. Shield part. Here it is. Oh, I gotta kill you. Fuck. When a grenade is thrown, the mystery box moves. I mean, honestly, fuck it. Because that box is in, like, a pretty mess spot anyway. But now I can build the shield. I threw a grenade. When is, is it gonna move? We have to throw another grenade. Now we literally just need points so that we can afford the door in the middle and then we can build that ice staff. I've got to say, the Origins Pack-A-Punch camo, especially on BO3, looks absolutely stunning. It's probably like one of the best, like just blue neon colors. Very, very cool looking. Big fan. Oh, well, my ammo is uh, getting low though. Time for the Mauser. I mean, my favorite starting pistol pack a punch, honestly. Well, as much as I want Jug, we can now afford that door. Oh, what a max ammo. Hell yeah, I'll take that. All right, door. There we go. Get the disc thing. And now we just need to go, hello? Stop. Just would not let me pick it up, apparently. Okay, now we need the gramophone, which is right here. Place this down. The, I'm not a huge fan of Zombies Chronicles Origins just because it fixes like a bunch of the skips that you need for the Easter egg, which kind of ruins the fun a little bit. Ooh, what was that? I saw a part over there. Oh, it's for the Maxis drone, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not too fussed anyway, but we need to go to Gen 6 now. Go in the old ice bunker. Also, yeah, I must be blind. Someone tell me where the fucking red disc is because I swear to God, it's going to be in this location. And I'm just like totally oblivious and blind. But I'm just not seeing it. It's fine. I wasn't really planning on going for the Easter egg anyway. Oh, a Maxis drone pot. I thought that was the goddamn disc right as I was saying that. That would have been comical, but oh, okay. Ice bunker. The portals look so clean on Chronicles though. I'm not going to lie. Oh my god, in this room? Oof. Pick up the gramophone again. Right, now what we want to do is we build the staff, finally. Holy shit, it took long enough. I love how if you're in the bunker on Origins, it spawns these little, like, Templar zombies that you see in the trailer. That's actually a really cool feature. Subtle thing on Origins that no one really talks about. Wait, the Tommy guns on the wall here? 
that was definitely not in original Origins, I swear. That's pretty sick, huh? Unless it is and I'm just totally tripping out and I'm getting all my facts wrong with this video, but I'm 99% sure it's not in there. But hey, we have the ice staff now, finally. Got this nice, like, dark blue look to it, which is cool. Turn all of these to blue so we can actually upgrade it easily. And before that, though, let's turn on the last generator just because we might as well. We're going to go through the wind tunnel, I think, because we can also build the shield. Oh my god, I almost crafted the fucking Naxxus drone, dude. It's because I have all the parts for both of them. Fucking hell, that was close. Good thing that I, I stopped midway just to check. Okay, now the ice part upgrade thingy, this thing. All right, so this one is L. This one is L1, which is that one. Oh no, I'm stupid. It's that L1. Oh, because there's two Ls, that's why. Yeah, there we go. No? Oh, it changed, that's why. All right, so this one is this one. Oh. Okay, now, finally, this is the line. This one's that one, finally. This one's L. This one's two lines, which means the last one is this double L. Boom, easy peasy. Yeah, I've got my grenades back, man, and the mystery box hasn't moved. Maybe you have to use the box once or something for it to actually work. What's the next step, though? Oh, yeah, we have to do the fucking graves. I'm going the wrong way, bro. Right, here we go. Shoot you. Pop. Pop, 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 pop. Hello? I mean, that looks... D Why can't I shoot it? Another one... D Hello? This is not working. What the f- That's so strange. Oh, I remember what. You have to use a non-packet-punched gun? Oh, fine. I'll, I'll get the KN-44 then. Oh, I should have shot the last one, shouldn't I? Ugh. Oh, oh, well. Doesn't matter. Pop. Pop. We'll just go on to the next round then. Fuck it. That's so awkward that you have to do that, bro. When a player takes damage, player's orientation slightly changes. Okay, so apparently this one just means that, like, when you're aiming, it will, like, go off to the side. We really need Jug, so if we can get that this round, that'd be great, because we have a Panzer next round, and that's going to be a bit of a bitch to deal with. Oh, we've got an insta-kill. Well, that's going to help the melee points, I guess. Okay, well, we can afford Jug, and we can also afford another fucking gun that we're going to have to use. We have to go pick up the ice staff again. It's so weird that you can't use packet punched guns to do it. Like... Who thought that was a good idea, man? Oh, well, bro. Ice staff. Here we go. I can just about see it from here. Can I shoot it from here? I, th I think you can. Oh, yeah. There we go. Not like it matters anyway, because I'm going to swap it out. I guess I'll spin the box, because it's cheaper. All right. First spin of the box. What are you going to give me? Teddy. Oh, my God. It did the thing. with It did the glitch. So when we were throwing grenades and moving the mystery box, basically, it just, like, stacked up. But you have to buy the box for it to actually work or whatever. Ugh. Just typical. But anyway, that. done that now. All right, got the ice staff Let's back again. Oh my god, tedious. We might as well kill the zombie because, to be honest, there's nothing we can really do now. We need to fill up okay. the staff with Let's souls and we're going to use the box. Oh, when a player reloads, the mystery box moves. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, yep. It's there now. Oh, and it's gone. What? <laughs> Fucking this game, bro. But yeah, we're going to kill the panzer first, I think. I assume it's the Origins panzer on Origins. Like, you know. Where Not I'm the BO3 from. Panzer. Where is he? I heard the spawn noise. I don't like when he's fucking silent or invisible. Creeps me out, dude. Where, Where is he? Why is he not here yet? I heard the noise. Also, they have his box is just permanently moving. It's great. Oh, there's the Panzer. What the fuck? Oh, he's dead already. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus, he got shit on. Well, we can go sort out our staff now, I guess. Oh, yeah, the wind tunnel's still open. Let's go. Saving time. Right, here we go. We place this in the fucking ice place. I'm so stupid. I didn't shoot the thing. My life. Oh, I'm so fucking dumb. It's because I... <laughs> Because I came back down here to pick up the staff again. All right, I shot it. There, you happy now? Is that, is that done? Yeah, it's glowing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It looked way more animated in BO2's Origins, honestly. Well, if I was just permanently subtracting and giving me back 950 points. That's just... <laughs> uh, that's just funny. I'm gonna go pick up the fucking stamina up because I need to move faster. So much running around, dude. Yeah, give me this bad boy. Hopefully we get one that gives us free perks soon, like the uh, cause and effect thing. Oh yeah, we're sprinting way faster now, much better. Wow, what a crazy concept. I can put it in now. Wow. All right, now we've got to fill it up with souls. How many kills is it? It's like 25, isn't it? Where's the zombie at? What the fuck? I wanted to save for double points for the next round, but oh yeah, just wasn't spawning in, weird. When a zombie dies to a grenade, a zombie spawns. A if this game has just made grenades so useless. Honestly, just fuck it. Let's just use this. Whee! Imagine a death machine in Origins, bro. It's kind of crazy. Another zombie blood. Wow. Getting good zombie blood RNG. Hey, there we go. Staff's done. Let's go pick this up. Yoink, gimme. Ol's arrow. Well, now we can actually progress through rounds and get through this mod a little bit more. I just wanted to get an ultimate staff. 
just to uh, help us get through the rounds. Because the more rounds we get through, the more we can see in this mod, like what it has to offer. So yeah, all makes sense in my head. Let's go for a Wonder Fizz spin, honestly. I mean, if we can get Speed Cola, that'd be nice. Deadshot. <laughs> ah, yes, Deadshot with a staff that can totally aim, by the way. I'm an idiot. I thought I shot down a charge shot. There we go. Oh, max ammo. Let's go. Oh, round's done. <laughs> when a door is purchased, player's orientation slightly Don't changed. Yeah. That one's nothing ammunition. too crazy. Oh, is the box actually just here now? Well, that's handy. Let's buy this again. Oh, they're taking Gen 6, you bastards. Double tap. I'm actually going to take it. Normally, I'd save it for like the fifth perk or whatever, but if you get it early, you might as well just take it. You know, it's one of the single best perks in the game. Get off Gen 6, you bastards. All right, please. Can I do it in time? Yay, got the max ammo. Let's go. Nice and OP. Gotta love the staffs. The fact that these were copies as well and that is broken. Imagine if we ever got the original staffs. Like we were supposed to win the Great War map or whatever, but just never happened, did it? Because... Fucking Black Ops 4 was a disaster. Thanks to Fortnite of all games. When a zombie dies, gain 10% of your total points. Oh, fuck yes. That's that's the one I wanted. Uh, oh, that's not open. That would have been... That was kind of close. So this should be kind of hilarious then. Let's go into the old uh, high round camping strat, which is where I did my live stream, actually. Just sat here for fucking ages. But look, charge shot. When a zombie dies, 10% of our total points. <laughs> we just got 1,000 off two zombies. Oh. There we go. Oh, shit. Ooh, it ran out. Getting greedy. Yeah, like, look, we're at 8,000, 9,000. <laughs> That's so fucking broken. Look, like, I'm... <laughs> 15k? The more points you have, the more you gain as well, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Oh, and that's the round. 25,000 fucking points. When a grenade is thrown, a random zombie dies. I see. So if we throw grenades, we could just permanently kill them. Okay, a zombie must have died somewhere on the map. Yeah, that one just died! <laughs> I, they didn't even explode or anything. They're just, like, actually dead. That's fucking hilarious. Ooh, double points. I'll take it. No, I mean, not like I necessarily need it with how many points I've got right now. Hey, round done. When a perk is purchased, the mystery box moves. I mean, oh, we already have four perks, so... A little bit redundant there, but anyway. Bro, I swear they just took a generator. They're already taking this again. Oh, and we got a panzer spawning. Oh, just brilliant. Spawn fucking everything, why don't you? All right, we can shoot it from here, though, I think. That should be enough. Come on, please. No, it didn't do it. Fucking Christ. Oh, I'm not going to get there in time. Oh, I'm going to open this door as well. Shit. Oh, yeah, they took it. Fucking bastards. Ah, oh, there's one more. Get off. There we go. Oh, Panzer sold that high, dude. Fucking God, get out of there. Panzer scaring the shit out of me as usual. Double points. Just camp in the little ice fucking spinny tornado thing. All right, let's do this generator again. 30,000 points. Holy fuck. Oh, yep, yeah, that's when a zombie dies to a grenade, a zombie spawns. Bro, what is it with grenades in this one? I, I love that it's completely random, though. Like, anything can happen. I guess we might as well fill up this box. I mean, we're not going for the fists because they're kind of trash until you upgrade them anyway, but... <laughs> Why not, I suppose? I'm hoping we get a good one real soon. Maybe next round we'll get something actually a bit more unique. You know, the points ones are fucking hilarious. They're absolutely broken, but you could totally get the inverse and then just lose all your points. So it's a, a risk-reward kind of situation. Oh, that box is done. Okay, when a player slides, open a random door. I mean, I don't think there are any doors, but fuck it, dude. I'll slide. Oh, give me all the doors, bro. See, imagine if you got that one on round one. You could use it like a shopping free and literally open the entire map. That'd be kind of hilarious. Actually running a little bit low on ammo. Uh, we could do it at max, pretty please. Zombies. Uh, all right, round done. When a player takes damage, wall buys are randomized. Okay. That's kind of cool. So we've got a wall by right here, you know, the KN44. So when we get hit or take damage of some kind, it will change to something else. Oh, we've got a fucking teddy in that. It's it's definitely kind of bugged. Oh, I just took damage as well. I wonder what that wall by changed to. Let's go and check. Oh, a zombie blood. Perfect timing. So the KN44 is now the wait, what? It's still the KN44. Uh, let me take some damage to a grenade, I guess. All right, here we go. The Argus, yeah, there we go. So it's, it just changes to absolutely anything. As long as it's already a wall buy, I think. Oh yeah, I'm totally out of ammo too. This is, uh, ooh. Gonna have to just use the Mauser for a second. I mean, the Mauser's still pretty damn good. It's only round 16, so. A shield is gonna break real soon. Is that a death machine? It is. Oh, right at the end of the round. Classic. Oh, a max, a max ammo. Wait, a player drops a random grenade when a drop 
spawns. Oh my like god. I'm surprised one didn't spawn then. I guess it was because it was last round. Thank you for the max, though. That was very good timing. All right, we've got a fire sale. I think the box will actually work now. Kind of, hopefully. I'm just trying for a Reagan Mark II, but I, I highly doubt we're going to... Oh, yeah, grenade spawns when a power-up fucking spawns. Oh my god. I'm being trolled right there. Oh, and a carpenter spawn, so another one must have spawned in. Jesus, bro. I got an Elkar 9. I'm good, man. I'm good. Oh, fucking insta-kill dropping me grenades again. Oh, there we go. When a player slides, gain 10%. Oh, that is so fucking broken. Oh, they're taking generator four. Oh, good timing. Oh, we got a panzer spawning in, huh? Oh, he's all the way up there. What the fuck? Why did he spawn all the way there? I guess he's slowly on his way. Where is he? Oh, I see him. Just standing idle. Oh, God, he's going to kill me. Fucking hell. Oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Holy shit, that was close. Jesus. Oh, and I got a max. Nice. That's, oh, good timing. Okay, so if I slide, <laughs> it's got 5k points. Ooh, what's going on? That's absolutely fucking broken, hilarious. Like, 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 look, I could just. Oh, there's 7,000 points. Oh, there's 8,000, 9,000. It's given. I have so many points, but it's not even telling me that I get them. And now I've got double points. Look, 150k, 165k. What? I am forever rich, dude. Oh no, the round's ending. No. I'm now at half a mil. Oh, okay. I now have a million points. I now have a million points. I now have a million points. I'm going to go down because I'm not focusing and I've lost my shield. That's just, I'm just, that's hilarious. I don't even have words. Like, what do I say to that, man? I have a million points on round 19. Also grab another shield. <laughs> A million points on Origins. Like, oh, what can I even buy? What, what else is there? Oh, is that a max ammo? Oh, it is. Oh, death machine. Gimme, gimme, gimme. When a grenade is thrown, player's gun gets a random camo. Wait, does that work for the staff? Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't change it at all. But last time I did this, it took the packet punch camo off of my gun. Fuck it, dude. I'll risk it. No! It's okay. No, give it back. Okay, I have, I have more grenades. It's fine. Come on. No, it's just gone. Okay, but now I have a scoped Boom Hilda without a camo, which is kind of unique. Like, it looks like the standard one, the, M the Mauser or whatever, but actually looks quite cool. It's quite nice that they have a toggle now. I guess they must have updated the mod to allow you to have, like, unique drops each time so you can't get the same ones twice. Unless that was always a thing and I'm just dumb and I missed it last time I played, but it's really good for variety because, you know, there's 500 plus different combinations, so... To get through them all is pretty difficult. It will take like hundreds of games. Okay, when a zombie dies to a grenade, an earthquake occurs? I'm sorry, what do you mean an earthquake? I am more than curious. Also, did that just, yeah, that totally just disappears when you go this far out. That's quite funny. Okay, when a zombie dies to a grenade, let's get a horde up and try and kill some then. All right, grenade time. Two, three, four, grenade. Don't think I killed any of them. Three, four. Nope, I didn't kill any of them. <laughs> That's sad. Oh, unless... <laughs> yeah, that was definitely an earthquake, yeah. This mod is hilarious. This is like one of the best mods. Link is in the description, of course, if you want to try this out for yourself. You can play this on practically any map. I tried running it on Nuketown Zombies, the custom map, and it didn't seem to work. So I'm not sure if it's fixed now. I'll give it a try, like after this game maybe, but didn't seem to work for me. So maybe a few custom maps, it might be a bit buggy. Oh, an insta-kill? Sure, I'll take it. When a player loses a thousand plus points, open a random door. Okay, totally useless, nice. Oh, we got a fucking Panzer spawning in. Why does he always spawn really far away? Oh God, I have to turn around for a second here. Oh, okay, zombie blood, again, thank you, good timing. Yeah, the Panzer's like, where the fuck is he? On Origins BO3, he just spawns really far away. I don't, I don't even fucking see him. Like, is he? No, he's not there. I genuinely don't know where he is. Well, here's where he jump scares me and fucking kills me, probably. Oh, yep, yeah, there is the Panzer. I see him in the distance. What's up, bro? Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Oh, yeah, he's mad. He's lost his fucking mask. Hey, he died to my ice staff, even though I put that down ages ago. Oh god, I gotta turn around. Ooh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm great. I'm fine, Jesus. Oh, it's one of Max. Nice, gimme, gimme. When a zombie spawns, give a random gun. Wait, no, that's actually bad. That's bad! I need mule kick for that. No, it's gonna get rid of my boom hill. That's my cook. I got a KN44, M14. Bring a Mark II! Oh, I lost my staff. I mean, I can go pick the staff up again, but I got a fucking ray gun Mark II. So, I can't use it! It's just swapping constantly. 
Oh, <laughs> I can't. This is hilarious. How am I supposed to do anything? I can't kill. I'm just, I'm stuck. I'm dead. There's no way, bro. Fuck the generator. Why did I even come back here? Oh, I got a golden shovel. That's great. Still just rotating and rotating and rotating and rotating. I guess because I'm moving around, maybe that's doing it. Oh, I can't even dig. I just have to like, I have to stay in one area and just train. Because apparently I just can't use anything. The amount of Dempsey quotes I'm getting with fucking zombies spawning in. Bro! Can I please use my gun? It's going to stop and it'll be on like the worst gun imaginable as well. I just, I know it's going to happen, dude. Okay, it's the haymaker. Oh, thank God. But then when I kill a few, it's going to, yep, spawn more. Oh, here we go. This round is going to take so fucking long. Oh, the MG-08, I'd love to keep it, but oh, nope, never mind. I need a death machine drop. That's what I need because everything I use right now is just trash. Oh, the Pharaoh's just not killing. Oh, and I'm stuck. I'm just dead, bro. That's so fucking sad. How am I supposed to do anything? I can't use a gun. I got an MG-08 again. Oh, no <laughs> swapping sense. it out. I'll More. It. It oh, it gave me another piece. Reagan Mark II. What the fuck? Oh, can't get that way. Just give me one of Stop! <laughs> this will do me just fine, Dempsey says for the 15 millionth time. Please! Have mercy on me, dude! I'll take one of these. Give me a Brecci. Give me a fucking... Give me an STG, an RK5, an STG. Please! It's another Reagan Mark II. At least it's available, I guess. Okay, an Argus. I can't even swap weapon. I've lost my other gun. Is it bugged? I think it's bugged. I, I genuinely can't swap weapon now. I have nothing? I have a Mauser. I have no points! Wait, it bugged! It glitched out! Because it kept swapping weapons so fast, it genuinely gave me the Samantha glitch. That's hilarious. I, I'm just dead. I'm just dead. There's nothing I can do, bro. There's nothing I can do! I'm just- I'm fucked. The Rega, no! I, what? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm under the map now, what? Yeah, so if you get that one, you genuinely just break the game because it gives you Samantha glitch and yeah, you cannot pass the round. It's impossible. But I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.